Daddy in heaven, we are grateful unto thee this morning. Thank you, everlasting Redeemer, O Lord, for the gift of life. Thank you, O Lord, King of glory, for sending your son, Jesus Christ, O Lord, to die for our sins over the year 2000 ago. Immortal Redeemer, we thank you for that which you have done for us. We say receive all the glory in Jesus' name. Have not come again even in this program today. Daddy, O oh Lord, with great expectations, O oh Lord, we pray that today, O oh Lord, you satisfy our very test in Jesus' name. As we continue in fellowship, continue with us. At the end, O oh Lord, your name alone will be lifted up in Jesus' name. Thank you, blessed uh, Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. He has won in the battle. He has won in the battle. The captain of the army has won in the battle. He has won in the battle. Hallelujah. He has won in the battle. The captain of the army has won in the battle. He has won in the battle. He has won in the battle. The captain of the army. I stand up on 
I know he answered my prayer. I know he answered my prayer. 
Go by my left hand side and meet the testimony to you us. The opportunity to share your testimony will be given to you. Brethren, I don't know your problem that you brought here today. As my Jesus is going to pray, the Lord will answer you. Your hands on to the Lord. When we pray, the Lord will answer. When we pray, the Lord will answer. Yeah, when we pray, oh, the Lord will answer. Look at when we pray, oh, the Lord will answer. I say when we pray, oh, the Lord will answer. Look at when we pray, oh, the Lord will answer. I say when we pray, oh, the Lord will answer.
Covenant of Peace and Blessings 2024 Year of Dominion Victory Blessings and Miracles Let me announce to you the word of our pastor yesterday He said and I quote Hear me very well All of you that are watching me all over the world A book of remembrance has been opened for you. He said further, from today, everything written for you will be fulfilled. I want you to know that from this moment, from yesterday and today, that which our pastor has spoken over your life and over my life, we shall continue to enjoy it for many years to come. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Please have your seats wherever you are. 
Have your seats. Praise the Lord. We want to welcome those who are fellowshipping with the choosing for the first time today. This is your first time fellowshipping with the Lord's choosing. Wherever you are, kindly wave your hands to God. Today is your first time, wave your hands. Praise the Lord. Kindly go further by standing on your feet so that we can welcome you officially. It is for your sakes and for my sakes that this program is put together. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you are sitting in any other place and you are coming for the first time, we still have seats arranged opposite the pulpit for you. Please tell the ushers this is your first time in the Lord's choosing so they can take you to the seats arranged and reserved for you so you can see clearly and be comfortable throughout the service today. On behalf of our general overseer, the founder and the pastor of the Lord's chosen worldwide, we welcome you with love in our hearts. And we assure you that as you continue in the choosing, all your heart desires shall be granted unto you according to the will of God in Jesus' name. We urge the congregation to please rise as we welcome them with this song prepared for them, which says, O ye people, the Lord's chosen, the glory of the Lord, come and make Jesus King of kings, make Jesus King of kings, come and make Jesus Lord of all, Make Jesus Lord of all. Come and make Jesus King of Kings. Make Jesus King of Kings. Want to go? O oh, ye people, the Lord choosing the glory of the Lord. Come and make Jesus King of Kings. Make Jesus King of Kings. Come and make Jesus Lord of all. Make Jesus Lord of all. Come and make Jesus King of Kings. Make Jesus King of Kings. Amen. Be seated, please. Be seated. This is the Lost Chosen Charismatic Revival Movement. And the Lord has given a threefold vision to the founder and general overseer of the ministry, which he has shared with us, and we have bought it. And we are running with it. We would like to share with you also that we may buy the vision and run with it. Vision number one says to bring grassroots revival all over the world. In Mark chapter 16 verse 15, and he said unto them according to the Lord's command, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. In Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And in Luke chapter 19, verse 10, for the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. The mind of God is that all men should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Vision number two is the revival of the apostolic Christian experiences among the body of Christ, such as genuine salvation, sanctification, Holy Ghost baptism, all the gifts of the Spirit, all the fruits of the Spirit, Evangelism prowess, apostolic zeal, righteousness, commitment, love, faith, 
unity, heavenly mindedness, care, and diverse manifestations of the Holy Ghost. These shall become the bedrock of your Christian faith as you continue with us in fellowship in Jesus' name. Acts of Apostles chapter 2 verse 17. And it shall come to pass in the last day, said God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. The spirit of God shall be poured out upon us according to this prophecy of Joel. Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 11 says, And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. God has called us to be an instrument to revive the body of Christ and bring them to perfection. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. But here I chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Vision number three is the revival of heaven consciousness in the heart of every believer all over the world, which we also know as heaven at last. Matthew 6, 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. In John chapter 14 from verse 1, he says, Let not your heart be troubled, Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 19, If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. No matter what you have come to church to look for, no matter your heart desire, first of all, seek God and his kingdom. After getting it, all other things that you seek will come to you naturally. Before the emergence of the Lord's chosen, many are engrossed only in eating and drinking and pleasures of life, satisfying the fleshly lusts, but now to the glory of God, many have become conscious of heaven and are manifesting the gift of the Spirit and the fruits of the Spirit and praising the Lord. Before I share with you our mandate, you are there, you have testimonies of God of choosing, especially yesterday's ministration. God of choosing has met with you after our pastor's prayer and ministration yesterday, we want to hear your testimony. A lot of prayer, brief prayer was offered, and yet many miracles have happened. We want to hear your testimony. Come quickly to my left-hand side by the pulpit area. May the testimony interviewers so that you can have an opportunity to share that testimony. In Psalm 107 verse 2, it says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of his enemies. In verse 14 of Psalm 116, it says, I will pay my vows unto the Lord, now in the presence of all his people. Verse 12 says, What shall I render? unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me. The only way by which you can show appreciation to God is to come forward and testify of the great and mighty things he has done for you. 
Psalm 119 verse 46 says, I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings and will not be ashamed. You need to come forward and tell us how you overcame. How God has delivered you. How God has used you to do exploits. And how prayer was made for you and that situation has changed. Come to my left hand side by the pulpit area. Meet the testimony interviewers and we will take your testimony and you will be glorifying the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now to our mandate. God has given us a mandate to recover 10 billion souls. And you could say, yes, this is huge. And I agree with you. The explanation is that this vision and mission and mandate is from generation to generation. So as you have come to join us today, automatically you have become part of this mandate to the glory of God. Can I hear a louder amen? amen? Please pay attention as I share with you our days of activities. God has given us the privilege to meet with him on a regular basis so that we can derive strength from fellowship with the Lord. So on Sundays, we meet for a time of worship and study of the Holy Scriptures to create awareness and bring about the knowledge of God. The first and the third Sundays are regular Sundays, while the second and the last Sundays are combined Sundays. During the combined meeting, we have our services 8 a.m. Regular Sundays, we have our services also the same time, 8 a.m. Sunday evening is for our house care fellowship. This is the fellowship where brethren gather in their local homes to learn and adopt the love and the care of the early apostle every Sunday evening, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Just one hour meeting. Very rich. An interactive session that will help you to fellowship with the brethren in your neighborhood and be able to have access to the church whenever the need arises. On Tuesdays, we have our Tuesday Revival Hour. You need to understand that Tuesday Revival Hour is a charismatic hour. This is the time God demonstrates his power to roll away sicknesses, diseases, problems of life, and bring about the needed revival to our souls. We have two sessions of the meeting on Tuesdays, 8 a.m. morning session and 5 p.m. evening session. Wednesday is for our newcomers. All of you that are coming to choosing for the first time today and in recent times will be here on Wednesday for a special meeting with our general overseer. It's a closer fellowship and both the Tuesday and Wednesday meeting hold in that first auditorium over there while all other meetings hold here. Praise the Lord. Here is called the Chosen Revival Ground. Praise the Lord. On Thursdays, we have counseling and deliverance service. It's a mini crusade during which God put an end to whatever is troubling us. Whatever we have tried to solve on our own and is beyond our power, we come together every Thursday, 8 a.m., bringing those who have needs, all those who are sick in your neighborhood, all those who are insane, maybe... They are blind, deaf and dumb, paralyzed, stroked, confined to wheelchair, dependent on crutches and walking sticks. Invite them to come here every Thursday, 8 a.m. And I'm sure the God of Chosen will build them out. And they will be grateful to you while appreciating God for the miracle. Praise the Lord. On Saturday, we usually have workers' meeting and Bible study. It's a time of nourishment, a time of impartation, a time of training. You want to be trained in the most acceptable way to serve God, come on Saturday, 9 a.m. here. You'll be taught, 
you'll be trained and you'll be put into practicality of the word of God. Now, our newcomers, I want to believe all of you have received the newcomers cards. Please kindly fill it appropriately. Give us your name, your address, today's date, the nearest bus stop or any landmark to locate your residence, the days available at home, the time we can meet you, your age and your occupation. If you have email address, please write it clearly on that card and kindly make your phone number legible. This is because we would like to fellowship with you and bear your burden with you. Praise the Lord. So give us this information accurately and in case you don't want to write, you can just call any of our ushers or protocol brethren around you. They will fill the card for you without any questioning. Praise the Lord. Shall we rise up and go to the Lord in prayers? Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy. Oh, worthy, O oh Lord, to receive glory. Honor and, and power for thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Thou art worthy, Lord. Worthy, O Lord. I'm powerful. The For the pleasure they are and were There is none holy as the Lord, holy as the Lord. Beside Jesus, neither is there any rock like our God. There is no holy. The Bible says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul will make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Let's open our mouth and appreciate the Lord for his preservation, for his protection, for his guidance, for the favor he has shown to us, for the movement of his power in the Lord's chosen, even especially in the day one yesterday. Bless the name of the Lord for the manifestation of his glory, his power, his kindness, his wisdom, his revelation. What he has done, all the souls he has saved, deliverance, salvation, transformation, healing. Bless the name of the Lord for the move of his spirit and his power yesterday. Magnify him, praise him, exalt his majesty. Father, we bless you, we praise you, we worship you, we magnify you. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, everlasting Father. We exalt your majesty. We praise your power. We worship you. We exalt your name. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Bible says, let Satan take advantage of our us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. We are going to counsel whatever the enemy planned against any of you or me. 
or our brethren that are coming on the way, our brethren that are all over the world, any plan to deprive you of the blessings of this crusade, any plan to deprive anyone or to hinder the move of the Spirit of God in this congregation, we're going to cancel it. We're going to bind the devil and all the fallen angels, all the follow, follow demons, all the evil spirits, witchcraft spirits, serpentine spirits, marine spirits, all the arrangement of darkness to steal or kill or destroy, any power that have come to disturb the functionality of any part of the, our equipment or what we are going to use. Let all of them be bound and be cast into fire. Any demon, any power, any personality sent on errand to hinder anyone's blessings. We bind them and we render them impotent. We cast them into the abyss, into the bottomless pit and we decree they shall never function again in the life of any individual or any group of people or any family or anyone that is on the way to this place. My Father, I pray that as I have gathered us here, Lord, all of us shall go home with our blessings. We shall go home with our miracles. We shall go home with our signs and wonders distributed to us today. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We're going to commit our general overseer and his entire family into the hand of God, the arrowhead of the church, the man with the vision. The one that has the calling. The one that started the ministry and all of us are enjoying the fruit of it. We are going to commit him into the hand of God that the Lord will preserve him. The Lord will sustain him. The Lord will strengthen him both physically and spiritually. We are going to pray that all that he needs to fulfill the vision and mandate, the Lord will give them to him. As the hand of Zerubbabel has laid the foundation of the ministry, his hand also shall finish it. We're going to pray that no weapon formed against him or any member of his family shall prosper. Any tongue that rises against him in judgment is thereby condemned. We're going to pray that wherever he goes, all the ministration that is lined up for him throughout this year, within and outside the country, the Lord will go ahead of him with a drawn sword. The Lord will break the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. The Lord will give unto him all the riches of secret places of the earth. The Lord will bless him with the fruit of everything that he does. No arrow will penetrate any member of his family. I'm going to pray that all that he we use, both today and all the ministration ahead, the Lord will give them in an overflowing abundance. Oversized anointing will be given to him. Shall we begin to pray for him now? A mortal and invisible reality. We look up to heaven. We commit your servant, a general verse into your hand. The one that you have called and equipped and given the mandate to run the mega ministry. Lord, we look up to heaven, we pray for your divine sustainable grace, for your matchless power, your matchless anointing, your matchless unction of trans and boldness. We are asking that the power of your spirit will work in him and continue to prosper him everywhere he goes. Let your word have free course and be glorified in everything he does. In word, in thought, in conversation, in charity, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Lord, it will be an example to believers everywhere he goes all over the world. Father, we pray that we continue to stand by him in the word, in conversation, in ministration, in counseling, in deliverance, in word of wisdom, word of knowledge, in word of prophecy, in all the gift and fruit of the spirit. Father, stand by him and sustain him preserve him and protect him and all the members of the family let your word have free course and be glorified in his life and the entire family in the mighty name of jesus anyone that gathered together against him let them be consumed by fire let them be dismantled lord let the word of god move like fire and the people would and consume them in the mighty name of jesus lord let the word of god break every yoke destroy every stubborn cause, everything that has followed people. Lord, let them depart from them today as a result of the administration of your servant in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Precious Father, we are grateful to you because you answer prayer. O oh, thou God that answered prayer, unto you shall all flesh come. You, the one that has ordained 
that we should be here today. And you started the program yesterday. We look up to heaven, we pray that you will do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to your power that worketh in us in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray that you strengthen your servant at GU. Lord, give him fresh grace, fresh power, fresh anointing, maintenance from above. Lord, every strength that he needs, give him more than is required in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we pray that you prosper all the word that will come out of his mouth. Confirm them as you used to do and let your name alone be glorified. We cover everyone here with the blood of Jesus. Now all the people that are joining us all over the world, Lord, all of us shall go home with the maximum blessings distributed to us in Jesus' name. None of us shall go back the same way we came. Thank you very, very much. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Please have your seats. On the podium to minister to us is the children's choir, the lost chosen children's choir. Let them minister now.
to God and appreciate him. That's the children choir of the Lord's chosen ministering to the congregation. I'd like to take this announcement chosen brethren are reminded of their meeting today after the service at Hall 100 men's side. Signed Pastor Foster all the sisters from Okota, Isolo, Jakonde, and Isheri regions should remember their meeting on the 3rd of April 2024 at Okota 1 branch. Time, 3 p.m. Just to remind the department that are traveling to Kano State Crusade to come to headquarters on Tuesday night against their traveling on Wednesday morning, 3rd of April. Missing point, chosen car park by 4 a.m. Sign Crusade Committee Chairman. We have a lost but found national identity card, NIN slip, with the name Onye Mechi. Patricia Chioma Onyemechi Patricia Chioma is a sister. If you are the owner, please come to the pulpit area, meet the security so you can collect it. Onyemechi Patricia Chioma is your NIN slip.
Ready to minister to us is the Yoruba Choir.
Yeah. 
clap unto God and appreciate him. That's the Lost Chosen Youth Choir. Ministering to us. Coming next to minister to us is the PRO group. The Public Relations Officers group of the lost chosen. You are just coming in, you have testimony. Make sure you meet the testimony interviewers, especially you have received the touch of God from the ministration of our general overseer yesterday. We want to hear your testimony. Come quickly to my left-hand side by the pulpit area. Meet the testimony interviewers. They are waiting to take your testimony. Go there right away. The public relations group now. So great. He is so great. The God of choosing is so great. He is so great. The God of choosing is so great. He is so great. 
Spirit. Go create awareness. Create awareness. Create awareness. Go create awareness. That Jesus is coming very soon. Hallelujah. Oh, great awareness. Great awareness. Great awareness. Oh, great awareness. That Jesus is coming very soon. Oh, great awareness. Is coming very soon. I am a believer. Oh, great awareness. Great awareness. Great awareness. Great awareness. Great Oh, 
Covenant of peace and bless. We come to choose you. You enter covenant of peace and bless. We come to choose you. You enter covenant of peace and bless. We come to choose you. You enter covenant of peace and bless. We come to choose you. You enter covenant of peace and bless. We come to choose you. You enter covenant of peace and bless. We come to choose you. You enter covenant of peace and bless. We come to choose you. You enter covenant of peace and bless. We come to choose you. You enter covenant. Let us see, 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 let us see
a choosing and you enter the covenant of peace and blessings. Coming forward to minister to us now is the National Choir. While you are getting ready, let me take these few announcements. All foreign missionary pastors currently in Lagos, including those pastors that are awaiting posting, should remember their meeting coming up on Wednesday, 3rd of April, 2024, 10 a.m. at the Foreign Mission Pavilion. Sign, Director of Foreign Mission. All the chair department members are requested to be in the church tomorrow, Monday, 1st of April 2024, to tidy up the environment and also to rearrange the chairs. Chosen brethren are also requested to join them at the time mentioned above. Aguilary brethren should remember their meeting today after service at Hall 70, Brother Sir. New members are welcome. All the ex-service brethren comprising police, military, and paramilitary are once again reminded to meet with Sister Maka immediately after service in our office opposite choosing canteen sign. Sister Maka, this is to inform all the intercessors who are currently in the service should go to the intercessor camp for a brief meeting.
for the benefits of the newcomers, in case you want to ease yourself, we have convenience both at the extreme ends and then just at our at my back on my right and on my left. Please ask the ushers. They will direct you to the convenience. National choir now. Oh, 
with us, that we be blessed with in abundance. Yet today, the God of Joseph, by the blood of the covenant, with all your calamities into jubilation, you must go home with joy. Yet today, to blood of Jesus, which is the blood of the covenant, your situation that is over will turn around into peace and blessings. Yeah. God's covenant of peace and blessing he is here with us. There will be blessings in abundance. God's covenant of peace and blessings he is here with us. There will be blessings in abundance. Yet today, the God of Joseph, by the blood of the covenant, with all your calamities into jubilation, you must go home with joy. Yet today, to blood of Jesus, which is the blood of the covenant, your situation that is so bad will turn around into peace and blessings. Yeah. All those blessings you are looking for Rejoice for the captain has come To deliver you You will recover your blessings today And there's some men like that have asked us Who have vowed you cannot be free By words and their actions They are bragging and Today, Jesus will answer them by his mighty power. They will hide the shame while you rise and shine. God's covenant of peace and blessing is here with us. There will be blessing in abundance. God's covenant of peace. And blessings is there with us. There will be blessings in abundance. Yet today, the God of Joseph, by the blood of the covenant, with all your calamities into jubilation, you must go home with joy. Yet today, to blood of Jesus. Situation that is so bad will turn around into peace and blessings. Yeah. Have you been there in your business, your efforts yielding no results, or your expectations seems impossible or delaying? This time the Lord will intervene without delay. There will be expansion. Your desires will be met. God's covenant of peace and blessings is here with us. There will be blessings in abundance. God's covenant of peace. And blessings this year with us. There will be blessings in abundance. Yet today, the God of Joseph, by the blood of the covenant, with all your
I am I am a chosen. I am blessed. I can never be born. I am a chosen. I am blessed. I can never be born. Are you a chosen? I am blessed. I can never be born. Are you a chosen? No. I am blessed. I can never be born. I am a chosen. I am blessed. I can never be born. I am a chosen. I am a chosen. I am a chosen. Who are you? I am a chosen. I am a chosen. I am a chosen. I'm a chosen. Who are you? Here is God of my pastor's power. Here is God of my pastor's power. Here is God of my pastor's power. Chosen, I may chosen. Who are you? Chosen, I may chosen. I may chosen. Who are you? I am a chosen. I am blessed. I can never die. Are you a chosen? I am blessed. I can never die. Are you a chosen? I am blessed. I can never die. I am a chosen. I am blessed. I can never die. Are you a chosen? No. I am blessed. I can never be. Are you a chosen? I am blessed. I can never be. I am a chosen. I am blessed. I can never be. Clap your hands unto God of the Chosen. That's the Lost Chosen National Choir. They sang, I am blessed. I can never be cursed. One more ministration in songs before we go to the next item. And that is from the Duet Sisters. The Duet Sisters of the Lost Chosen to minister to the congregation now. The Duel Sisters. Your sins be as scarlet, 
there shall be a sweet as snow. Though your sins be as scarlet, there shall be a sweet as snow. Though they be red like crimson, there shall be a sweet. Though your sins be as scarlet, though your sins be as scarlet, there shall be as white as snow. There shall be as white as snow. Yeah, the voice that entrains you, or return ye all to God. Yeah, the voice that entrains you, or return ye all to God. He is of great compassion. End of war, draws love. Hear the voice that entrains you. Hear the voice that entrains you. Or return ye unto God. Or return ye unto God. He forgives your transgressions and remember them no more. He forgives your transgressions and remember them no more. Look unto me, ye people. Says the Lord, your God, He'll forgive your transgressions. He'll forgive your transgressions and remember them no more. And remember them no more. He can save to the utmost them that come to God by Him. He can save to the utmost them that come to God by Him. Sin He lives forever. And he plays for us. He can save to the utmost. He can save to the utmost. Those that come to God by him. Those that come to God by him. Unto him who has loved us and had washed us from our sins. Unto him who has loved us and has washed us from our sins. Glory to him and honor. Through eternity, unto Him who has loved us, unto Him who has loved us, has restrained so strong from our sins and has 
has washed us from our sins. This world was lost, Calvary opened new way. All the troubles of mankind, all the tears of human race, Calvary settled them all. Jesus conquered them all. Thank God for Calvary. This world was lost. Calvary opened no way. All the troubles of mankind, all the tears of human race, Calvary settled them all. Jesus conquered them all. Thank God for Calvary. Sin dominion has been broken. Satan's race has been shattered. All wounds he will heal. Broken hearts he will amend. Little children under age better come today. Come It's all this world was lost, Calvary opened new way. All the troubles of mankind, all the tears of woman race, Calvary settled them all. Jesus conquered them all. Thank God for Calvary. There's no war we cannot win. There's no case too much for God. There's no Satan to defeat us. Calvary settled. Everything he is touched by our infirmities. Let us cry no more. Rejoice, Jesus stands by you now. This world was lost, Calvary opened new way. All the troubles of mankind, all the tears of human race, Calvary settled them all. Jesus conquered them all. Thank God for Calvary. This world was lost, Calvary opened new way, all the troubles of mankind, all the tears of human race, Calvary settled them all, Jesus conquered them all, thank God for Calvary. Thank God for Calvary. Thank God.
Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Thank God for Calvary. Thank God that Jesus took away all our pains. Yesterday, during the ministration of our pastor, let me quote to you what he said. He says, Begin from this program. You will never be in want of anything. I didn't hear your email. No. He said again, and I quote, As I read the will of your father today, you will possess your possession. Then he said again, and I quote, Balance and laugh like a big man. Did you know how to laugh like a big man? That was the ministration of our pastor yesterday. I want you to get ready today. Whenever he speaks, write it down. Because those things are going to come to pass. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. With our beloved guests and invitees, we launch into the time when we hear the great and mighty things the God of Chosen has done in the midst of the chosen people. I'd like you to receive the testimonies of the Lord by clapping your hands unto him. Clap your hands unto God of the Chosen. Amen. Amen. There is a lost but found wallet or purse containing a debit card from Fidelity Bank with the name Juliet Ezeani. Juliet Eze Ani. If you are the owner, please go to the back of the pulpit. May the security identify and collect your purse that was lost but found. To our testifier, please go straight to the point. Tell us your name, your location, where you came from. The first time you came in contact with the lost chosen and the miracles God has done. Remember, if you are sitting down and you are in the ministration of our pastor yesterday, and the God of choosing has given you a divine touch, power entered into your life. We want to hear your testimony. Come to my left-hand side by the pulpit area. May the testimony interviewers so they can give you an opportunity to share it. The first testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Sister Caroline Ozu. I live in Spain. You live where? In Spain. Spain. Yeah. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. I joined Chosim the year 2011, October, in Spain. Oh, praise the Lord. I'm here to testify the goodness of God in my life. Amen. First of all, I want to thank God for granting me safety journey from Spain to here. Clap your hands unto God of the Chosim. I want to thank God for the life of my family, my children that I left here since I I want to thank God for his guidance and protection upon them. Thank you, Lord. My testimony goes like this. 
and the last year, October, our duo came to Spain. And I put in for my residence, I've been putting in for my residence, putting in for my residence, they have been denying me. Although I have two years before, and when the two years died, I've been putting in, putting in, they are denying me. Then when my geo come to Spain in October last year, and I put in, I'm waiting for the answer, but they have not answered me. Then the geo marked on the pulpit, and when he was praying, he made a declaration concerning my residence. Amen. He said, there is somebody here, you have been putting in for your residence for years, and they have been denying you for that residence. And with that residence, you can travel, you want to travel to so many places, but with that thing that they are denying you, they are holding you captive here. There is a power holding that my residence that is standing here in the pulpit and declare that the power has been broken. Power! Thank you, Father. And he went on again saying that he's giving that person 14 days from that time, from October, 14 days that I will receive a, a call that my residence has been released. Ready on that ten days, I write to my pa I write to my lawyer to ask him of another thing, and the, my lawyer replied me say, "Congratulations, your husband has been released." Power. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. I thank God who had made it possible for me to be here Amen. once again because I've been praying, asking God, when will I be here in headquarters to stand here and testify or to come into this place and pray to my God? But today, the God has done it in my life. The Lord has done it. <laughs> Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. The joy I, is overflowing. Yes. I want to pray for my Jew. My Jew, the Lord has called you, will never abandon you. Amen. He will strengthen you from strength to strength. Amen. He will renew your youth. Amen. You will fight your battle. Amen. You will win your enemies. Amen. No evil that will form against you and your family shall prosper. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my pastor in Spain, Pastor Lloyd. I say, may the God Almighty strengthen him. Amen. May God release his more triple anointing upon my pastor. Amen. May God guide his family and protect them and grant them their heart desire. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. I pray for myself and my family that God Almighty, who has started with us, will accomplish it in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for heaven at last. For my Amen. family, heaven at last for Gio and his family, heaven at last for my pastor, heaven at last for all the choosing members worldwide, in Jesus' name. Amen. Can I ask you? You said you asked for two years and it died. Then for many years you have been asking for renewal and they deny you. Yes. For how many years have you been asking? 18 years. 18 good years. Yes. You have been asking for only one document. Yes. And they keep denying you. Yes. Until Gio came to Spain. Yes. And said there is a power behind it. He breaks the power. Yes. And gave you 14 days. Yes. And in 10 days, you wrote to your lawyer for something different. Yes. And your lawyer replied you with congratulations. Yes. Your exactly. residence is released. Yes. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. What a wonderful God we serve. No wonder the whole world is waiting for our geo. 
all the countries of the world are making application. Which day will you visit us? Which day will you step in our country? Don't worry. By the special grace of God, our Jew will go around the whole world. And we will touch every country. And many things, many miracles will happen. And we will follow him also. Can I hear it louder? Amen. Amen. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm happy to become a choosing. Thank you, Lord. My name is Abraham Adamu. I'm living at Ijora. At Ijora on the bridge. My testimony is that I thank my God that make me to be a choosing. Thank you, Father. I become a choosing under one month. Just one month ago. Just one month. Wow. And I want to thank God for my life, for what he has done to me. And I want to thank the person that bring me on to choosing. Hey, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Because if it's not because of her, how can I do? She supports me in transport in everything. She supports me with the presence of everything. So, I thank God for my life. I thank God for our duo. Every time our duo pray for us, he say, stop smoking, stop drinking, stop doing this. But I'm praying today, my life has been changed. Thank you, Father. Please, my brothers, I'm a house man. I live in Kaduna. Today, yesterday, our GO pray. I'm not a don. I can speak, but you see this English. I know Sabiam. I didn't say English. Now yesterday, now God bring the English. Say I go speak on today. What? Hey, 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 another miracle is coming on your way. Biggie, biggie miracle is coming on your way. So you are telling us now. Yes. That before yesterday. Yes. You cannot speak English. I can speak English. But after our, our pastor's ministration yesterday. Yes. That was when English was given to you. Yes. And you cannot speak English now. I can speak English. Hey. Is that not another big miracle? Yes. Because I'm a house man, I didn't know how to speak. So I want to thank my geo and the rest of the people in the choosing hmm. i don't have anything to say but this friday since on thursday the lord has shown me a greater things you mean three days ago on thursday this thursday three days ago yes God has shown me a something. 
When I came to church on Thursday, you know, there is baptismal class. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. So, since that I came to choosing, the sisters say, why can't you join the baptismal class? I say, hmm, so, anything we go do, now you go walk. So God did it for me. On that Thursday that I came to choosing, I didn't go back to where I am. Yes. When I came here on Thursday, I have night vision with the people that we be a baptized. Okay. So we now doing a vision. So is that on that Thursday, that night, something come to my mind, something come to me, something enter me. I was praising God. I was praising God with together with the people who we are going to baptize. So I'm saying I thank God that that Friday when I baptize, all my depends is worrying me is my on my body. When they say receive the goodness of God, that is how all things have gone away. Hey, 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 clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Yes. I now baptize, I now baptize in the name of the Lord. Amen. And I want to become a pastor. Amen. Amen. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Because that is the section that I choose that on Thursday. I want, I say, I want to become evangelist. I want to be praying for people. Amen. I want to, if I go back to North, because I'm going back to Kaduna. When I go back to Kaduna, I'll go and minister with my people in Kaduna. Amen. Because... <laughs> Amen. <laughs> The God of choosing has done it. Because a Lagos here is only English, English, English. So, Nibana Jinturechi, say the house, but yesterday, Allah, but yesterday, God bring the English and gave you English. And give you English. Clap your hands and so God of the God. I give God all the glory. Amen. I also pray for our Jew, for he that make my life to become like this. Hmm. Because if it's not because of him, I don't know what to say. Because every time I say, God of choosing, God of choosing, God of choosing, anything I want to say, I will say God of choosing. Let God of choosing do it for everyone. Everybody, Amen. as he did for me, let it do for everybody. Amen. All the outside people, not Naga Uku, could join in choosing. Choosing is a great and a great and a great and a great. Amen. Wait, wait, wait. Brethren, I want to read to you again. Something that Gio said yesterday, so that you can confirm that what he said is what has just happened now. Look at what he said. He said, when he was ministering yesterday, and I quote, he said, From today, something precious will come your way. From today, you will never struggle. Can you confirm it now? 
somebody that was not speaking English before, who was struggling to learn Turenchi, was struggling to learn English language. Yesterday, after Gio's ministration, he began to speak like a graduate. What a wonderful God we serve. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. Something great has come your way and my way. And we will never struggle for anything again. Even my standing here is something great. Because I never dreamt I would be here today. It is, is it not something great? God. Hallelujah. I'm happy to be a chosen. Thank you, Father. Brethren, if you are seated here, please hold your chair very well. Mm. Don't allow anybody drag it from you. Thank you. Hold your position, no. Hold your chair, oh. Don't allow anybody to take it from you because mm. this is the right place. Amen. Amen. All right, so my name is Sister Ungozi Vine Jonah. I joined this ministry in the year 2013, and my house care is at number 18, Fagbemi Street, Ijegu. Sorry, Olade in the Fagbemi Street in Ijegu. I'm happy to be a chosen. Brethren, yesterday, we couldn't make it to church yesterday, so we decided to follow online. If you are following online, please follow diligently. Don't be distracted. Don't be, so long as you have a genuine reason for not being here, if you follow online, the Lord will bless you. Amen. So, I've been looking for a job. My last job ended uh, February 2022. So I said I wouldn't apply because I was pregnant at the time. And I wasn't going to apply. I was just going to hold on. When I have my baby, I will then start applying. And then I had my baby um, uh, last year, 2023, uh, in July. So um, I then started applying after three months of the childbirth. And then this God has been faithful. I applied, sent so many applications. I didn't get anything, but I still believed God. Because he has done it for me before, and I know he was going to do it again. So I was praying, I was asking God for a very good job. Sometimes I'll be very worried. Sometimes depression will creep in. I'll be scared. I'll be depressed. You know, this devil is something else. Last year, November 30th, I sat down on my bed. I was weeping. There's this hunger in me to start, start doing something. You know, you know I, I, I see all my husband does by God's special grace. And I, there's this burning desire to assist and not just stay there. So I, I, I told him, he will always tell me to calm down. The Lord has done it for you before. He will do it again. Amen. So yesterday... In the service after the Jesus ministration the first if I'm not if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken though the first um, prayer point he made he said that person you're always very close to getting something but the person well, maybe, let's say you're always very close to getting something but whenever you are this close it doesn't work out it's like there's, there's cobweb covering you. It's like there's a veil covering you. I shouted, I screamed. I said, yes, it's me, yo. I was sitting in front of my TV. I was sitting on the floor. My TV was here, I was here. I, sitting on the floor. I shouted, I said, it's me, it's me, it's me. He said, I cancel it in Jesus' name because I've been so close to getting beautiful, beautiful jobs. You know, they'll be very interested in me. They will see my applications. They will say yes. If I want one of the um, the um, one of my one of the prospective clients said that I believe you are the best fit for the job, and then he ended up not talking to me again. I was worried, so I told I said yes. That it's me, yo, oh, it's me, yo. Oh. And then he said I cancel it in Jesus' name. I said Amen. Already there was this man I was speaking with on Thursday. I started talking with him on Thursday. He gave me a job on the 7th of March. It was just a one-off task to do. I was supposed to find a product for him in the UK. 
So I searched and searched for three weeks. I didn't see this product. So last week, Thursday, maybe three weeks exactly. And I reached out to him and told him that I've searched, but I didn't see it. These are the reasons. Well, I would love to work with you as your personal assistant, as your virtual assistant. So I got this job on Upwork. Most of the youths here would know of Upwork. So I said, I would love to work with you as your personal assistant. And then this is what I can do for you. So he said, okay, that um, there is space for him, for me to be his PA. And that was, so he now sent me his message on WhatsApp. I started talking with him on WhatsApp at about four, past 4 p.m. He stopped talking to me. I was worried again. I said, has this thing started again? Has this man left me? Has it, has it, has it, has it happened again? I was worried. I told my mama to me I should just calm down, that God was going to be. And I, I, I now focused on the service. And then after that, after the Geo's prayer declarations, now, one of the final prayer points Daddy released, he said that I cancel the yoke of unemployment in your life. I said, Amen. And then he said, I'm giving you seven days. And then he now said, that person, I'm giving you three days. I used my hand, my two hands, like this. I hit on the floor yesterday. I said, I'm collecting my own today. Amen. Today. And that yesterday did not pass me by. Power. Hold Power. your chairs if you are in this ministry. A ministry where you can, you are sure of salvation. And then when you, when you make, when you, when, you, when you pray, your prayers are answered. And we have a person in our daddy here. Please hold your chairs. So, um, after the service that day, he didn't reach, he, he, the man did not say anything to me. He didn't respond to my message on his own at about a few minutes to 11 yesterday. He now reached out to me. He told me that, do you speak English fluently? I said, yes. He said, do you speak English completely fluently? I said, yes, I do. He said, um, how free are you? I'm a very busy person. I run four online businesses. I would need a PA. The how free are you? He's going to keep me very busy. I said, yes. Yes, I, I, I want to be busy. So he said, all right. He said, okay. He didn't respond to me again. I said, God, what is happening? I became a little bit scared. I told my husband, I said, I should just take away that fear that God has done it. I said, okay, amen, amen, amen. And I told God, I said, as long as the Jew... So long as the Jew has prayed, correct, it is from his mouth to the ears of the Lord that I mm. must get this thing. I must That's get right. this thing. I started taking, a, taking off fear, taking off fear. So after a while, he reached out to me. He sent me a PDF document and told me that that was my first task. He now told me, "Welcome to the team." I was happy halfway because you're telling me welcome to the team, but you haven't sent me an offer on Upwork yet. So I kept quiet. And again, the first task that he gave to me on the 7th of March, he has not paid. So I now told him that, um, I'm sorry not to be forward, but the first task, although I did not get the product, you haven't paid for it. Are you going to make payment for that? And am I going to get a job offer for this second task? So he said that, that he was very impressed with the way I handled that first task, even if I did not get the products that he appreciates my diligence and my work ethic that he's going to release the money for me almost immediately he released that money for me that yesterday night hey that's for the first task that i did and Thank i said okay father. how about this one of your being your personal assistant are you going to send me an offer for this he didn't respond the next minute i got another notification from upwork that he has sent an offer these offers are not small offers, though. <laughs> These offers are not small offers by the special grace and mercy of God. This second offer is an $8 per hour job. $8 per hour. So, <laughs> $8 per hour job. And you know, right now, $1 is 1,200 naira. And as the dollar increases, I'm sorry to say, my salary increases. So... <laughs> I want to give God all the glory. So these two things happened last night after the ministration, the prayers, and the declaration of my G.O. here. Clap he your said, hands unto you God of the like big man. I was laughing anyhow in my parlor. He said, laugh, laugh, laugh economically. I laughed and laughed and laughed. 
and this is the result. So I want to give God all the glory. I want to appreciate his name. He is wonderful. Yes. He is faithful. This Clap God your is hands unto God, God of the chosen. This God is awesome. I want to give this God all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. I want to say thank you, Jesus, for all you have done, for all you have been doing, for all I'm trusting you to keep doing. Thank you, Jesus. In wow. Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want to use this medium to reach my geo heaven at last. Every one of you here, heaven at last. And if you are hoping for something like this, I pray the Lord will grant it unto you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that what will come to you will be more than you ever expect. Amen. Just like he did unto me. In Jesus' mighty name. <laughs> I wish every one of you heaven at last. I pray for every one of you heaven at last. In Jesus' name. Amen. And I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Sister, confirm to me, yesterday our Gio said, laugh like a big man. And you laughed like a big woman. I did, though. <laughs> Can you confirm to me now that from the ministration of our Gio yesterday, that yesterday did not pass you, you have become a big woman. Yes, I have, automatically. <laughs> Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. This God is so great. And it confirms the word of our pastor. Even if you think it's a joke, even if you think it's a laughing matter, it is a very serious matter in heaven. Brethren, there are many people that God has visited yesterday. And if you are one of them that God has visited yesterday as a result of the ministration of our geo, we would like to hear your testimony like we had this one too. And if you have your testimony coming from other previous ministrations in other retreats, in other crusades, in other meetings, in other services, we want to hear your testimony. Come to my left hand side where the testimony interviews are. The sister said she was following online because there was a genuine reason why she could not be here yesterday. Maybe you are here or you are also following online and you receive the touch of God. If it is not possible for you to get to us here, you can send also your testimony online. Go to our website. You can send your testimony immediately at www.tlc crm.org you will see a space to put in your testimony put it there and send it to us and those of you that are physically present we like to hear your testimony come quickly to my left hand side by the pulpit area meet the testimony interviewers there is still opportunity for you to share your testimony praise the lord the next testifier Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Marietta, please, I want to sing to the glory of God. Please sing. Covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. The God I've chosen, there is no one like you. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you, and the God I've chosen, there is no one like you. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To the glory of God, my name is Sister Chiso Evelyn Adobe Ochi, and my baby's names are Brother Dominion Chukwe Buka Victory. Destiny, Ochi. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I joined Choosing in the year 2008, and I bless God for making I and my family chosen. Thank you, Father. Firstly, I want to thank God for the genuine salvation of my soul. Thank you, Lord. And my testimony goes like this. I want to appreciate the God of choosing for making me to deliver like the Hebrew women. Thank you, Lord. 
I will not um, talk much, but I will go straight to the point. During the pregnancy journey, a lot of fears, a lot of attack, because this is my first issue. This is my first experience. But I kept on believing God of choosing. I said, God of choosing, if you do this, I will testify. And I kept on coming to service, like Thursday service, Tuesday service, and I kept on receiving the prayer of our daddy G.O. And a certain Thursday I came, and uh, our daddy G.O. made a declaration. He said, there's someone here, you, you're about to deliver, and I, I, I pray that you deliver like the Hebrew women. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I claimed it. So after a week, I started feeling somehow, I didn't know that I was in labor because it's my first issue. I didn't even know it was labor. I thought it's a normal pregnancy feeling. Then on the, this happened on Monday. And on Tuesday, it increased. I didn't get myself anymore. Then I had to tell my husband that I need to go to the hospital to check what's wrong with me. My husband said, okay, you can go to the hospital. So I went to the hospital and the doctor checked me and he said, madam, this is labor. You are in labor. I wanted to... I wanted to I like not so fear, but when I remembered I was a choosing, mm -hmm. I gathered strength. And the doctor made calls and called some nurse said, Carry this lady to the ward. And they took me to the ward. After some time, they said, Come to the delivery room. They brought me down to the delivery room. And in fact, I was shouting, I was screaming, God of choosing, help me. Because the pain was too extensive, I could not bear it. I said, God of choosing, see me through. Without you, I can do nothing. And the nurses were like, Madam, calm down, calm down. I said, you will not understand how I'm feeling. So the, when they kept on checking me, and they checking me, I said, the head of your baby has not turned. That the head of your baby has not turned. I said, when will the head of my baby turn? God of choosing, please do it. And with much prayers and the uh, declaration of our daddy G.O., that certain Thursday, I remembered as at 8 p.m., the head of my baby turned. Power! <laughs> After Jesus declaration. When the head of my baby turned, the doctor came. He said, Madam, let's check you again. And they didn't even know that the head of my baby has turned. When they checked me, he said, the head of your baby. He began to call the nurses, come, oh, come, oh, come, oh, come, oh. And they, they came. And they, was like, they, should, and they were like, tell me to push. I didn't push up to two times, the baby jump out. Power! Clap Choosing your hands and God of the choosing. The Lord! Hallelujah! And the sweet part of the testimony, because I said I want to go straight to the point. I was praying for a baby boy, but when I went to scan, during the pregnancy journey, they said from what they are seeing is a baby girl that I'm carrying a female child and with some other revelation that the baby I'm carrying is a female child but I kept on believing God but when I delivered this baby I delivered a bouncing baby boy power clap your hands unto God of the chosen this is great God of choosing is so great he's, so he's a great. faithful God I didn't even expect like delivering a baby boy because all my hope is like oh well the both gender, they are all important. But when I delivered, I saw a, a baby boy. In fact, I was shocked. Hmm. I said, to this God that have done this great thing, may his name be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. In fact, I have a lot of testimony, but at this junction, I pray for my general pastor, heaven at last. Hmm. All Amen. the choosing worldwide, heaven at last. Amen. And I and my family, heaven at last. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Let your husband also say, Praise the Lord. Choosing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The God of choosing is so great. He's so great. The God of choosing is so great. He's so great. You are blessed. Amen. Let's clap unto God and appreciate Him. She delivered like the Hebrew women, the choosing women. This God of choosing, Nababao. It's better to hold on to God of choosing and be a choosing. She said while the pain was excruciating, 
she started calling upon God of choosing and holding on to the prayer and declaration of our Jew. And all of a sudden, the head of the baby turned at 8 p.m. after Jew's declaration and the miracle happened. Those of you who have passed through what it means to deliver baby, you will better appreciate the testimony than those who are just imagining. <laughs> Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Amen. The next testifier. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We never knew who yeah, we honor us this way. We never knew. Yeah, we honor us this way. We never knew. Yeah, we honor us this way. Yeah, we honor us this way. Thank you, Jesus. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Peter Obona, one of the coordinator. Regional Coordinator in Ikrodo Autonomous. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All of us here are from Odokekere Regional Equator under Odogonyo Autonomous Favor Branch. Amen. We are here to appreciate the God of my pastor, the God of the chosen, the Almighty God. For what he has done for us. We have a fellowship center, and the place I've opened since 2010. Because how the place looks like, people are mocking us. We didn't have money to build a better church. But the brethren there have been talking to God, calling upon God, and God has chosen to raise a family hmm. to come and build the church. Power. And give the church a befitted fellowship center. Thank you, Lord. And the people, the family are choosing family, the people that build the church, and they are here today. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. This is beautiful. I hope you can see it on the screen. So we are very happy and we are here with a little token. This day of covenant, peace, and blessings. So that the covenant of peace and blessings will follow the region. Amen. And blessings attached to it. Amen. So we are very grateful. We are saying that the, this God who has done this thing for us, may his name May his name, his name, be highly exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. We all are praying for our Jew that this God of choosing who has spoken to that family through our Jew prayer, that God will strengthen our daddy. Amen. He will make our daddy to become more younger and younger. Amen. And you will grant all the hard desires of our daddy in Jesus' name. Amen. He will fight us his battle and give him victory in front in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, wonderful name we pray. Amen. Let all your other brethren say praise the Lord. Are they the officials? Just of say the praise the Lord. The God of choosing is so great. He's so great. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The God of choosing is so great. He has done us well in Jesus' name. Choosing praise the Lord. The God is so great the God of choosing is so great the God of choosing is so great you are blessed choosing praise the Lord the God of choosing is so great 
Be God that chosen is so great. The God of my pastor is so great. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Very wise regional pastor there who wants to connect to the grace of the headquarters. He has come to connect to grace properly by sowing a seed. It's a wise thing to do. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. All the time. My name is Franca Emmanuel. I started choosing 2004. And my branch is Chair Club branch. I thank God for the salvation of my soul. Thank you, Father. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for God of choosing to heal me of one leg poison. One leg poison. One weak leg poison. Okay. My dear brothers and my sister, I say one week. This one week likes one year. Because when this thing happened, like two, three days, they, my legs swollen. Red as if they pour me hot water. After some time, it formed pus. The pain was too much, was very, very unbearable. But when my husband come back, I told him, if only then my husband come to the Tulsa program, and our daddy mentioned my case. Because I talked to the uh, court of choosing, Daddy, this is my leg. It's motor. It's machine. I can use this leg and preach as gospel. So to trade to Yaba is a small thing. Do you want my leg to cut off? He said, no. When my husband come to the church, our Jeho, our loving father, mentioned my case, leg poison. And when my husband come back, he tell me that, you are healed, my Jeho has prayed for you. That is how my leg come down and the pain disappeared. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. Chosen press, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My second testimony go like this. Uh, like July two years ago, when I come back from London, to go back in two weeks' time, I don't know what happened. I disconnect from my helpers. When I call them, they don't pick my call. I call, I call, I call, they don't pick my call. It's only one in this Lagos. I said there is something somewhere. Because I come back with happiness, with joy, with every good thing. I don't know what disconnect me, but when I come, my pastor prayed. And that is how God of choosing connect me back to my helper. Choosing, praise the Lord. When I call them, they pick my call and we discuss. Choosing press, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Moderator, please permit me. I want to sing. Okay, sing. I am a blessed child. I am a blessed child. Jesus made me a blessed child. I am a blessed child. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Indeed, the God of choosing is good. Is Amen. Good God. He paid to serve God. When you serve God, God in return will service you. Amen. I partnership with the God of the choosing. A little that I can partner. No matter what happened, I must make sure that I partnership with the God of choosing. Children of God, partnership with the God of the choosing. In return, he will bless you. Amen. Oh, rejoice. 
Sisterios, God has made me rejoice. God has made me rejoice. Just in praise the Lord. The call of the chosen, the call of my pastor, fell for me with one point one million seven hundred thousand. Amen. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Brother and my sister, there is something in this testimony. The person first of all sent me 1.5 million. I was happy. I said, yes, my tithe is 150,000. I will pay my tithe. When I said, let me go and thank the person, pray for the person that do this. The family, I pick, I call, he answer me. When I finish, he says, Sister, hold on. My heart cut. I say, When I commit sin, I will beg you. Hold on, sister. Sister Franca, hold on. I hold on. He said, Do you know that you will pay your tithe? I say, Yes, I will pay 150,000. He said, Hold on. I hold on. He said, hold on, I hold on. He said, sister, I said, sir. He said, I will send you another 200,000 so that when you remove your tithe, 170,000, it will remain for you. That is how God of the chosen one, the God of my pastor, favor me with 1.7 million. And this is the title of Hundred and seventy thousand. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. I say in return, my Geo, that call call him. When he pray for us, the Almighty answer his prayer in our life. Yes. God, you know, is a human being, yes. but you are God. All what it takes to make him to be happy, so that we all we go with him and rejoice in heaven. God give to him and his family in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And me and my family and the old choosing word, heaven at last in mm. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And the family that blessed me with this morning. Oh, God of the choosing one. The God of my pastor. Money will not lack in your hand. Amen. He will run away. Money will pursue him with long life and stand here. Him and their family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. May the good God bless them. Bless all of the chosen one for us to make heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. my testimony with the blood of Jesus. The blood, blood of, of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Amen. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Hmm. What a wonderful God we serve. As you said yesterday, he said, you see you beginning from this program. You will never be in want of anything. The sister did not beg them for money. It's just that God wants to confirm the word of his servant. And that is why, why 1.7 million naira landed. And when 1.5 came, she said she's going to pay tight. And the man said, hold on. You want to pay tight. Okay, let me send you extra money. So that when you pay your tight, you will still have your 1.5 intact. You, who can do this? Only God of choosing can do this. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Be a choosing. As you be a choosing, you will enjoy everything. It's not only money. You will have peace. You will have security. You will have long life. You will have blessings. You will have confidence. You'll be able to go anywhere you want. You know that this apron we are wearing now, eh? many people, they come to this compound to come and look for our apron so that when they travel, they will travel free. God gave us this apron, not just for decoration. He said, 
it is an armor to the chosen. It's an armor of protection. It's not just identifying us as chosen, it's an armor of protection. So when you are privileged to have it, make use of it properly well. One brother even came and told us that the apron that is with us, we should not squeeze it. We should fold it when we remove it from our body. We should fold it and keep it because it carries power. I'm just telling you this because you are a newcomer. Praise the Lord. So that you can make use of the privilege of being a choosing and eat the fruit thereby. Don't just put your leg in and remove your leg. Sit down. Everything you want in life is in choosing. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. The next testifier. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I would like to read that song. Just short song. Okay, sing. He answer prayer. He answer prayer. He answer prayer. He answer. God of choosing answer prayer. God of choosing answer prayer. God of my pastor answer prayer. Oh, he answer prayer. Answer prayer. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Praise Ajime Zalu. I reside in number 58, Akiriola Street, Okyodo, under Abulegba region. My branch is Okyodo branch. I started choosing in the year 2004. And I want to thank God. For giving me this privilege, the opportunity to stand before God and testify this morning. Mm. This is my second time of giving testimony when I joined Choosing. Praise God. And I will never forget the first testimony God of Choosing gave to me. After 16 years of marriage, I joined Choosing in the year 2004. And 2005, God gave me a bouncy baby girl and today I'm happily blessed with three children clap your hands unto God of the chosen and these three children God has given to me they are not just ordinary children they are chosen indeed and they are working in the vineyards of God the hand of choosing the God of choosing they are just like father like our geo like their, their, their daughter I Amen. said this God who have opposed them for me who have been keeping them for me and my family Making us to be a choosing with you today. May his name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Amen. Since that time, I have a lot of testimony to share. But I thank God today. I don't know where to start from. But I will start from just because of the time. I want to thank God who make it possible for me to be alive sister, even to see this sister, day. Sister, yes, please. What God of choosing has done for you is so great. Okay, I don't want you to rush it and make us to lose the meat of the testimony. You see, you are trying to tell us something. Did you say that for 16 years you had no child? Yes, sir. Then you joined choosing 2004. Yes, sir. And by the next year, 2005, God opened your way. Yes, the first, and, the first crusade, crusade we did in this auditorium, the time they opened this grant, which wow. is titled Hope for the Battle. That is the day God break the yoke 16 years of barrenness in my Power! life. Power! That is the meat of the testimony. And she just said it as if it is, a, it is a something like a very small thing. It's a big so, testimony. I will never forget. Anywhere I stand to give my testimony, I always add it to my testimony. Mm. I will never forget in my life. This God is so great. And the one God has just done again that brought me up, there are many. I will just go straight to the point. Sometimes, more than seven years ago, my husband was attacked with leg poison. And by the grace of God, God was choosing him. And if he could not be able to come out to give the testimony. Over three years ago, God of choosing has made him perfectly okay. Power! I say, this God have done this for us. May his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. As if that one is not enough, because I will never glorify. 
everything about our business went down flat. And my pastor had been praying and praying for us. And I believe and I know what God of choosing can do. Then last year, one of my junior sisters, God using to favor us, I started another business. I leave the one I pray, God asked me to change the business. Then I, I started another one. Then one week of my starting the business, the following week, I saw my leg. For three days, I could not come out. I thought that it's just ordinary malaria. The third day, I saw my leg from my knee down, as if they pour me hot water. Everything just swell up as if it's boil hot water. I call my branch pastor. He said I should come and pray. Then he prayed for me. Along the line, I was still praying, believing God. Until my junior ones, all of them, they are in worry. When I told them, they said I should come. I said, but I'm believing God. He said I should come and rest. I need rest. Then a day to New Year, I went to worry. That day to New Year, I was thinking that I will come back before Igbidi crusade. But I could not be able to meet, to meet up to the time. Then my first daughter came in here and pre represent me. She came here from Sunday to the time of Igbidi, to the Igbidi uh, program, from Sunday to Sunday, before she, uh, after the program she went to. And she was calling me every day, Mommy, Pastor, measure your case. Hmm. Mommy, Pastor, measure your case. Don't worry, you will be here. Pastor, Amen. I have canceled it for you. It started Amen. every day, morning and night, she will tell me. And I believe on it. I want to tell you that today, something that happened December, if they tell you that today, that this happened, started December, and today my leg was totally healed, nothing is done, happened No again. more pain. Everything has disappeared. No more sign of hot water. I say, this very God of choosing. Who is able to do all things? Who always answer prayer? Who never put me to shame? Who never disappoint me? Whenever I call or hit me, always answer me. The merciful Father, I did not even word it to all these good things you have been doing for me. I said, may his name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I promise God that I will continue to serve him. Me and my generation, we will serve him to the last Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this God of choosing who have been doing this for me, he will continue. And I want to tell you, as many that are here, my pastor always say, if he's preaching, some people will be going out. He will be calling you, come back. Don't go, don't go. The day God break the yoke of barrenness in my life, it was at the dying minute. Every, every pastor had run out the service. People had started going. I ran back to the altar. I said, God, you will visit me today. I will not go. After much prayer, I thank you, God, for what God had done that day. He mentioned the case. He said, those that are here looking for... By this time, nine months to come, you will carry your baby in your hand in Jesus' name. Amen. That is when the anointing take me. And hey. I told you, 20, I think uh, on that day, 20, uh, the 25th of August, I have my first baby. Power. Please, if God, if pastor, he said, don't go, don't go. Don't go. Listen to the word. You don't know when your visitation will come. Please, I don't know why God put it in my mind to say this. Mm. I said, I want... This very good God that called my daddy Gio will never leave him. Amen. I wish my daddy Gio heaven at last. Amen. All the choosing one, me and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. God will give us the grace to obey him and to serve him to the end. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So the business that went down as you started a new business. Yes, sir. And it's booming. That is why the devil is afraid. They are angry. They started oh. afflicting themselves. Then the but business, today, God has given me victory over there. Your business the is booming, Jesus. and the leg poison is also healed. Disappear. And your family is doing well. Yes, sir. Let's clap unto God and appreciate Him. <laughs> the next testifier. Chosen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Divine Odili. I came from all the way from Italy on oh. Tuesday. Thank you, Father. And I thank God for making me and my family chosen. Thank you, Lord. My first testimony 
I am thanking God for his journey, mercy, all the way from Italy to in Nigeria. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. And I am also thanking God of choosing for giving me the grace to win so in Italy and establish the lost chosen uh, has care fellowship. Clap your that is exploits. So my test third testimony is how God healed me of a kidney cancer. Amen. God of chosen is so great. Amen. It all happened that a day came that I began to feel stomach bite and all the night I couldn't get myself and my wife told me you have to go to hospital to find what is the cause. So when I went to the hospital the doctor there found, they, found, they did a, a scan and they found that there is a problem in my kidney. So when the doctor saw it, that is a, something that is very, very, very grave. And he went to my in-law in her office and told my in-law that the problem that I have is a terrible one. And my in-law began to cry. She began to cry and she fell on the floor crying. And I was waiting in the office for the doctor to told, tell me what is the problem. And the doctor didn't came to me, so I decided to come outside. So I found my in-law crying, everybody crying in the ground that the problem that I have is so great. So I know whom I am. I know that I am a chosen. Right. I did not fear. So my wife worked in another hospital and she, she called and asked them to call and bring me to that hospital to do another scan. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go on my way going and I said to the Lord, Father, I have established the lost chosen Haskell Fellowship. If anything happened to me, who will build these people up? So hmm. I decide to go and say, God, take control. So when I arrived there, my wife took did the test on me and they asked me to come in and they brought a machine. Before I enter inside the machine, I declare myself chosen three times. Correct. I ask the God of my pastor to take over. Mm -hmm. So when I enter inside, the doctor, my wife went and called the, the expert that are there to examine and to do the scan very well. So they begin to do the scan over 10 minutes. They finished 10 minutes. They said they have to add a chemical inside my body so that the body, that chemical will detect where the error is. So they, when they pour the chemical on me, they try all they could. Later, after 10 minutes again, my wife came to me and said, have you prayed before you entered here? I said, because I am a chosen, I have prayed. He said, they found nothing in your kidney. Power! Thank God I am a chosen. Thank God I am a chosen. Thank God I am a chosen. Thank God. Chosen, thank God. Thank God. I say thank God I am a choosing thank God choosing thank God I am a choosing thank God Amen Amen So since that very day up to today I have never feel any pain my kidney it has changed God of chosen has done a great miracle Clap in my your life. hands unto God of the chosen So with all this that God of Chosen has done for me, I am here to say thank you, God of Chosen, for what you have done for me. At this junction, I pray for my general overseer, Heaven at last, and all the chosen worldwide, and the chosen in Italy, Heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. 
she gave God a strong reason why she why he gave God a strong reason why he should not be sick and God said it is true what was the reason he gave God he said I am a choosing I am a choosing I am a choosing God of my pastor take over I have done your work I have established the lost chosen house care fellowship if anything happens to me who will follow them up who will be there and God said that is a strong reason because it's a choosing if it was not a choosing it would not be tenable but because it's a choosing God listened to him you know why he declared himself a choosing because our geo said whenever you are face to face with any danger declare yourself a choosing three times and ask the danger who are you and if the danger is still standing there say God of my pastor where are you our Jews said, then you will see something that is greater than man. From that day till today, we have been having testimonies upon testimonies in thousands, if not in millions by now. Because from every country of the world, these testimonies are coming. You see, this one happened in Italy. Praise the Lord. We have the one from Philippines. We have from South Korea. We have from China. We have from every part of the world the testimonies of God of choosing. So be a choosing and that will settle your matter. You will not need to struggle for anything again. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Stella Ikogo. I live at number 14 Achievers Street, Ejibo. My dear brethren, this is 10 years I enter choosing. Thank you, Lord. I'm also thanking God for the good salvation. Thank dear, you, Father. Amen. My dear brother, my testimony goes like this. The first one, when I was doing business, they do me a tuere on my leg. This thing continued paining me. Continued paining me up to five years. I used to come to service because our GO said continuation brings freedom. This year, when our GO prayed and said everybody should raise her right hand up. I did that. He said we should tap it three times. And I tapped my leg three times. I did not see the pains again. Choosing praise the Lord. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. My dear brethren, the second one is my junior sister. Last two weeks, the mother called me and said that her daughter had been kidnapped. So I didn't know what to do. I said, God, don't allow shame to come upon me because in my family, all of us are not choosing. We that are choosing, they don't know us again. They don't even give us anything. What I did was, I sent my GO number to my junior sister. I said, call GO. If GO did not answer you, there's a message. And I'm sure she did that. On Monday, my sister called me that they have released her daughter. Choosing praise the Lord. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. The third one, my dear Madreto, please permit me to sing. Okay, sing. He has given me the joy of my heart. He has given me the joy of my heart. Oh, after so many years of my suffering, He has given me the joy of my heart. God has chosen, has given me the joy of my heart. He has given me the joy of my heart. Oh, after so many years of my weeping, he has given.
giving me the joy of my heart. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. When I was struggling, doing my business, training my children, when they entered the university, my first daughter, she did not. When she was about to do her final exam, my dear brother, no money again. I went to the bank. The bank did not give me money. What I did, I phoned Gio, and Gio answered us. And Gio was praying for me. She, he said, all those affliction is over in Jesus' name. Amen. Your daughter must pass her exam in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear brethren, I know you will not believe. The next day, the bank people came to my shop and said, Mommy, come and collect the money. Power! Oh, God. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. My dear brethren, I've never seen this before. When I went to their office to collect the money, after the loan, they gave me extra money. Madam, use this one for your taxi. I said, God of choosing, you be Baba. Wow. The next day, we send the money to my daughter. My daughter took the exam and passed her exam. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. He confirmed the word of his servant. After the exam, after one week, she came to Lagos. The next week, she got her job at Lakey. When, hey. she, when she was there, she was uh, uh, taking all these exams. The first one, they scammed her. She continued. We were drinking Gary because we don't know what to do. I said, Nemu, try one. Lower the exam. She continued doing the exam. When she did the next one, she passed the exam. When I came here, I was praying, crying, uh, crying. I make a vow. I said, God of my pastor, if you allow my daughter to pass this asking exam on 15 January this year, I will come out with a talking money and thank you. My dear brethren, with the help of my brethren at my branch at Ejibo, my daughter passed exam. Amen. <clears throat> <clears throat> Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, my daughter is now at UK. Choosing praise the Lord. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When I did the vow, I promised God that I will come out here and run for Him. And I'm going to run for my Lord. And what I am running here, I, what I promised to give God, my daughter doubled it three times. Say, Mommy, God fulfill your promise. Because God of choosing is a faithful God. He's a great and God. He's a great God. I said, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to run for God. After rolling, I'll come and pray for my Jesus. Okay. Finish everything first. Uh, G, my G.O. Oh, any altar, any shrine, any covenant, anywhere at all, slaughterhouse, that my G.O. name is there. I say, God of choosing, thunder will scatter their altar in Jesus' name. Amen. God of choosing will wear my G.O. angelic body. Amen. As mountains surrounded Jerusalem. That is how God of children will surround my Jewel, the family, the, the grandsons, the grandchildren in Jesus' name. Amen. My Jewel, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. All the pastors, choosing what were heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I and my family, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. God of choosing Baba. Na ba 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 oh. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Please use your hand and appreciate God. Are they, are they for sale? Thank you, Father. The God of choosing has done much more than she can 
we wish for. And that is why she has come to appreciate God. Choosing I say, you are, you are worthy, Lord. Choosing I say, you are the God of choosing. Choosing I say, you are Alpha and Omega. Choosing I say, you are a man. The God of choosing is reliable. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want you to take note of all the statements that will come out of the mouth of our pastor today. Because we have the testimony of one of our pastors here who God showed a revelation. In that revelation, he saw the ancient of days. And the ancient of days told him and said he has sworn that because our pastor is dependable, is faithful, is reliable, anything he says, he, the ancient of days, will bring it to pass. Praise the Lord. This is why you should take your Bible and paper and write down the things he will say because you will be able to watch them happen. You will see them coming to pass in your life. And you'll be able to claim them because when you claim them, it becomes yours. But if you don't remember them, how do you claim them? Try to remember them. Try to claim them. That sister said she was watching online and our pastor gave a word that three days you that you are not employed i give you three days get employment she said she was sitting in front of the television concentrating and she used her two hands and hit the floor ba 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 i said today today i'm getting my own today and what happened god of choosing said yes it is true and the man that she was discussing employment with gave her the offer that same yesterday. And by that yesterday, that Gio said, laugh like a big man. The sister also laughed there. And instantly, she was given a job that she would be collecting $8 every hour. $8 every hour. As soon as one hour finished, $8 entered the account. As soon as every hour finished, $8 entered the account. That is a big woman. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Oh, we are going to be blessed today. Are you getting ready? Are you getting ready? Please be ready. Because me, I came with a trailer load, empty. Trailer. I want to load my blessing inside trailer. What did you come with? <laughs> eh? Did you come with something? <laughs> ah, when our pastor finished ministering today, you will be loaded. And you will go home with it in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. By his grace, I'm Brother Godwin Nachi. I'm standing by my side. He's my beloved daughter. Favor, Ijedema Nachi. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We joined Choosing 2005. And we're living at number 18, Ubumosha Street, Ijesha. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Here comes our testimony. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a journey of 1,000 miles that started as a second. Mm. On March last year, my daughter developed an ailment. She went to test and it was discovered that she's having typhoid malaria. As she went to hospital, after treatment, she came back home. On April, the same thing repeated. We went to lab test, the same thing was confirmed. 
And that's how the thing continued until May. When the thing was escalating, we decided to change another hospital. And getting to another hospital, she was admitted and treated for one week. No way. Instead of getting better, she was getting worse, having seizure. To a point, the doctor now placed her on oxygen because she cannot breathe on herself again. Then, after two days, the doctor said, no, this is beyond him. He now wrote a paper and referred us to FMC Hospital at Yaba. After he had sent us to go for x-ray, which at last the result came out that she has a pneumonia. And according to his interpretation, that a pneumonia is hiding in a very dangerous place at the chest region. So we rushed to Yaba on emergency. And there they admitted us on emergency as well and placed her on oxygen. We admitted for one week. But while the treatment was going on, the problem started escalating, getting worse. To a point, the doctors were even confused and tired of her. So now, the main thing has not been discovered, yet they are running tests from now and then. It was when our general uh, woman leader, national woman leader now submitted a picture to our general overseer that when he prayed that the issue came to know what it was. There at the, general, there at the FMC, after all series of treatment, nothing was found. Then there's some team of doctors, because after one week, they have to discharge us and say, refer us to ICU, intensive care unit. That, but God wanted to prove himself and could not make a way for us to go to that very ICT. Then, they now discharge us and say they are fed up. If we cannot go to the ICT, then I see you. The ICU, we cannot go to our, any other place we like. Then we are discharged and we came home. It was on Wednesday. Then the next day being Thursday, I arranged a Marwa Keke to bring us to the church for C prayer. Correct. Then, on crossing the bridge at Selede, the Marwa fell break and descended and hit by the pavement, some assaulted, trapped the three of us, my wife, myself, and her. Then it assaulted and trapped us. I hurried out, pulled out my daughter from the sand, and then let her get to my wife. Before I pulled my wife out, she was unable to stand. Her waist, everything was disorganized. She cannot stand. We stayed here over 45 minutes. Going back home, no way. Coming to church, no way. But as God may have it, some traffic waters helped us to stop traffic for us to cross the road. But the first person that saw us was a choosing brother that was coming to church. He saw us with apron and then beckoned us to come into the car. He brought us to the church, and I have to use wheelchair to bring my wife, my daughter, down into the church. After prayer, that is how we went home the same way. And from that time henceforth, my wife could not stand or do anything on her own, less alone my daughter. I was all alone for them to urinate, eat, and whatever. It was masterminded by me for them to urinate. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As this was going on, the problem began to increase, and a sister recommended me another hospital at Ajawa State. We went there. Remember, is this, is this your daughter on the screen or your wife? Yes, this is my daughter. Okay. So now they referred us to Ajawa State. When we got there, it was there. Like I told you, it was after the pastor's prayer that we can now discover the remedy, the problem. So she has to pass through tests and it was discovered she has TB. All this why there is no symptom of TB. She doesn't cough, nothing. But from one thing or the other, while we are trying to treat this as the lab test tells, it will metamorphose to another thing. Then, from there, they referred us to IDH at Yaba, that very hospital. They told us they cannot do it. We have to go to IDH at Yaba. And after some weeks, we went there. I want to tell you, as this thing was going, a point that she cannot even stand on her own. She cannot pick spoon, a common spoon to feed herself, let alone drinking water. I have to do all this thing by myself, to buy her, to take care of her, whatever she wants. Why this one was going on? 
the thing was eaten deep and deep. Then getting to uh, IGH, we paid for two weeks. But after, they admitted them for two weeks, but after one week, they said I have done the best they can, that they discharged us. Then she developed migraine headache. All this while, from hand to leg, to a point the leg was folding, as if it was electrocuted. She cannot sit, lie down, or do it. She was just dreaming about shouting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then, there, I asked them, what of the migraine headache? What is going to be done? He said, there is a scan we have to go that will cost 40000 But as God may have it, God put it in my mind that it's a waste of money that the doctor, the devil, wanted to siphon everything about us. We couldn't go. Then we came back home. And the problem was worsening, worsening. But through the prayer of my pastor, I mean, they, they will show you the screen what we were going through when she was in incubator, and at the same time, when she was in a chronic rolling about, she lost her memory, lost everything within her. Humanly speaking, there was no hope. But this God of choosing, devil selected her best, his worst eleven. But God chose the best man of his equal. It is our pastor to rescue the remedy. Amen. Choose him, praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. So, choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why this was going on? Then God started using brethren to support us, to keep us moving in any area, the devil. And the prime suspect, the crime suspect, which was our neighbor ran away from the yard after a series of prayer she packed off overnight nobody know where she ran to even to this moment it was even later her children came and then packed her load and rented out the apartment there's nothing that she didn't fight us with the whole compound was in a mess because of her even bed bug everything but now that she had left everything along the compound within the premises has Evacuated, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I'm standing by here by the grace of God to testify the goodness and glory of God. People that saw me and her in this church saw what we are going through. In fact, they have been expecting this testimony, and our pastor as well tell that tell me that he will hear my testimony and Amen. hear the testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So as God may have it, as you are seeing her standing healthy and hearty. It is just the glory of God. Because Amen. looking at her now, from the sense of what happened, she has already gone. Her enemy has been buried. But thank God of choosing who has restored her back to life and made everything possible in Jesus' Shall name. Shall we clap unto God and appreciate him for divine intervention? Thank so you, Father. At this point, I want to give all the glory, honor, adoration to this God of choosing. Who mm. has done this to me and to my family? Who has rusted hope where there was no hope again? Mm. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, And Father. I want to pray for my pastor and the entire choosing members who one way or the other contributed physically, spiritually, financially to us to survive it. I say, may God reward them bountifully in the name of Jesus. Amen. And such I pass through, I pray it should not be a portion to any brother or sister here in the name of Jesus. Amen. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The trials Choose him, praise life. the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. No matter the trials, no matter the temptation, no matter the affliction, remain a chosen and trust him. Our pastor said, it, whatever it is that is troubling you is just a messenger to bring you to choosing. And once the messenger has finished his work, the messenger has to go. The messenger has finished his work, now the messenger is gone. And our brother and his daughter is free to enjoy the grace of God. Let's clap on to God again and appreciate him. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Mrs. Anichukwe Berechi. 
I'm from Ikorodu, Imokekere branch to be precise, Lagos State. I'm here to testify on what the God of Children has done in my life and in the life of my family members. In the quest of fertility, looking for a baby, for almost two years, one year plus, my husband and I have been looking for the fruit of the womb. We went to different hospitals in quest of this baby that I'm talking to you about. But different doctors with their different scamming. In fact, they'll tell us to bring money for one medicine, they'll remove the name of the medicine and put it inside such and tell us to pay 150000 50000 for it. Uh -uh. So that they'll be collecting money from us. We went to different hospitals. During that waiting season, most of you that have experienced fertility issues, you understand the emotional trauma and psychological trauma it used to cause. But then, my husband never stopped believing. In fact, my husband turned to my pastor. Every night he would pray with me, he would tell me, don't worry, God will answer your prayer. Stop all this, your Wakanda. I'll tell him, oh God, don't worry, it's me that is Wakanda. So, as we went, kept going and looking for this uh, fruit of the womb, went for scan tests, different things, nothing happened. And I was very tired and devastated. At the point, I was like telling my husband, I don't even know what somebody is doing inside marriage when the person cannot give birth to him. So, at the point, my husband was encouraging me. Then, somebody linked my husband with an intercessor in choosing church. And my husband told the intercessor the story of our life, of how we have been looking for a baby. The pastor, the intercessor said he was going to come to the house, and he came. That day, my husband called me and said, um, Babe, pastor is coming to the house to pray, so get ready. And the pastor came. He asked us to kneel down, and we should ask for forgiveness for complete two hours straight. We were praying and asking for forgiveness. They keep asking when God has forgiven you that God will minister to him and he will know. We now down, we ask for forgiveness for complete two hours plus. And after that, he said, God has answered your prayer. Madam, what do you want God to do for you? I said, I want God to give me a baby. He said, what gender? Be specific. Tell God of choosing what you want him to do for you. Don't be going, beating about the bush. I said, I want a baby boy. Yo. He asked my husband. My husband said, baby boy, a son. So, then, <laughs> then, the pastor said, it is answered. In fact, that he's giving me from that month to the next four months. If I don't conceive, I should just know that the God of choosing words has fallen on the ground. I said, okay. He said, it was not reached that four months, oh, but he's just trying to just make it to look proper. But within that four months, I said, okay. Then, we we'll stay waiting. After that month passed, I was like, please. Babe, let's go and do IVF. Maybe God of choosing will use a doctor and do this miracle. Not as if that he will come straight. And my husband was like, believe in God. This, believe in God. You like to argue and doubt. I said, no, let us use IVF. I have to carry myself. I don't even know when I reach Ogun State. When I reach Ogun State, I ask them where I was. They say, you are in Ogun State. I say, eh? now wow, now so I walk out reach. And when I reach there, they were now like, okay that um, I should pay for folder, I should deposit money. I told my husband, please send money, or they say I should deposit money. He said, I'm telling you that maybe God has answered this prayer and you are still looking forward to put more money again. This is why I like to spend money. I say, oh God, are you depositing this money? I be, you want me to be in this way? Let me know that I'm on this thing alone. He said, okay, tell them to send account number, let me transfer the money so that you know I'm supporting you and we're in this together. I said, okay. Then I sent the account number, I deposited 40,000 Naira, and we kept, and I, they gave me medicine. When I came out to the house, I told him, eh, I think I should wait this month. If nothing happens, then we'll take the medicine. It's okay, after I've transferred the money now, we want to wait. Okay, so let us wait. So we kept waiting. That month, that pastor now told us that, see, every Thursday we should make sure we come to this headquarters and make sure we go for the Thursday program, that there is power in that Thursday program, that we should not miss it for anything in this world. That first Thursday I came here, immediately I entered from this angle. They asked me, are you a new member? I said, yes. They brought me to the front. And pastor was now like, when he was praying, he said, there is one young man and one young lady that have been looking for the fruit of the womb for two years, one year, two, two years, three years. God has answered your prayer. You will conceive a baby boy. I said, amen, oh God, it's me, oh. I knelt down and I claimed it. After that prayer, I went back to the house. That month passed. I did not see my, you know. You After don't see that your, month, <laughs> you didn't see your period again. <laughs> yes, Pastor. Say it to the microphone now. I, I did not see my phone. So after that month, the next month, ah, ah, 
My husband traveled to the village because that time I was trying to conceive. Every time he says he's traveling to the village, I'll say, okay, you're not traveling anywhere because this one we're looking for, baby. I want to travel to the village. I don't trust this your travel. So <laughs> he will say, ah, you don't trust me. I say, I trust you. Like, he say, ah, let me travel now. I'll investigate our project. I'll say, okay, no problem. So when I noticed that the thing was authentic, I told him, ha, it has happened though. God of Jesus has done it though. Hey. Clap your saying, hands unto God of the chosen. <laughs> He said, have you done tests? I said, I did tests. He said, do or go to the hospital to do blood tests. Let us, see, let us not put our hopes high. I said, it has happened now. I went, I did tests, and I sent him the result on WhatsApp. He was like, hey, God, oh, God, now you do this one. Oh. He was very happy on food. So after a while, we decided to keep it low. And then later on, I, I said, let me do scan and see baby inside this belly. So that I'm not tell me it's false pregnancy. So I waited. And then I did scan. I waited to the time they said you can do gender scan. And then I did scan. It was a baby boy. I told him, hey, you have won in this battle. They say, it's a baby boy. <laughs> that is in the stomach. And he said, wow, ha, let us keep it down. So <laughs> we kept keeping it down. Later we told our family members and they were very happy. In fact, the labor, the due dates passed. And I was carrying my, my belly like a barrel, pushing myself up and down. And, and my husband was like, let's call this man of God that is going to come and pray for us on behalf of the Jew. He came, he prayed for us that day, told me, Madam, I'm giving you four days. In fact, it must not reach four days. From this day to the next day, you might enter the room and it will be as easier than the first one. I said, Amen, no. Oh. After he prayed, my mother and everybody were shouting, Amen. I'm telling you, the next day in the night, serious labor started. Before I landed in the hospital, my water pot broke. And they carried me, they used wheelchairs, they wheeled me to the labor room. I entered, they checked, they said, uh-uh, CCM. And the next thing, the doctor checked again and said, I told my mother, I'll be going to the house, that this girl will give birth to the baby tomorrow. And the next thing, I called the doctor, this baby's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. The doctor came and everything happened. The next thing, I pushed my baby and my baby was healthy and he's still a baby brother. Wow. So choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. See, one thing is to come to choosing, another thing is to have faith in the God of choosing. It's not about coming to choosing, coming to church every day. Oh, yes, member. Have faith in the God of choosing. When others are giving their testimony, claim it. Tell yourself, this is me, this person's shoe. This is me. I'm going to stand here and give my testimony. Claim Amen. it because there is power in choosing. Amen. And that same day, that time period, I will say, becoming serious with this God of Jesus I'm talking to you about. That was last year. My husband and I, we had a testimony of a woman that says she sketched a building and then she built a house. And I sketched my own building, story building. I don't have money, but I was the one that sketched past. After finishing sketching the building, my husband also believed and he prayed. And after the prayer of the geo that period, the next thing, somebody called my husband because we're still thinking, how are we going to buy land, build out all the protocol with the rate of cement and everything? Like, ah, how is it possible? The next thing, somebody called my husband. Okay, the day house that came out too. He went to that, that site and he saw a story building that they have finished building, but they, are not, they have not finished doing the plaster and all that. They have done the foundation and everything. So my husband was not like, wanted to buy the house. He saw plenty buyers that were ready to pay more money. But the man saw my husband and he said, that his spirit is directing him to my husband, that he wants my husband to buy this house. In fact, he told my husband, you can pay two times if you want, or even move inside the house. Anytime you have money to complete it, you complete the house. Eh? <laughs> Only God of choosing can do Only this. Only God so. of choosing can do this. So, brethren, I'm using this opportunity to pray for my daddy Gio and mommy Gio. And I'm saying, the God that used you to work this miracle, this miracle baby, the miracle project, everything in my family's life. That that God will keep you alive to do wonders and more miracles in other people's life in Jesus' name. Amen. And I'm covering my testimony with the precious blood of Jesus. Blood of I'm Jesus. I'm covering my husband, I'm covering my in-laws, I'm covering myself, my children, my parents, everybody that connects with me. I'm covering them with the precious blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. And those in the waiting season, I pray that you receive your testimony this month in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Yeah. She didn't have faith. She didn't know God of choosing. She didn't even come for choosing. 
She only came to collect Gary from one choosing member that came for program. And she was barren for 12 years. And when she came into choosing, she was not properly dressed. She dressed worldly. And Gio was on the pulpit ministering and mentioning those things that the Bible is against. And the person that she came to meet said, you are the one that the word of God is talking about. She said, no, it's not me. I'm not, I'm, I'm not here for that. And then all of a sudden, Gio spoke from the pulpit and said, you that lady there, that you don't believe anything. You are not trusting God for anything from here. My God will bypass you and give you your miracle. And the sister that she came to meet said, ah, you are the one that Gio is talking about. Oh. She said, no, it cannot be me now. Well, Gio does not know me. I'm not... I don't know Gio. I've never met him. I've never spoken with him. How can he be talking about me? And Gio spoke again and said, because you did not believe me, my God will force you and give you your miracle. And the sister confirmed again and said, I told you, you are the one. He said, okay, if I'm the one, let us wait and see now. That was in 2009. This miracle took place. Do you know what happened? The sister took in and gave birth to a bouncing baby girl after 12 years barrenness. And she did not come to give us the testimony until the child became 14 years old, 2023. That was when she gave us the testimony here. The girl was already standing, grown up, when she now came to tell us that she's now a choosing. She, is now, she has now settled down with God of choosing. So the point is, the important thing is be a choosing. Enter choosing. Sit down and wait for God of choosing to finish with you. When he finishes with you, you will be loaded with power. You will be loaded with grace and glory. You will be loaded with everything that no man being cannot purchase for you. I am very sure that after today's ministration of our pastor, all members of your family will begin to congratulate you. I want you to clap your hands unto God of the chosen. The next testifier. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Last Opera, Ebimia Emmanuel. And standing beside me here is brother Boy Private, Wilson Samuel Ebimie. And I joined this great ministry in the year 2016. And I want to thank God for making me and my family a choosing. Thank you, Lord. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, please, with your permission, let me sing a song to glorify this great God. President General among the nation, you are the President General among the nation. God of choosing, I salute you. President General among the nation, Father, salute you. President General among the nation. Amen. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank this great God for what he has done for me and my son. You mean it's your son standing beside you? Yes, sir. It's my son. Wow. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank this God. For granting this my son wonderful admission into Nigeria military school. Clap Zaria. your hands unto God of the chosen. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And before the admission came out, we fought battles. Battles upon battles. But it got to a point 
My son had a dream and he told me, he said, Daddy, I had a dream. I said, what is it? He now said, he had a dream. He said, inside the dream, that uh, they called the list, the final list, and he said they could not call his name. And they said the second list, as they wanted to call the second list, with aggression, the commandant of the school, he picked up the, a list from his office and he came out and he said, this is the final list that you want to call. And he said, if you do not hear your name from this list, that the person is going home. He said, but the first name the commandant called was Wilson Samuel Ebimia, his name. Power. Susan, Hallelujah. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, after he called the name, he said, he woke up from the dream. I said, I told him, I said, our Gio told us that chosen people are first class. Do you remember yes. that? Yes. He said, yes. And the Bible said, I will make you the head, not the tail. Do you know that? He said, yes. I said, let's begin to glorify this God. He has done it. So we begin to praise God. We begin to praise God. And uh, before the finalists came out, I too had a dream. Inside the dream, I was in a senior officer's office. And uh, he, was, he called somebody from Abuja. It's like the person came to collect the final list from him. And he was giving directive to this person that came from Abuja to collect the names. And he said, this name I am showing you. He said, if you go, do as I have told you. And when I peeped to look at the name, it was my son's name. Hey. This is Samuel Ebimie. Amen. Susan, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To crown it all, the final list came out. As the final list came out, when I check, from every, every state, they shortlisted 7-7. Seven, seven. And out of the seven, from my state, my son's name was the first on the list. First class. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He confirmed it to us. And uh, he did it for us. May his name alone be glorified forever in Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, my second testimony goes like this. Since then he has been admitted in the school and he has been in the school peacefully. Until this last second term that just ended. I was in a burden for my studies. And uh, my phone rang when I called. When I answered the call it was their school auditant. And they said, are you the father of Wilson Samuel? I said, yes sir. He said, your son is sick. That we need your attention that you should come. I told him, I said, sir, how is his health? He said, it's fine, but I need to come. But I told him, I said, I'm in a battle for studies. And he said, I saw somebody. I sent a soldier to meet them. And uh, the soldier called me and told me, he said, sir, the situation on ground, he said, it's not a medical issue. I said, how? He said, it's a kind of spiritual something. I said, how? I said, give my son the phone. Before he gave the, the phone to my son, he told me, he said, your son fainted three times and uh, he was holding his neck and saying that you cannot kill me leave me alone you cannot kill me i am a choosing he, he, he told me say he was calling one name but he said he don't understand the name not knowing that it was choosing he was calling so i said give the phone to my son i want to speak with him so when he gave him the phone i asked him and he was telling me he said a woman appealed to him and told him that how come that he entered this school. That somebody of his type cannot be in that school, cannot continue in that school. Why did I apply that school for him? That she will kill him. She said, she's the one that killed one of his younger brother when we were in the village in 2013. She said, she's the one that killed him and he said it was like a film. He was just watching it. How she strangled the neck of this younger brother and he died. And after he died, and she said, she want to kill me too. And uh, she could not succeed. That is him that she want to kill. And after all, I applied this school for him. That it is not possible that she will not allow him to study in that school. So I said, it's a lie. I said, that woman, she is playing the dangerous game. I said, don't worry, nothing will happen to you. So I prayed with him on phone. And I called my pastor in Kaduna. High bank in reason. And he prayed too. And he said, my son cannot die. Remember the word of God. That you wish. Not choosing... We die a day before his time. So your son cannot die. I say, yes, sir. So he prayed. And we continue praying, praying, praying. Until last, last, um, this month, I think it should be two weeks ago, I was writing an exam and he told me that I should come, that this one is very serious. 
I told them that I said, right now, I'm, on, I'm writing an exam. They said, I should send somebody. So I sent somebody to them, his guardian. And they told him, they told him something, but he refused to tell me. And he told them, he said, uh, he told me that uh, they insisted that I should come. I said, okay, when I finish my exam, I will come. So when I finished the exam, I went there. Immediately I went, and uh, I got to the school, and I asked. I'm the father of Wesley Samuel. They said, I just rushing him inside the hospital, that I should go to the hospital. When I entered, from the exam hall, he, fe he fainted, and uh, they rushed him to the hospital. And I was, and I, I saw him, he was struggling, holding his neck, and saying, leave me alone, you cannot kill me. I, I went there with apron. So I covered him with the apron, and I began to pray for him. I begin to pray, I begin to pray. He was struggling, struggling. Leave me alone, he cannot kill me. He did not even know me. I prayed, prayed until like 30 minutes. He now recognized me. And I asked him. And he now told me, he said, this woman appeared to him. She has been tormenting him. And now she came with a group of people. And she said, since he refused to die, that she, will, she, will, she has many ways to kill him. She came with knife. And uh, the other people too came with knife that they want to hold him and stab him. So that they will remove his heart. And he now said, you cannot kill me because I'm a choosing. And before you know, he said, he was running. He was running and they were after him. And he said, stop. And he said, a, a voice came, came to him to stop. And he now stopped. He said, when he stopped, he faced them. As he faced them, he said, he was holding a stick. Is anybody knock with a stick? We die and we turn to ashes. Is anybody knock with a stick? We die and turn to ashes. And he got to this woman. And instead of him to knock, in, knock her the stick, it's like he threw the stick at her and she fell down. She stood up again and told the rest of them that they should hold him, they should bundle him so that she can stab him. He did that. And meanwhile, I was holding him, praying for him. Why the apron is on his chest and him too was struggling. As I was praying, this is what was happening. Why he was unconscious. So he said a kind of breeze lifted him up. And they were kind of jumping to touch him, but they could not touch him. So that was how the priest lifted him. They could not touch him again. And that was when he recognized me. He, he came back to life and he recognized me. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brethren, this thing I'm telling you, what I saw with my eyes. A day being one of you were, were there to witness what happened. Ah. Uh, I give glory to this God. Thank you, Lord. May his name alone be glorified forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So, to crown it all, I want to thank this God. If not God of choosing, this my son might have been a dead person. But because God of choosing has been there fighting, God of choosing has been there protecting him, that the woman could not succeed. So, that is the reason of my testimony to this great God. Amen. Father, be glorified. Amen. I praise you, God. Amen. You are the President General. That's Receive right. all the glory, all the honor. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Adi Joshon, I want to pray for my general pastor. This church, the Lord choosing, is mounting on top the mountain. That's right. Anointing that has no hand. So I'll be the portion of our daddy in the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. For every choosing one that is here, give us grace to do your will. So that we make heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Let's give your son the microphone. Let him say something. At least praise the Lord. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you free now? I'm asking you, young man. Are you free now? Yes, I'm free, sir. You are free? Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. You are free to go. You are blessed. I'm sure you are coming back with more testimonies. Praise the Lord. It pays to be a choosing. Imagine if the father was not a choosing. Imagine if the son was not a choosing. What do you think would have happened by now? The story would have been different. So be a choosing so that you will have testimony over your enemies. And your enemies will never testify over you in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I have a short song to render to God of choosing. Sing. Oh Lord, 
I am very, very grateful for all you have done for me. Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful. I am saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful for all you have done for me. Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful. I am saying thank you, Jesus. Choose the praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Sister Fabian Ellen Ndidiamaka. My baby's name, baby princess. Fabian Somachuku. I came to the Lord choosing the year 2008. I want to thank God for making me and my family to be a choosing in Jesus' name. Amen. Also, I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank God for his goodness, for his mercy, for his protection, for his love, for his care upon my life, upon my family, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank this great God for breaking the yoke of delay and conception for 16 good years in 2021. Wow. That means you have other children before this child. Yes, in 2021, I have a son. This is the second issue, giving birth last year. Uh -uh. So I'm thanking this great God for his wonders. You have your first issue, 2021. Yes, sir. After no 16 time good years of barrenness. Yes, sir. Then you had your first issue, 2021. Yes, sir. You didn't give us the testimony then. I gave it in the branch, in Jesus Village branch. I came from Jesus Village branch. Okay. But now God has given you another child. Yes, sir. Oh, you are not giving us testimony of the two. Yes, sir. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. I also want to thank God for breaking the yoke of tenancy in my life. During the delay of pregnancy, the Lord blessed us with a permanent house. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Thank you, Father. I also want to thank God for all the battles he has been fighting for me. Standing here before you would have been dead long ago. Long ago, it's just by the grace of God that I'm living. The enemy has been fighting to turn nail to take my life without giving birth. But God has chosen to preserve my life. Today, I'm, I have my children. Amen. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God of choosing. So for all that this great God has done for me, I say may all glory, all honor, all worship, all adoration, majesty, dominion, excellency, supplication, praises be ascribed unto him alone forever in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to appreciate God with this token for all he has done for me. I say may his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. The God of chosen is so great. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Sir, please just permit me a second. Okay, a song. The God of pastor, now you be my God forever and evermore. The God of choosing, now you be Baba forever and evermore. The God of Morgan, now you be my God forever and evermore. Alpha Omega, now you be Baba forever and evermore. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Please, my name is Brother Michael Elijah. I stay for First Star 24 Road. I worship for First Star 1. Please, I have two more, two testimonies to share. I go very brief. Okay. Sorry to say, for the song I sing it so, there is one woman in my street. You always disturb me. Say, until our pastor changed his name for the pastor Lazarus Mocha. See, we came to the church. Sorry, sir. I say from there, that song came to me. Don't know people of friends, sorry. So my testimony good that is, I thank God to identify my younger brother and all my family from date. Because there is it happened in 2000, 2022. I traveled for home. From there, my brother, about three of them joined secret, joined court, other fearless God. So they go counter with another court. From there, fight happened, they kill so many souls, so many souls wasted. So the senior among them, they put government, state government put them unwanted. About one of my brother and five other people, they made six in number. So from there, they kill, they attack five, kill the five. Only my brother remained. Mm -hmm. And God arrested my brother. Now my brother be a living soul. He did not die. He escaped from the dead. So I thank God. Now he's a pastor. So I thank God because... Our pastor said, if you are choosing, you cover the whole family. That's right. And it happened that they attacked so many of us to kill people. Because so many souls are wasted. But God rescued all my family. I give glory to God in Jesus' name. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him for that mercy. So my second testimony happened that this year, because our pastor, our brand pastor said, we should join, I should join. Baptism class, we baptized on 15 December last year. I followed baptizing. Then I see so many chances in my life. I thank God for that. Clap so, your hands unto God of the chosen. So it happened that on Sorrow to Joy this year, on uh, February last, 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 last month, I came for the Sorrow to Joy because see that program is a very strong program. I came here the first day with two newcomers. I sponsored them. Two and flu. So the second day, see came with three different new people. I sponsored them two and flu. So the, before the pastor end of the program, they just mentioned my case. See you that if you bed just to monitor, and anytime the bed cry, your life will not remain the same from today. Will not see bed again. I just say, man, I know say that prayer is belong to me. It happened that for my former church, my prophet prophesied for me because it's a prophet that led us there. He said this if you bed just to monitor, and this bed followed me more than fifteen years. So anytime something could always come to pass, happen to me. The prophet who told me that CCC about to take place, but the sudden the devil bed will come, that thing will strike. So that day, I got discovered that this evil bed is a old that used to monitor me every night. And every, any moment something could I come, the evil bed come and cry. A moment he cry, that thing will, no matter what I hope, it will determine it destroy. So that day, end of the program, the pastor you all mentioned the case. And since that day until today, I'm not even see the bed, neither to hear the sound. And from that day, God do a wonder in my life. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I give God, I give glory to Almighty God, the everlasting King. I worship Him because there is no beside Him. The God of choosing is number one. Choosing choice is number one choice for the whole earth. It's not only Nigeria for the whole earth. That's what God showed me by the revelation. As we are choosing, you remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. For this young son, I pray for our daddy. The same spirit God possesses Paul Apostles to carry out the assignment of God until the end. God will possess him and make him carry the assignment until the end in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for myself and my family, all the choosing worldwide, even at last, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You are blessed. I want to confirm from you. You said you have in your former church. Yes, sir. That evil bed was always monitoring you. And the prophet will prophesy and tell you that something good is coming your way. And he's also aware that evil bed will cry and cancel that good thing coming. Yes, sir. And if the prophet could not solve the problem. Yes, sir. And you are like that for many years until you came to choosing. Yes, sir. When you came to choosing, our geo spotted the case and cancelled it. Yes, sir. And the evil bed stopped. And yes, your sir. way opened. Yes, sir. And everything is restored to you. Yes, sir. Now, what about 
the people where you are living that is calling our pastor for something. You said it in the beginning that somebody was calling the name of our pastor until our pastor come to him or what? Okay, the person because when people you know people used to mock choosing so much. So from there, the woman come and tell me that auntie, our pastor, our um, our pastor changed to answer mocker, that mocker. So what, from what? there, I tell the I tell the man that I'm not know whether I'm not Igbo. Okay. So from there, that song, the God of choosing, now you be my God forever and evermore. So from there, that song coming to my mouth. I sing for the woman. The woman went out. Okay. So from so that time, the woman was just a scorner. Yes. She was just a scornful person. Yes. But she did not do you anything other than that. No, 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 no. And uh, leave her now. She be. She thinks that she has mouth. Brethren, let me tell you something for the sake of the newcomers. If we see anybody speaking against this church or speaking against our pastor, if you love the person, warn the person. Tell the person that where he or she is treading is a dangerous ground. Because if you speak against this ministry or speak against the man of God here, you, you will have... A terrible price to pay and until you come and say you are sorry you'll be paying the price that is the word that is standing since 2013 so if anybody is speaking such rubbish warn the person in fact go on your knees and beg the person please this thing you are saying stop it and repent before it is too late because many people that spoke such things some of them fall sick some of them get stroke some of them get accidents. Some of them died. Not because we pray against them. Our Jew has never prayed against anybody. In fact, everybody that has done evil, when they come and say they are sorry, he has forgiven them. He always tells them, I have forgiven you from the day you say you are sorry. Praise the Lord. Even from the day you do the evil. He doesn't have space for unforgiveness. But the point is, the God that called him, is a jealous God and can kill anybody that tamper with his servant. That is why you have to warn the person that this area you are going is dangerous. And the God of choosing is not a joker. He is not a God that you can toy with. He is very jealous over the Lord's chosen. And this ministry as a whole, God is very jealous over it, many people have come up to tell us on testimony stand that God revealed to them that other churches are owned and run by man, but the Lord's chosen is his own property, is his own, is his own. The Lord's chosen belongs to him, the Almighty God. So anybody that tampers with his servant, he should get ready to pay the price. That's why I'm bringing it to your knowledge. So that you don't think this is like any other church. No, this is not like any other church. This is a special place. A place where you have opportunity to have salvation. You have opportunity to go to heaven. And you have opportunity to have everything in this life. And be happy. So don't joke with this place. And don't use your mouth to run down the man of God. It is very dangerous. Let me stop it there. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. After this testifier, we will take our first offering in this program. Please, we usually take two offering in a program like this. We will take one after this testifier and then the other one during closing. Praise the Lord. The next testifier. Choose it. Praise the Lord. That reaction is from campus brethren. I can see the campus brethren, they are reacting. I think it is their campus uh, leader. They are reacting. She's the one standing there. Go ahead and talk. 
Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Amen. Amen. My name is Brother Chutes, and the sister standing beside me is my beloved wife, Sister Choma. Yes, it's a welcome development. We joined choosing in 2002 and 2014 precisely, and we thank God for making us choosing. Thank you, Father. We are here to appreciate God for what the God of choosing has done unto us. In Ingbidi 2023, I remember that I wrote 12 prayer points and I sowed a seed as pastor called for pledge. And the Lord God Almighty went ahead of me and he answered those 12 prayer points. Power! The God of choosing answers prayer. I was here in October 2023 during the workers meeting. Do this and be blessed. When I came here, 11 of those prayer points have been answered. Hmm. And one of them was still left. So I didn't testify. But as God may have it, you know, God completed it. Amen. But I will come to that shortly. So I'm here to share only three out of those uh, 12 prayers that God answered for us. Amen. And one of them is about my house over there in the Netherlands. So I wanted to buy a home. So I started this process in 2021. You know, currently there's a lot of housing crisis in the Netherlands. You can hardly get a house to rent, not to talk or buy. So the competition was very, very, very high and very intense. So I did that in 2021. Uh, it was not possible. People were beating, you know, beating me, so I stopped at some point. In 2023, I repeated the process. So when I applied for the first time, a new house, they rejected it. I was very sorrowful. I was not given that house. So somebody told me that, uh, you know, that people used to go behind to do something, to have undue advantage. But I said, I'm a choosy. I will never do that. And then I remember the word of my pastor. He said, when you are in trouble, you will know that you have a father. Yes. Then I went back and I told God that if you will do it for me in 2023, I will give you 500,000 Naira. Amen. So I saw a new house and applied for it. So I gave all the documents needed and I followed up with all the meetings. They told us a day they would respond to everybody if you got the house or not. So when they responded to me, I received the email. They said, unfortunately, we did not allocate a house to you. You know, it was really disturbing. I became very sorrowful. But one thing I did, I encouraged myself in the Lord. And then I went back to God of choosing. I told him that, remember that I made a vow of 500,000. This was happening on a Friday, they sent me that message. On Saturday, I was praying this prayer. And the next day, I was preparing to go on a business trip to another country. So after I made that prayer, I, was, I occupied myself with preparing for where I'm going to. But that Saturday, surprisingly, offices don't work on Saturday. They sent me a mail on that Saturday and said, so, so, and so, building number has been allocated to you. Power! The God of choosing answers prayers. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was how God of choosing settled that matter and that house was given to me. Amen. And now to my second testimony. I have uh, uh, the Dutch citizenship. And in it, there is a little bit of error that was made about my year of birth. That error has been there for a while, for over seven years. And it started from my Nigerian passport. So when I 
I finally know my wife. She knows my year of birth. But there was a contradiction between my year of birth and what was in my Dutch passport. I told her how it happened. He said, if it's a passport that God has given to you to travel all over, over 190 countries to do the work of God, we have to change it. And we have to make sure that the correct year is in there. I say, yes, we have to do it. But it was really troubling me because I know how far this kind of process can go. So during that workers' meeting, pastor was preaching. He said, do this and be blessed. I was troubled when I opened my Bible. Each time I'm troubled, I open my Bible to see what God is telling me. When I open my Bible, it takes me straight to Proverbs 25, verse 5. It says, remove the wicked thing from before a king, and his throne shall be established in righteousness. Mm. Three good times I opened my Bible, where I went straight to that verse. And I knew God was telling me that indeed, I have to change this. And of course, you believe me that righteousness is not a nation. Yes. And sin is a reproach to any man, and we are choosing. So I made that bold step, got out all the documents needed. I traveled back. And then pastor declared one week fasting. Yes. During only God can do this program. Yes, yes. And then me and my wife, to be, we keyed into that fasting. Every day we are praying intensely. And then I went to, first of all, I approached a lawyer to guide me in the process. The lawyer told me that why do you want to change it? A lot of people have this kind of things that they don't mind. I said that I want to change it. He said, let him explain to me the implication that your citizenship can be withdrawn as a result of this. Because it means that you applied for all your documents with incorrect information all these years. I said I will do it still. And then I approached the local government. When I went there, I prayed that God Almighty he should remember his word. And then when I went there, it got to my turn. A young lady called me, and then I walked in there. I presented my birth certificate and all the documents I have. And I showed, I said, I want to change my year of birth. It's not correct in your system. She looked at my birth certificate. I said, that is very obvious. How can somebody make this type of mistake? Your year of birth is correct in your birth certificate. How come? I wanted to explain to her that it's not your fault. They made that mistake right from the immigration here. It said I should not explain, no problem. That she can see it that uh, they made a mistake. I wanted to explain again. Something told me to hold my peace. And that young lady changed this information immediately. Right in the system. Right there in the system immediately. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Only God can do this. Brethren, I can tell you they made this type of mistake by adding a letter in my son's name. Typographical error. It took one year plus to remove that letter. A mistake they made themselves. Not to talk of a mistake you made yourself. And they want to change it. It took them less than five minutes. They changed it. And they applied for a new passport for me. And in two days, I collected my new Dutch. Two days! Two days. Hey! Only God can do this. God of choosing. Only you can do this. Hallelujah! Only God can do this. God of choosing. Only you can do this. Hallelujah! Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah! And now to my third testimony. Yes. When I came here in October, this last, uh, this last uh, prayer point was troubling me. And then I was privileged again to see our daddy in the Lord. Amen. When I went there, and then he was asking about the brethren over there, and counseled me and prayed for us generally. When he finished, I now told him that daddy, that something is troubling me. You know, with so much concern and love, he said, what is it? I now told him that God has blessed me so much. God has been helping me. But there is this area of my life that the enemy has been trying. He said, what is it? He said, I want to get married. Immediately I said it. I was kneeling down, 
close to him, he moved his chair swiftly to where I was kneeling. He placed his hand upon my forehead. He began to pray. He began to pray. I've been privileged to, to be under his prayers. Very short. But on this occasion, he prayed a bit longer. And when he was about to end the prayer, he said, Father, lead him to his wife in this church. And when I stood up, Hey, hey, hey. The God of choosing Ababa. And when I stood up, I was about to go. He began to cancel me afresh. He said, You must return back and get married in this place. I said, I will do as you say, sir. No, when I was leaving that office, I felt that something left me. I was light, I was very happy. And brethren, I can tell you, it took only two weeks after that prayer. And this something special to occupy. In the something special to occupy. If you know, the Sunday that it happened was the last Sunday in the month of October. That's right. And pastor preached and he prayed earnestly. He said, ask for that thing to occupy. Mm. And I asked. And that day the yoke was broken. Power. And today all we have is testimony. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Last Friday the wedding took place and we received so many important personality grace that occasion. Amen. People we cannot even go close to them or greet them. God brought us favor. Since we started the process, any office will knock favor. If we are in the queue, they will took us out from the queue, they will take us to the front. Immigration, anywhere, here in this country, outside the country, they will favor us all over. And to tell you, yesterday, we were not expecting it, but that person, very important person, went ahead of us and he told our daddy the testimony. And they made a way for us to see our daddy yesterday and they blessed the union afresh. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Thank you, Lord. Brethren, we are here to appreciate God for the wonders that he has done for me and my wife. Amen. And we are here with just a token of one million naira. We remitted 300,000 at the account office and we have in cash 700,000 to tell God of choosing. It's not enough for what God did for me Amen. last year stroke this year. God has wrought wonders in my life. Amen. I say may his name be glorified forever in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to seize this moment to pray for our pastor. That God Almighty that have started with him in this ministry will finish it in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will use him to conquer every nation under the face of this earth. Amen. And he will evangelize every humanity for Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I pray for his children that that same spirit, excellent spirit upon him, that dedication, that zeal will be found even much more upon all his children in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for him and his household heaven at last. Amen. I pray for choosing myself, my wife, and my family heaven at last in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let your wife also say praise the Lord. She's in praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Campus Fellowship. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. We shall now rise to take our first offering in this program. Please rise up. We usually rise to give our offering. Please rise and let's give our offering. Use it for the advancement of the gospel all over the world. Father, we praise that we bless the seed we have sown and increase the fruit of our righteousness. 
And we cover it with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please keep it up. The ushers are coming here. You dip your offering into those bags. While I quickly run through this announcement. Anyway, Siki, choosing brethren, we meet after service at Hall 100. Sisters from Okota, Isolo, Jakonde, and Isheriri Jones. She remember they are meeting on the 3rd of April at Okota 1 branch by 3 p.m. All the departments traveling to Kano State Crusade to come to headquarters on Tuesday night. Again, they are traveling on Wednesday morning. Meeting point at the chosen car park by 4 a.m. That is from the Crusade Committee Chairman. Pregnant sisters go to Choosing Mission Hospital for antenatal registration. We have pastors that we pray for you and doctors and nurses. We give you health talk concerning your pregnancy. We also have laboratory and scan services. Antenata is every Tuesday and Thursday of the week. The common entrance form into Choosing International Secondary School are out for sale. Parents' guidance are requested to obtain the form at the school management office inside the old premises of Chosen International's nursery and primary school headquarters church, Ejesha. For all intending students, the JS1 to 3, SS1 and 2, please get the form. Examination date and center, Saturday, May 18, 2024, 9.30 a.m., venue, Chosen International Secondary School, 4th Avenue by 23rd Road, First Act Town, opposite Access Bank, from the school coordinator. The four group women leaders of Ijesha are having their monthly leaders meeting on first Thursday, 4th of May, 4th of April, 2024, after the service by women leaders stand. All the evangelists in Alagbado Autonomous will be having their vigil on Thursday, April 4, 2024. The vigil is 11 p.m. at Alagbado Autonomous Headquarters. All the ex-service brethren comprising police, military, and paramilitary are once again reminded to meet with Sister Maka immediately after service in our office opposite choosing canteen. All the child department members are requested to be in the church premises tomorrow, Monday, 1st of April, to tidy up the environment and also rearrange the chairs. Chosen brethren are also requested to join them at the time mentioned above. Aguilary brethren should remember they are meeting today after service at Hall 70, Brother side. All foreign missionary pastors currently in Lagos, including those pastors that are waiting posting, should remember they are meeting on the 3rd of April 2024 by 10 a.m. at the Foreign Mission Pavilion. It's to inform all the intercessors currently in the service. I think this one has expired. I know he answer my prayer. I know he answer my prayer. I know he answer my prayer. God of choosing answer prayer. I know. God of choosing answer prayer. God of choosing. God of choosing answer prayer. God of choosing answer. God of choosing answer prayer. God of choosing. God of choosing answer prayer. I know He answer my prayer. I know He answer my prayer. I know He answer my prayer. God of choosing answer prayer.
Amen. Bow down your heads, close your eyes, and begin to thank God for the privilege to give your offering. Thank you, Father, for the grace to give our offering. Thank you for accepting it. We ask, O oh God, that you will visit us again and multiply the seed we have sown and increase the fruit of our righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please have your seats. We are returning quickly to testimony. If you are still outside the auditorium and you are a newcomer, please come inside. We have provision for seats for you. Inform the ushers that you are a newcomer so that we can create a chance for you to sit. The next testifier. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Tochku Obima, and this is Sister Mercy Obima. And our little junior is Dominion. Chuku is the Can you can your Chuku? Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We joined choosing fully in 2016. And I thank God for making me and my family a choosing. Thank you, Father. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And our testimony goes like this because of time. We have a two daughter. And we are asking God to God of choosing to give us a boy. Because in our family, so many people who married before us, they got a pansu baby boy. But we needed that pansu baby boy in our family. Mm. I say my own case will never be a different case. I am a choosing. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And uh, getting to, uh, when I born the first issue, daughter, born the second one, daughter, and uh, this third one, I say God of choosing, I was standing in the ground. I say, God of choosing, if, if you can be able to break the yoke of female, female children in my family, I will come with a token to say thank you for what you have done. Amen. And the God of choosing, that, the, the vow that I make to God provoke God in anger. Amen. And God of choosing move in action. And immediately my wife took in and delivered Bansu baby boy. Power! Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Thank you, God of choosing. Choosing, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is the only thing that moves God of choosing is when something gets get, get tough, he make a covenant or he made a vow unto God. When I want to make this vow, I remember that Jephthah, when I was reading my Bible, I that Jephthah made a vow and the vow, God honor his vow. And as God honor his vow, he, Jephthah himself honor his vow. That is why I'm come here with that token to say thank God because God has honored his vow in my life and my thank family. Thank you, Father. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Another testimony, and uh, another testimony that I want to give. My second testimony goes like this. And the house that I was building in the village, thank God that last year God of choosing has helped the house in the village. Thank you, Lord. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When I was completed the house, so many people that said, so many people that was fighting me when I was building the house, evil people. And after they fight me, and they could not stop me, and I finished the house last year, they say, uh, you have finished the house. It's not only to finish the house, the problem is to pack in. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But I said to them, he doesn't know me. Because they get into the time, they begin to they call me private. They say, uh, this boy, since when he, he begin to wear this apron, going to church, he begin to have money. But when I know you, I, I know you in the village. When you you are not going to church, he doesn't have money. I say that is the finger of God. Thanks. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This year, January, the God of choosing blindfold all of them, and I pack in to my house this Clap year. Clap your hands on the God of the choosing. 
Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is why we come here to thank God. I Amen. say, may God of choosing be praised forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. Choose him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All the newcomers that are here, believe in God, that this is God's covenant and peace and blessing program. God will honor you this, this hour in the name of Jesus. Amen. As our GO is going to mount in the pulpit, all the things that are standing as a yoke shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you believe, you say amen. Amen. Choose and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In this junction, I want to pray for our GO. I pray for God Almighty, who use the, who broke the promised land. That God, God of choosing, who stands in the gap to back children of choosing people up in this end time God, that God of choosing will bring choosing to the end of this in this life in Jesus name Amen. at the end heaven will be our portion in the name of Jesus Amen. I pray for all the choosing worldwide heaven at last Amen. and I will pray for our pastor heaven at last Amen. I and my family heaven at last Amen. choosing praise master Jesus Hallelujah. choosing praise the Lord Hallelujah. let your wife also say praise the Lord Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are blessed. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Now, second to the last testifier for today. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the special grace of God, my name is Sister Gloria Chiden Makalo. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I joined Choosing 2003. I reside at number 18, Chief John, Onyejebu Street, Greenfield Estate, Agot Palace, Lagos. I worship at Okota One. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm standing here today to give God all the glory for what he has done for me this year, January this year, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is this building, we, a property we have at Inowere, at um, Ovuru Estate, Nazi. We started that project in uh, um, 2018, and the devil was just doing one thing or the other in order not to allow us to finish up with the project. It was a two-story building. But to the glory of God, we kept moving. We kept doing it. Until one day, my father-in-law now called my husband and told my husband, because my husband is in South Korea, he called my husband and told my husband that um, somebody went to the building and, and buried something there, a charm. So he now said that we should be praying. My husband now called me and told me. At first, I became scared. So I have to travel to the east. I went to Oweri. When I got to Oweri, I went straight to the place. When I got there, I declared myself whom I am. I said, I am a choosing, I am a choosing, I am a choosing. Whatsoever thing that they buried here, whosoever, thing, whosoever that did it, I returned that thing back to sender. All right. So I entered into the, I opened the gate and I entered, choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Though the building took us time, but to the glory of God, we were able to complete the building, choosing praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the choosing. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Countless times our daddy in the Lord normally say that every um, unfinished project that he will pray that God should um, grant us the grace to finish it and I'll keep claiming it. Yes, I hear it. Then when we finished the building, it now remains because it was a rented apartment. So we now wanted to rent it out. The devil came again. Anybody that, any agent that bring people there to come and rent the, the, the flats, they will start pricing it lower. And I was like, no, this is not what we, this is not what uh, this place is. This is not the amount that we are supposed to rent this place. So I took it to the Lord in prayer. I now wrote it as one of my prayer requests, January, maybe 
January Midi experience, Lagos experience this year. I wrote it as one of my prayer re uh, requests. I told God of choosing that if you grant us the grace to rent the whole of this flat from now before February, that I will come here and testify and also give you 10% of the total rent. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I also made a, a, a pledge again of 50000 on top. So to the glory of God, after the Mbidi Lagos experience, the following week, people started Moderator, please, I want to sing. Sing. Mesoma chuku nebeno. Mesoma ya nebeno. Mesoma Jesus nebeno. Oti ebube. Ihuna ya ya nebeno. Mesoma ya nebeno. Mesoma Jesus nebeno. Oh dear Bube. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Choma Njoko. My baby name is, is Dominion Joshua Chimeremeze Njoko. Choosing praise the Lord. I want to appreciate what God has done for me. I join choosing. From the other side, I followed my pastor from the other side to this side. And since then, I've been following God, bomba to bomba. So, there's a day, something I'm passing through in this uh, pregnancy. There's a day I was in the dream when I was pregnant. I saw my, my late mother, we are eating together. So, after dream, so many dreams coming on my way. So, I start praying. There's a, a portion in the Bible, that portion that back me up, in Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8, I use it to be praying and ask God 
If God will see me through in this pregnancy, I'll come to this altar and present my baby to him. That is a covenant and enter with God. After making that covenant, God see me through. Hmm. I deliver this baby successful without Power. any problem. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So there is a vow I make. If God will do it for me, I will, this is a check of 200,000. I will drop to this God. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's another, sec, uh, another testimony. I want to give this God what you have done for me. In the process of this baby, I have up, uh, some difficulties on my way. So one day I start praying and ask God. Say, so go and remember the prayer of your servant. Hmm. Because in a year, I cannot remember the year we are in the workers' meeting. So I appreciate God with a token. Pastor prayed for me. Because one sister gave a testimony. If you can remember that testimony, the brother died. They killed that brother in the bush. That testimony shocked me. I was crying. I said, God of choosing, you are so great. You are wonderful. So after I appreciate this God, I don't know the time I say, God, I will give you one million naira cash. I will not send it on check. I will bring it here on workers' meeting. So that day on workers' meeting, I packaged that money. I drop it in the altar of this Lord choosing. So my pastor come, came out and said, that, are you sure you are, uh, you are following me from that? I say, yes, sir. He said, God will bless you. Generation blessing. Amen. So when I passing through all this, I remember, I remind God, see what my daddy said. So after praying, in one week after that prayer, my door opened. Hey! My door opened. Contract upon contract, supply upon supply. I don't want to mention the amount. God has done it for me. So yes. I want to appreciate God for what God has done. Because Amen. it's good to sow in the house of God. Amen. Anything concerning God, I don't use it to play. I love this God so much. Hmm. I have this God that I use him to make much every day. Yes. I don't put a confidence in the things of the world. I put all my confidence in God. So when I'm passing through all, I remember, I, rem I remind God what God is doing in this ministry. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray for my daddy. That God that call him will empower him. Because Amen. I used to pray for him every day. God will guide him. God will uphold him. Amen. Whatever thing he need to make this ministry to move forward, God will supply in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray all the chosen ones, heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Before I ask you to bow down your heads, let me share with you the testimony of the, the visit of our geo to the first ever inside the military, inside their barracks. Last Saturday, our geo had a program inside the Navy barracks. Praise the Lord. I don't know whether you are there. If you are there, can I see your hand? Okay, I see some hands there. Praise the Lord. God did the wonderful things in that place. And all the officers were so blessed. But after the ministration, after our Geo returned back to headquarters here, some of the officers came to come and thank Geo for coming for that ministration. And then they shared the testimony of a sister. Praise the Lord. This sister is from Deeper Life Church. She has never been to our church or our program before. But the sister had a revelation and the Lord Jesus appeared to her in the revelation and said she should go to that choosing program because he is going to be there. Praise the Lord. Did you get the point? The Lord Jesus told her go to that choosing program at Navy Barracks because he himself is going there. <laughs> Brethren, the point is 
Wherever you see children gather, it is not ordinary. It is because Jesus is there. Jesus is going to do wonders there. So today, when our pastor comes to pulpit, you should know that Jesus has come. Praise the Lord. And whatever you hear him say is what Jesus is saying. So hold it very tight. Don't let it go because it will be your inheritance. Let me not say more than that. Praise the Lord. Now bow down your heads, close your eyes, begin to appreciate God for all the testimonies that you have heard. And pray for our pastor that God should reveal your matter to him. God should reveal the matter of your family to him. God should reveal the matter of your neighbors and your friends to him. Because today, everybody in the whole world is going to be blessed. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You are especially welcome to this program. I want to assure you, beginning from today, even from yesterday, you will never struggle. <laughs> because all the blessings we are looking for in this life is the gift of God. And you don't struggle for gift. Are you hearing me? And here we are to enter into fresh covenant and to renew our covenant. I'm assuring you it is the covenant of peace and blessings. Blessings will follow you. <laughs> peace shall be your portion. Long life shall be yours. And you will never go back this way. We want to begin with all the people you brought here that cannot walk, all the people you brought here can, that cannot use their body to walk on their own. I want to go near those people because those people will walk now. Anybody that is not walking, Anybody that is not walking, those that are sitting on the wheelchair, those that have stroke, those that have broken bone, those that have spinal cord injury, all those with a heart kidney problem, or heart problem, or liver problem, and it has made them not to use their body all those organs shall be changed now. So wherever you are, you must walk today. So I'm sure if you are the one that brought them, you are there to communicate to them what I said and to lift them up so they can walk. All of you that cannot walk wherever you are now, Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Rise up and walk. Wherever you are, you are healed. Receive brand new bones. Receive brand new organs. New heart, new liver, new kidney. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. 
I command their bones to join together. Spinal cord be healed. All the broken organ receive brand new one. Stroke be healed. As they rise up, you are healed. Rise up, whatever you are. Rise up, drop your crutches. Drop your walking stick. Rise up from the wheelchair. Whatever you are, you are not walking. Rise up and make use of your body because you are healed already in Jesus' name. Rise up. I'm here to come in the front now. Rise up. You are healed. You are healed. Shake them, tell them, whoever that you brought here, tell them what I said. They are healed. They are healed. They are healed. You are healed. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Drop the crutches. Drop the crutches. Drop the crutches. Rise up and walk. Drop the walking stick. Rise up and walk. Drop the crutches. I command wherever you are, begin to use your body now. I cancel pain. I cancel weakness. I cancel paralysis. I cancel broken bone. I command all your bone join together in Jesus' name. Rise up, rise up. Bring them in the front. Bring them in the front. Whoever that is by your side that is not walking, that person is free. That person is free. That person is free. I say anybody, whoever that is not walking before you brought here, that person is free. You are here. 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 Rise up, rise up, rise up. You are here. Begin to come in the front. You are here. You are here. You are here. All of you receive brand new born. All the without leg be healed. Without hands be healed. All the damaged born receive brand new one. You are free in Jesus' name. Keep on walking. Keep on walking. Whatever I am repeating here is for your sake. From the very time I say you are here, that is the time you are free. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Keep on coming in the front. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. You are here. You are here. You are here. You are here. I cancel that stroke. Receive a brand new kidney and you, whatever they projected in your body that make it to be weak and all your system collapse, I cancel it now. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. I command all your system to return to normal. Power to come upon all your bone, all your system. Let power. The creative power, power that created, let that power create all your organs in Jesus' name. <laughs> Begin to come in. You can run. You are healed. Don't look at yourself in a former condition. You can jump up. I declare you free. I say to you free. I say to you free. I say to you free. Regain your freedom in Jesus' name. <laughs> Keep on coming. Keep on coming. I lose you from paralysis. I lose you from weakness. Receive brand new bone, new heart, new liver, new kidney. Receive your system back in Jesus' name. You are here. 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 Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. Wherever you are. If you brought any child that is not working, test that child. I can so paralysis. I command that child to walk in Jesus' name. Let that child walk, drop the cripple as the cripple to walk. As those who cannot walk, since they are born to walk, all of them you are healed in Jesus' name. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed. You are healed. Regain your freedom, regain your health, all your system, 
brand new one, brand new bone, brand new bone, brand new bone, brand new organ. I declare you here in Jesus' name. Keep on coming. Now, as they are coming, if you brought any person deaf or dumb, any person that have not spoken since he was born, since she was born, any person deaf or dumb, deaf or dumb, deaf or dumb, it is your turn. If you brought them, go near the person now. I cancel deaf and dumb, be healed in Jesus' name. Spirit of deaf and dumb. Spirit of death and dumb, I bind you, I bind your power, I cast you out of this in Jesus' name. I command the mouth be loose, the tongue be loose, the ear be loose. I command the ear be open in Jesus' name. Your mouth be open in Jesus' name. I command to speak very well. Speak very well. Speak very well. You are healed in Jesus' name. All cases of death and dumb, you are free. You are free. Death and dumb, you are free. Death and dumb, you are free. Say one, say two, say papa, say mama. Death and dumb, you are healed. You are healed. Deaf and dumb, can you test them now? Test them, mention their name and call them. Say one, two, papa, mama. Deaf and dumb, you are here. 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 Every case of deaf and dumb, I discharge you in Jesus' name. Say one. Two, three, Papa, Mama, Deaf and Dumb, I cancel it in Jesus' name. I want the ushers to go around, find out who is testing anybody, and call the name of our mention one, two, three. You see a miracle. Where are the ushers? Where are the ushers? Where are the pastors? Let's take action. Let's watch people. Don't just bend your head. Look around. If there is anywhere that tests anybody, go there and make sure. Say one, two, three. Check around. I've told you to bring people to this church and see a miracle. I told you to bring them, bring them, and them, bring them and see a miracle. But you cannot bring them. If you brought anybody, that person is free. Every case of death and dumb, I lose you in Jesus' name. Lose, 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 lose. Oh, Charles, can you help me? Help me to check those deaf or dumb. If there is anybody, that person is free. Even if it's one person that is here today, that person is free. In a hundred, all of them are free. All the cases of death and dumb, I discharge you. I discharge you. I command freedom of that death and dumb infirmity in Jesus' name. Spirit of death and dumb, come out now. Spirit of stroke, come out now. Spirit of paralysis, come out now. Every affliction, come out now. Enter fire in Jesus' name. Can you help me check anybody deaf and dumb is free? They are free. I can see the cripple walking out. That cripple, you are free. Paralysis, you are free. I command deaf and dumb, come out now. Spirit of deaf and dumb, come out now. Le kataya maraka. Le manaka pesu kataya. I lose you from deaf and dumb, from paralysis, from cripple. Receive freedom in Jesus' name. Yes, that cripple, you can walk well. I command be loose from that paralysis. I rise up and walk in Jesus' name. I say, rise up, you are here, you are here. I say, lift her up, he's free. You are free. All the cases of death and dumb and blindness, those with blindness, those with glaucoma, those with blindness, those with glaucoma, I cancel glaucoma, I cancel cataract, I cancel blindness. Spirit of blindness, come out in Jesus' name. I command the eyes be open, your eye be open, receive your sight in Jesus' name. Those with the hunchback, 
Hunchback, abnormal growth, swelling body. I command swelling body dry up now. Hunchback vanish away in Jesus' name. I cancel high near. I cancel pile. I cancel abnormal growth. I command to disappear in Jesus' name. Let the pie disappear. Abnormal growth disappear. Any part of your body missing, missing tenses, come back in Jesus' name. I command madness, madness. My spirit of madness, I bind you, I bind the part. I cast away madness in Jesus' name. Every paralysis, you are here. I command freedom for you, freedom, 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 freedom. Blindness, you are here. Cripple, you are here. Blindness, you are here. Blindness, you are here. Abnormal growth, I command freedom. I cancel paralysis, I cancel stroke. Receive freedom in Jesus' name. That cripple can walk. The blind can see, the leg can walk, and deaf and dumb can hear and speak. Every every abnormal growth, I command disappear in Jesus' name. I command new heart, new liver, new kidney, new new testes. Let it come upon you in Jesus' name. I cancel cancer, I cancel diabetes, I cancel affliction, I cancel pain. Be healed in Jesus' name. Stammering tongue, I lose you. Anybody that cannot speak English, I want to be to speak English in Jesus' name. Every block system, I want to function very well, function very well, function very well, function very well. I charge your system to work in Jesus' name. Shout a big amen. Shout it again. One more time. Oh yeah, shake whoever you brought here. Bring them out the heat. West Bay, you are here. Blindness, you are here. Glaucoma, you are here. Deaf and dumb, you are here. Paralysis, you are here. Stroke, you are here. Blindness, you are here. Hunchback, you are healed. Every affliction, I command it cancel now. Let our affliction be canceled in Jesus' name. Can I hear you shout, Amen? I want to begin to take testimonies now. As you are coming out, I want to hear your testimony. All those that can use their body now. You are free. 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 The first testifier. Pastor on the podium here is the great wonders of the God of choosing. I'm talking about 12 years, born deaf and dumb, started hearing, speaking. At the instant of your prayer. Twelve years born deaf and dumb. Yes, Pastor. Is today the first time of coming here? Yes, Pastor. Today is the first time this can is the you, Can you test her now? One. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Papa. Mama. Can we clap for Jesus? My yoke is broken, broken. My yoke is broken, broken. My yoke is broken, broken. My yoke is broken, My yoke is broken, My yoke is broken, broken. 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 My yoke is broken. My yoke is broken. My yoke is broken. Jesus. 
12 years born, deaf, and dumb. Who is that person to her? That's the mother? No, no. You're the mother? Yes. Your daughter has never spoken before. No. This is the first time. Yes. And we are coming here for the first time. Yes. Can we clap for Jesus? Hari go, hari go, God of choosing, hari go, hari go, hari go, God of choosing, hari go, hari go, hari go, God of choosing, hari go, 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 hari go, hari go, God of choosing, 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 hari go, hari go, hari go, God of choosing, hari go, hari go, hari go, God of choosing, hari go, hari go, hari go. The God that chooses can go, can he go, can he go? God that chooses can he go? Amen. The next testifier, Pastor, this a case. Yes. Tell us what happened, Pastor. This a case of thirty-five years born cripple, couldn't walk at all. Born cripple, but she's making moves now. Before, yes, sir. But now she's making move and learning how to walk. Making move. Yes, sir. Can you move now? Move your head. Move your head. Clap for Jesus. Only God can do this. God will choose it. Only God can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. God will choose it. Only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. God will do this. Only you can do this, hallelujah. Oh. Only God can do this, God of choosing. Only you can do this, hallelujah. Only God can do this, God of choosing. Only you can do this, hallelujah. Oh. Only God can do this, God of choosing. Only you can do this, hallelujah. Baby, clap offering to Jesus, the next testifier. Pastor, on the podium is the testimony of a young man, 10 years old, ten, born deaf and dumb. 10 years born deaf and dumb. This is the mother. And they are coming for the first time. They are coming for the first time. From where? From where do you come? Igondo. Igondo. From Igondo. Can you test your child? Can has you your say, child ever spoken before? Yes. Never, yes. He has never Since spoken ten years. before. Since 10 years. For the past 10 years since he was born. Can you test the child now? Say, Papa. 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 Mm -hmm. oh, Amen. The... Amen. Papa. Hold on, no. Can you use that mic? Use that one. Use the mic. Use that. No, remove the one. Use that mic. I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One, two. Three, four, praise the Lord. Now, now, hold on. Can the mother say, Papa? Papa? Papa. The mouth is loose. The mouth is loose. This is the first time he is Can made the any mother sound. say, Go. Oh, clap for Jesus. How are you? He's responding. He's responding. Oh, yeah, let the mother train. 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 Let the mother train. One. One. Papa. Two. Papa. He's still repeating Papa. Okay, okay. Hearing for the first Papa. time. Is he hearing now? Is he speaking now? He's speaking, Pastor. He's speaking. Only God can do this. This is the first time. Only you can do this. 
Hallelujah. Only you can do this. God what you say. Only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. God what you say. Only you can do this. Hallelujah. Only God can do this. God that you see, only you can do this. Hallelujah. Remember, nobody has started speaking and started speaking very well. Yes, this is the first time since he, he was born. He's talking for the first time. Am I right? Before you say, go back, take before. But you, 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 you so clear. Say that. But you came before. You say, take, take. Uh -huh. But now you can see he's speaking very well now. But better but than but before. But I didn't I didn't I didn't answer. I didn't answer. I didn't answer. I didn't answer. Oh yeah. One, two, Papa, baby. He's a god of science and wonder. He's a god of science and wonder. God of choosing God, God, science and wonder. He has done what no man. The God of choosing. The God of science and wonder. He's the God of science and wonder. The God of choosing. God of science and wonder. He has done what no man can do. He's the God of science and wonder. He's the God of science and wonder. The God of choosing God. Sights and wonder, he has done what no man can. The God of truth, he's the God of sights and wonder. He's the God of sights and wonder. The God of truth is God of sights and wonders. He has done what no man can do. He's the God of sights and wonder. He's the God of sights and wonder. The God of truth is God of Signs and wonder, he has done what no man. The God of truth, he is the God of signs and wonders. He is the God of signs and wonders. The God of truth, God of signs and wonders. He has done what no man can do. A big clap offering to Jesus, the next testifier, Pastor. Eleven years spinal cord injury made this young man unable to walk without the support of this device. But Pastor, after your prayer now, he has been standing without any support and is learning to walk again. Can oh, yeah. he walk now? Walk. After how many years? Eleven years, sir. Eleven years of no walking spinal cord. Look at him, look at him. Can we clap for Jesus? Clap for you are worthy, O oh Lord. And you are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord, and I trust him. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord, and I trust him. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord, and I trust him. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord, and I trust him. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord, and I trust him. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord, and I trust you. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord, and I trust you. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord, and I trust you. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord, and I trust you. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord, and I trust you. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord, and I trust you. You are worthy. To sit on the throne, you are one of your God, God are choosing. You are one of your sit on the throne, you are one of your Lord, that is, you are one of your sit on the throne, you are one of your Lord, that is, 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 you are one of your Lord, you are worthy, O Lord. 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 You
You are what you love. 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 You are what you love.
the Lion of Judah is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. The Son of God is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. The Son of God is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. The Lion of Judah is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. The miracle worker is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. The God of truth is wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. The God of truth is wonderful. A big lap of little Jesus. The next testifier. Pastor, but, but, another one year stroke healed. Instantly now after your prayer. One year stroke. Look at him. He's walking now for the first time. On his own. Can, can, walk. can walk. we clap for Jesus? Walk. Keep on walking your heat. Let the power of God carry you. Your heat, clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. The next testifier. Pastor, our sister said for the past five years she has been under severe affliction. I mean, your front, sir. And she said she began to beg at Oshodi, but the pastor met her and said, Come to choosing. They supported her and she came today. She said she couldn't walk. And anything she eats, she must pull it immediately. But she said, Pastor, after since she came today, she has eaten, she has not passed out any poo poo. Can we clap for Jesus? And they carried her here today, sir. She said, Now she can walk. They carried her here today. Yes, sir. Now she can walk. Walk. Can you walk? Let's see. We are saying thank, thank you, Lord. We cancel death for her. Amen. We are saying thank, thank you, Lord. 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 We are saying thank, thank you, thank you. you. The God of chosen, you are good. Please help me clap for Jesus for that miracle. The next testifier. Pastor, on the podium here is two years stroke, instantly healed after your prayer. Two years stroke, can he walk now? Yes, Pastor. Oh, a big clap offering to Jesus. Jesus, you are wonderful. Amen. Thank you. Amen. You are wonderful. Amen. Thank you. Our God, you are wonderful. Amen. Thank you. Amen. You are wonderful. Oh, thank you. Holy Ghost, you are wonderful. Amen. Thank you. Amen. You are wonderful. Amen. Oh, thank you. Jesus, you are wonderful. Amen. Thank you. Amen. You are wonderful. Amen. Oh, thank you. Amen. A big clap of to Jesus. The next testifier. Pastor, eight months broken bone, instantly healed after your prayer. Can he make move now? Move. Oh, I can see him limping. Yes. The leg cannot touch on the ground. And this device is in now he's him. touching the leg. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. The next testifier. Pastor, one year paralysis healed now after can your prayer. Can he move now? Yeah. Yeah, A big clap offering to Jesus. You are healed. You are free. Clap for Amen. Jesus, clap for Amen. Jesus, Amen. the next testifier. Pastor, this is a newcomer. She has been suffering for nine months paralysis. After uh, your prayer, she started walking. How long? Nine months. Nine months. You need to clap for Jesus. For that miracle. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. We are saying thank you, Lord. We are saying thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, God of choosing you are the next testifier. Pastor, this is the case of another four month stroke healed instantly can after he your walk prayer. Now. Now. Yeah, walk, let them see. Oh, we be clap offering to Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We thank you, my God. You always are not always up, man. We thank you. And your ways are not always over. Thank you, my dear Lord. And your ways are not always over. We thank you, my dear Lord. We thank you, thank you, thank you. 
We thank you, my dear Lord. There was another ways of man. We thank you, my dear Lord. There was another ways of man. We thank you, my dear Lord. The next testifier. Pastor, three years, partial stroke, instantly healed. Can he walk now? Can he walk now? How about I get Aru? But, no, she can walk. Clap for Jesus. Evo Aru, go back to your sender. 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 Begin to clap for Jesus. He has come. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. The next testifier. Pastor, this is another miracle of God of choosing. One year loss of memory. Now his his mind is restored. Can He's you free. can you touch him now? What is your name? Solomon Aziz. What are we doing here? Church. Clap for Jesus. The memory is restored. He did not open to Jesus. The next testifier. Pastor, three years, leg and shoulder pain. Mama said, now she is free. Can you use your body clap. walk? Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. The next testifier. Pastor, on the podium here, is the great wonders of the God of Chosen. Tell us the wonders. I'm talking about 31 years, young man, born, deaf, and dumb, started hearing, speaking at the instant of your prayer. At one years, born, deaf, and dumb. Yes, yes Pastor. And never spoken before. Yes, sir, Pastor. He's speaking and hearing now. He's speaking, speaking right and now. Testing, and testing. he's coming for the first time. Can you test him? Let's hear. One, one. Two, two. Three, two. Four, one. Five, one. Six, two. Seven, one. Eight, one. Nine, one. Ten, one. Ten, one. Papa, one. One, one, two, amen. Thank you, amen. You are wonderful. Thank you. Amen. Our God, you are wonderful. Amen. Thank you, amen. You are wonderful. Amen. Oh, thank you. Holy Ghost, you are wonderful. Amen. Thank you, amen. You are wonderful. Oh, thank you. Jesus, you are wonderful. Amen. Thank you, amen. You are wonderful. Amen. Thank you. Our God, you are wonderful. Amen. Thank you. Amen. You are wonderful. Oh, thank you. Wonderful. Amen. Thank you. Amen. You are holy, O Lord. Daddy, you are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord. God has chosen. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord. God has chosen. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord. God has chosen. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord. God has chosen. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord. God has chosen. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy, O Lord. God has chosen. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy. You are God has chosen. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy. You are God has chosen. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy. You are God has chosen. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy. You are God has chosen. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are worthy. You are God has chosen. You are worthy to sit on the throne. You are what 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 you are the God that is in you, I want you to see that too. I want you to see that too. The God that is in you, I want you to see that too. I want you to see that too. The God that is in you, I want you to see that too. I want you to see that too. 
Nobody goes in the tree. Nobody goes in the tree. Nobody goes in the tree. The God of Chosen, you are what he goes in the tree. Nobody goes in the tree. The God of Chosen, you are what he goes in the tree. Nobody goes the God that you see, you are what he does. 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 The God that you see, you are what he does. 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 The God that you see, you are what he does. 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 The God that you see, you are what he does. 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 To the brother that was healed of deaf and dumb, the father, yes, sir. Let him speak. What is your name, sir? My name is Eda Francis Akuyobi. Can you come down? Who is this person to you? He's my son. His name is Chukuma Akuyobi. Born 31 years ago. Born deaf and dumb. Born deaf and dumb. Premature. Baby. You mean this young man was born deaf and dumb? Yes. For 31 years. Yes. And now he can speak, he can hear. Can we clap for Jesus? Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. My master Jesus, going. 
My master Jesus, 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 my master
I will not make progress in life. Any spirit that hinders your marriage, your progress, any spirit that scattered your home, any spirit of backwardness, Holy Ghost, oh, yeah. deliver them. As I begin to mention, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them. I'm waiting for you. Spirit of course. Okay, Lee. Watch us, watch us. Okay, Lee. Cause. Come out, Allah, Oma. Enter fire. Enter fire. Bring him out. Bring him out. It's not only him. There are many people here. That cause has followed you. Nothing is working for you. Now let the spirit answer me and I come out of your body. Spirit of cause. Watch out. Watch out. Bring them out. Bring them out. That woman cause has scattered your home. Let that spirit leave you now. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. There are many cause that made it that nothing works for you. Nothing. Trouble every time. Everything ends up in sorrow. Oh, just watch. Watch out. I pray that generation cause in Jesus' name. Watch out, watch out. Somebody down there. I command that cause to enter fire. Come out, come out. Spirit of cause. Catch fire, come out. I do not permit you to continue to torment my people. In the name of Jesus, I set them free. of course. Why are you tormenting that lady? Why are you tormenting her life? Queen of course, queen. Uh, answer me, come out. Watch us, watch out. Watch out, bring her out, bring her out. You python spirit. Python spirit, you snake spirit, cash fire come out. Python kingdom in the name of Jesus, I destroy the kingdom. I destroy the kingdom. I destroy the kingdom. Holy Ghost. Ancestral spirit. Ancestral spirit. Spirit wife. Spirit of backwardness. Catch fire come out in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. 
spirit of untimely death. Spirit of death. Oh, yeah. Pack your load. Not enter anybody. Enter fire. Enter fire. Spirit of death. Spirit of death. Spirit husband. Spirit husband. Spirit of death. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Spirit of death. Catch fire. I do not permit that spirit to kill you. You must fulfill your years. <laughs> Holy Ghost, show me a sign. All these people that are tormented by spirit of death, I pray this hour, let the kingdom come upon you. Oh yeah, begin to receive deliverance now. Deliverance, deliverance, deliverance. Holy Ghost, deliver them, deliver them. All the moving objects, all they are projected in your body, all those evil personalities visiting in the dream, catch fire and catch, come out. Dwarf, dwarf spirit, dwarf spirit, catch fire, come out, come out. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Do I have spirit? Spirit of limitation. Spirit of poverty. Spirit of barrenness. Catch fire, come out in Jesus' name. Enter fire. Witchcraft spirits. Marine spirits. Occult spirits. I torment you by fire, fire, fire. I bind you, I cast that beast in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Fire upon the fire. Holy Ghost fire. Upon the fire. Holy Ghost fire. Upon the fire. Holy Ghost fire. Upon the fire. Fire upon the fire. On the fire, Holy Ghost fire. On the fire, Holy Ghost fire. On the fire, on the Holy Ghost fire. On the fire. Holy Ghost fire, among the fire, the Holy Ghost fire, among the fire. Amen. Shout Holy Ghost fire seven times. I command you to catch fire, fire, fire. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. I bind you, I bind the power. I cast the abyss in Jesus' name. Sabbatai spirit, I cast you out. Queen of course, I cast you out. Sweet wife, I cast you out. Sweet of course, I cast you out. Wish Christ spirit, I cast you out. Fire of spirit, I cast you out. I cast the abyss in Jesus' name. All the demon on assignments, all the demons have been assigned to stop anybody from receiving, from being blessed, to hinder anybody's miracle. I bind that spirit. I bind the power. I cast it at abyss in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost fire. Witchcraft spirits. Familiar spirits. 
spirit of poverty. Spirit of opposition. Spirit of hindrances. Spirit of delay in marriage. Demon of barrenness. I bind all of you. I bind your power. I cast that beast in Jesus' name. My daddy, have your way. Every problem they brought here, I decree it shall never follow them out. That I cancel that epilepsy. I command that person to be free. The stammering tongue, I cancel it. I lose you. Begin to speak blood in Jesus' name. The high near, I curse it. I command to disappear in Jesus' name. I cancel that fire brought. I command be uprooted in Jesus' name. I cancel that stroke. Be healed in Jesus' name. That terrible moving object, I bind you. I cancel to abyss. And I pray for you. Whatever that is causing those evil dreams, I bind the power. Whatever they have done against you through those dreams, I cancel it. I command deliverance for you in Jesus' name. And you, you have been asking for blessing, blessing, blessing. And something has been opposing your blessing. Something has been fighting your blessing. Any spirit of unforgiveness, any spirit of anger, any witchcraft spirit that is causing you to suffer in penury, I bind that spirit, I cast it out. From today, let the power, the power of poverty, of suffering, be broken in your life. Lord, show me a sign. Holy Ghost, show me a sign. Blade that power. Blade that power of poverty. Power of suffering. Power of cause. Break. Break. Power of cause, I break you in Jesus' name. Power of suffering, power of limitation, power of rising and falling. I break that power in Jesus' name. Power of delay in marriage or conception. Power that is that the family, I bind you, I cast out in Jesus' name. Lose. Holy Ghost. Break that power. I'm waiting for you. Wherever, wherever you are tied, whatever that used to cover your face, cover your glory, that no favor. Whatever they used to hinder your miracle, I bind that power. I cast it out now. I bind that. I cast it out now. Be loose, be free in Jesus' name. Authoritatively. Holy Ghost, show me a sign. Keep quiet. There is somebody here. Before I move forward, something great will happen in your life now. So give me a sign. Anywhere that time you be, you be loose, 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 loose. Any prison, spiritually, any prison, any prison, any shrine, any temple, any altar, wherever they put your name, or you loose, 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 loose. Anywhere they mention your name in evil, evil kingdom, anywhere your village, your family, I command that you have to break, 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 break.
kingdom come by power, by power. Kingdom come by power, kingdom come by power, oh, by power. Kingdom come, come, come by power, oh, the Holy Ghost. Kingdom come, come, come by power, oh, by power. Kingdom come, come, come by power, oh, by power. Kingdom come, come, come by power, oh, by power. Heavenly Father, anywhere the enemy is taking charge in their life, I stand here by your power. I discharge the enemy. I call for liberation and freedom for my people in Jesus' name. I pray for you. That pregnancy you are carrying for years, I command it to manifest and go and deliver. And I pray that person that every now and then you are eating in the dream. All those kingdoms feeding you, I destroy those kingdoms. Whatever they are giving you that is affecting you, I uproot it and I command somebody, vomit it, vomit that poison, vomit it. I command somebody here, vomit that poison now, vomit that thing. They gave it to you in the dream. Oh yeah, vomit. Quickly, quickly. Holy Ghost, cause that person to vomit that evil. Quickly. Vomit it. Le kapesu kataya. Robokoshi kaperuzia. I command wherever that is hiding in your stomach, hiding your body, I command to come out now. Come out. Come out from your hiding. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. Be loose. My daddy, bless my people. All of them, I command their blessings. Touch them one by one. He the sick, deliver the prayers, provide for the needy, fight their battle. Lord, I pray visit them diversely today and let the covenant be renewed. And bring many of them to the covenant today in Jesus' name. I pass a decree. And no one that stepped into this place or worship me all over the world that shall remain the same. Can I hear you say amen? Shall we get seated? Covenant of peace and blessing us over God. Over the chosen, sing it. Covenant of peace, covenant of peace, covenant of peace and blessings. God, covenant of peace of our nation. Blessing, 
I want you to turn your Bible to John chapter 1. John chapter 1. I read verse 12. Please open your Bible, everybody. John chapter 1 and verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God even to them that believe on his name. In John chapter 10 and verse 10, John chapter 10, I read verse 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to keep and to destroy. I am come, that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. And in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, Matthew chapter 6, I read verse 33, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. From these chapters and verses I'm bringing to you, the team, God's covenant of peace and blessings. And we're looking at the topic, the power of abundance or blessings. We're looking at part two of that message. Yesterday we saw part one. I want you to pay attention. Everyone should ensure that from this program, we shall begin to experience abundance of blessings in every area of our lives. Also, we must endeavor to enter that covenant or renew that covenant in this program so that you will not struggle anymore. Are you hearing me? I want to take note Yesterday, yesterday, many people enter the covenant approach in this place. And many people, almost everybody, renew the, the covenant yesterday and ensure that they're in, into that covenant proper, covenant of peace and blessings and long life. All those who were here yesterday, they renew the government. The newcomers enter the government afresh. And today, they are blossoming in that covenant blessings, which is abundance of blessings. And that is why we're looking at it proper today. I want you to understand that today, all that was not here, those that were not here yesterday, or followed us online, should endeavor to follow after the example of those who are here yesterday, who entered the covenant, and who renewed the covenant. And all should go for the covenant of blessings in every area of their lives, and that blessing will follow them. Do you know covenant blessing will follow you? And that is abundance of blessings. Jesus said, I come that they might have life 
I have it more abundantly. And I want to let you know that abundance of life that came to us through Jesus Christ, there you have all the blessings of God embedded in that abundance of blessing, abundance of life. You have peace, you have blessings, you have long, you have long life, you have every spiritual blessings and every other blessings, material, financial, or physical, whatever. All the blessings are buried in that abundance of blessings that came through Jesus Christ. So, I want you to understand that many people yesterday, God visited them. And God Almighty confirmed the covenant blessings in their lives. And many of them testified yesterday and even today. And so, he will do it again. Today, he will do it. And he will do greater than yesterday. I'm assuring you in Jesus' name. So, today being the final day of this program, everybody here must be blessed. Your life can never be the same. That abundance of blessings shall be your portion. So, in this message, I'm looking at point number one, covenant of blessings of abundance and the effect to our expected response and the benefits. Let's go to that point number one. Covenant of blessings of abundance and the effect. God Almighty has blessed us with abundance of blessings. As he blessed those before us who had covenant with him. I want to take note, even our father of faith. You know that God made promise to him. He has covenant with God. And look at Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. Genesis chapter 12. I'm talking about father Abraham. God blessed them abundantly. All such who had covenant with God. Who are covenant people of God. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1. Now, the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be all a blessing. Verse 3. And I will bless them that bless thee and cause him that God said thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. I want to let you know this was the covenant. Go enter with Abraham. You walk with me. I will bless you. And through you, all the it shall be blessed. I want to find out from you. Did God actually bless Abraham? I'm asking you a question. God bless him abundantly. If you look at the Bible, in Genesis 24 verse 1. Genesis 24. I read verse 1. Let's see. Chapter 24, verse 1. And it reads, And Abraham was old, and was taken in age, and the Lord had blessed Abraham. Please complete it. In all things. All those people that had covenant with God, God blessed them abundantly. And I'm assuring you, you too, every one of you, you are going to experience abundance of blessings. As God bless Abraham in all things, he see you. God will not bless one area and, may, and leave the other area 
that you be, become a beggar or in want, he will bless you in all things. As he bless who? I'm assuring you, God has not changed. Do you know he blessed the whole Israelite with abundance of blessings? He blessed Israelites who were in Egypt with what? Abundance of blessings. Look at the Bible in the book of Exodus chapter 1, verse 7. Exodus chapter 1. Look at the Bible. Chapter 1, verse 7. And the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and was a city mighty and the land was filled with them. God blessed them mightily. Even while they were in Egypt. And even when God brought them out of Egypt, he gave them seven hidden nations. Look at chapter 3. Chapter 3, verse 8. I'll read from verse 7. Chapter 3, from verse 7 to 8. God blessed them, blessed them abundantly. In chapter 3, verse 7. And the Lord said, I've surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt. I've heard their cry by reason of the taskmasters. I know their sorrows. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians. And to bring them up out of that land unto a good land. And a large on the land flowing with milk and honey. Unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. He gave them seven hidden nations free of charge. He blessed them abundantly. God has not changed. The God that blessed Abraham abundantly in all things, the God that blessed Israelites in all things. That God has not changed. He is the God of abundance. Are you hearing me? Besides, I want to let you know, even our Lord Jesus Christ, God gave you how many things? All things. In Matthew chapter 11, 27. Please open your Bible. Let's see. Matthew chapter 11, verse 27. Let's read. Matthew chapter 11, and verse 27, and I read. And look at it. All things are delivered unto me of my father. How many things? God gave him all things. No wonder. If you look at verse 28, he called the whole world and said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heaven and earth, and I will give you all rest. Because the father has given him how many things? He has something to give humanity. Because he has received all things from who? I'm not hearing you again. How many blessings that were Abraham blessed? What of Israelite? What of Jesus Christ? God blessed him in all things. Now, if you look at the Bible, in the New Testament, let's find out what kind of blessing were they blessed. Now, look at Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4, I read verse from verse 13 4 verse 13 let's see Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13 it reads verse 13 I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me what is that telling you that through Jesus Christ the apostle said I can do how many things all things. Look at verse 18. Verse 18. Philippians chapter 4, verse 18. And he said, What? Verse 18. But I have how many? Please look up. All means how many things? I, I'm, I'm asking you a question. Who said that word? Apostle Paul said, I have all. Not only have all, he said, I am bound. And if you look at that place, he said, 
But my God, verse 19, shall supply all your needs. I call it the riches in glory by Christ Jesus. But before then, he said, I have all. Which means God has given him how many things? All things. No wonder. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6, let's see what Apostle Post, Apostle Post said. Chapter 6 and verse 10. 2 Corinthians. Look at it. Yesterday, I explained here very well. Uh, but look at it. Let's take it. It's over ten. As sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. As poor, yet making many rich. As having nothing, yet what? How many things did he possess? He possessed all things. I want to let you know, God has given humanity abundance of blessings. And you know, we discussed yesterday that this power of abundance came to us through who? Jesus Christ. And God is the giver. And if God, if you have received Jesus into your heart, you have received the key, the power of abundance. And you can operate and dwell in abundance of all things. But that's not what I'm talking I'm now saying that God bless all the covenant people of God with how many things? All things. Are we covenant people of God? I'm asking you a question. You see, as many of you that is here, the Lord said in John chapter 10 verse 10, Tell me, I come that they might have life. Have it all. And some here now, He see you from today, you will never struggle. That blessing that is in you must come to manifestation. Because it's inside you. Do you know what Peter said? Peter said at the beautiful gate, silver and gold have I not, but such as I have, give I you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. That man rose up. Now listen to me now. There is something in you. The only way can, you can draw it, Father, in the name of Jesus, that thing will come to manifestation. Riches is in you. I say, riches in you. Blessings of God is in you. Abundance of blessings is in you. You can draw. I can do all things through who? But my God shall supply all your need through who? He see you today. You will not struggle. Abundance of blessing will follow you. As God bless Abraham in all things, I'm assuring you, I'm blessed Isaac in all things, and Jacob in all things, Israel in all things, and blessed even our master Jesus Christ, apostle in all things. The same God has blessed you. I, 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 I want to say, he has blessed you in all things. If you are in Christ, if you are born again, if you are a child of God, you have all things. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 21, 1 Corinthians, look at your Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 21. Somebody might be asking, Pastor, how are you saying this? Is there evidence in the Bible that even we are blessed in all things? Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 3. I read verse 21. What do you say? Verse 21. Therefore, let no man glory in man. What happened? How many things? I'm not hearing you again. Now, if you look at that place, let's read it very well. I want to read it now. It said, therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. Whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world, or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours. And you are Christ. And Christ is God's. All things are ours because we belong to who? Jesus Christ, whom God has given abundance of life to give to me and to you. 
And so, you need to pay attention. Remember, our God is a God of war. I didn't hear you. God of abundance. Imagine God, the owner of war, heaven and earth, and everything inside them belong to who? I'm not hearing you here. Heaven belongs to who? Earth belongs to who? Everything inside them belongs to who? Is it then God of abundance? Yes, of course. And the Bible says you are God's, even a little God. And if you be in the image and likeness of God, God also has made you to be a woman and a man of war. I'm not hearing you. Let me even find out from you. The Bible made us understand when God created the first man, the first man, he put them in the garden of Eden and everything that he there was given to man, free of charge. Isn't that abundance? I'm not hearing you again. Which means God has never planned that anybody will be operating in limitation, in little, and have nothing. God forbid. Do you know what the Bible said in Matthew chapter 6 verse 3? He said, but, he said seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all... I didn't hear you again. And all these things shall be added to it. Did he say you shall struggle to them? Did he say you should labor and die for them? Did he say you should forsake fellowship in order to have them? I'm asking you a question. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things from A shall be added to you. He see you, covenant people of God. Your covenant will be renewed today. If you have not entered the covenant, today you enter it afresh. And you will receive power of abundance. Can I hear you say amen? So, he is not in want of anything. I'm talking about God. And likewise, all those who are covenant people of old, they lack nothing. They had all things. They were not in want of anything. Covenant people of God of old. Look at the book of uh, uh, Psalm 23 verse 1. Let's see. Psalm 23 verse 1. Please look at the Bible. What did he say? Please open your Bible and read. Very important. Psalm 23. I'm reading verse 1. And it says, The Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. What happened? Uh -uh. It shall not be in want of anything. Because God is his shepherd. Everything he was looking for, God did it for him. He was not struggling for anything. Let's try to read the hopeless. Chapter 23, verse 1. I'm reading now. Look at the Bible. I'm talking about the covenant people of God of old. They had all things. They are not the want of anything. And David is one of them. Verse 1. And I read. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness. Look at that place. He leadeth me in beside the still waters. And look at what followed. He restored my. Please let's come back to that verse one again. The Lord is my shepherd. What followed? Now. Verse 2, he maketh me to lie down. I want you to mark that word. First of all, he said, the Lord is my shepherd. Who? The two. He maketh me to lie down in green parts. Or who? Who? Now, look at what follows. He leadeth me beside the still water. Who? Look at verse 3. He restored my soul. Who? He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Who? Ah, ah. So, 
he was not involved in anything. God was doing everything for him. If you be a child of God, my God shall supply all your needs. According to the riches in glory by Christ Jesus, he will give you abundance of blessings. Seek it first the kingdom of God and his righteousness will follow. And all these things shall be added to you. Why are you struggling? Why are you suffering? Why are you crying? Why are you behaving as if though that you are an unbeliever? You are an orphan. And you don't have God. As long as you have God, you have how many things? I'm not hearing you again. Look at your Bible in Romans chapter 8. I will start one. Romans chapter 8. I will start one. And I read. Romans 8, that one. And it says, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but deliver him up for us all, how shall he not with him also complete it? Also, are you sure you are reading there? Also, freely. Also freely give us. I want to let you know, covenant people of God, God will give you all things. Are you hearing me? As of old, the Lord is my shepherd. In time past, covenant people of God say, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And here, he that offered Jesus to us free of charge. Shall you not through him give us everything freely? And I answer, yes, of course. He will give us all things freely through who? Jesus Christ. So, if you look at that place, in, in Matthew chapter 11, 27, Jesus said, all things that delivered unto me of my Father. Is he a covenant son of God? Yes. God gave him how many things? Look at Luke chapter 15, verse 31. Luke chapter 15, verse 31. Please open your Bible. Don't be tired, for you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Luke chapter 15, verse 31. And I read. And he said, And he said unto him, Son, thou art ever with me. Thou art ever with me. And all that I have is that child of God. You have been with the Lord. You have not forsaken the Lord. You have not offended the Lord. You are still the kingdom. The Lord is telling you today, all I have belongs to you. Therefore, let no man glory in man. For all things are yours. Are you in the kingdom? Are you a child of the kingdom? Are you a covenant child of God? Are you a choosing? All I have is thine. You see, after this program, I'm going to pass a law. Blessing will follow you. Whether you like it or not, honestly, you will be blessed. You will be a blessing to your family. Do you know that Joseph was a covenant child of God? Was he a blessing to his family? Yes. You that is watching me now, you that is sitting here, you watching me all over the world, you shall be a blessing to your families, to your generations. Can I hear you say amen? So, he said that, Son, thou art ever with me. And all I have is that. So, and he said, Therefore, let no man glory in man, for all things are yours. To the New Testament believers, to me and to you, to the chosen ones, all 
things are yours. He is our sufficiency. As long as we belong to him, everything we are looking for, he will supply them to us. He has them. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 5 says, our sufficiency is of God. No wonder he said that all things are yours. Because he belongs to Christ. And Christ belongs to God. And as long as God is concerned, I want to let you know, you have all things. So, take note. We have abundance of blessings through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why he said, I come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. I also said, that through Christ, we have all things. And then, if you look at how did this bless them, them to us. Remember the covenant that God had with Abraham. Covenant of blessings. Covenant of peace. The covenant that he has with Abraham. That covenant came to me and to you. Through who? Jesus Christ. And as long as we are Christ, we have the blessings of all things. In fact, listen to me. If you are choosing one, and you are singing this song, look at this song. Choosing is blessed by the most I go. Choosing is blessed, and we shall not be, we shall not be, because choosing is blessed, we shall not be, because. Now, all chance to be able to ask somebody, what are you looking for? Where are you going? If all chance see somebody looking for toilet, looking for direction, every other will start, just read their Bible, allow the person to be walking up and down. What kind of orchard you are? Praise the Lord. And listen to me. Praise the Lord. If you look at the blessings of Abraham, God said, I will bless them that bless you. I will cause them that cause you. Am I right? Yes. That is the song. That song came to us through who? That covenant came to us through who? Yes. Galatians chapter 3 verse 14. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 14. Galatians chapter 3 let usher, uh, may usher to make sure you see that young man and find out what you're looking for. A may usher. Uh, young man going down there. Chapter 3, Galatians chapter 3, verse 14. Chapter 3, and verse 14. And it reads. Look at your Bible. Galatians chapter 3. Reading verse 14. That the blessings of Abraham might come on the, on the Gentiles through who? Jesus. Jesus Christ. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. So this covenant of blessings came to us through who? Jesus Christ. That's what I've just seen. And as long as you're in Christ, you have covenant of blessings, of peace, of long life, abundance of blessings shall be yours in Jesus' name. So, but if you are not in Him, today you will enter the covenant afresh. And if you are past leading, today the covenant shall be renewed. And God will provide seed and bring it to pass your life in Jesus' name. So, the effect of this abundance of blessings that God blessed the covenant people of old and also by extension to us, the effect of it is that 
when we have things in abundance we shall be a blessing to others please through or false when you have things spiritual blessings or material blessings or financial blessings when you have them in abundance will you help others somebody should answer me that is why God has promised that blessing and he will bless you to become a blessing to others remember Joseph through him the Israelites went down to Egypt and they were established sustained blessed through who? Joseph so abundance of blessing will make you to help others in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13 Paul the Apostle said I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me and verse 19 said but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus so when you are in him you can pronounce blessing to people and it will come to pass and you can claim the blessing and the blessing shall come to manifestation can I hear you say amen, amen. so we shall not be in want of anything if you have abundance you shall not lack do you know you shall not beg if God has given you all things will you lack anything will you be a beggar you do you know that it is not the will of God that you will bring shame to God do you know that sometimes when you are begging people you are saying your God has no your God is not all sufficient all sufficient God you are saying that your God lacks something, cannot give you, they cannot release you. When you are saying to somebody, I'm, I'm a child of God, please give me money to enter transport. What the person, what will the person say? I'm asking you a question. I'm a child of God, uh, please can you help me? Do you know some people who boldly said, let that God help me? I, I don't know whether you hear what I'm saying. There is somebody who can come to that and say, please, oh, I'm a child of God. Can you give me money for house rent? The person look at their face and say, what? I'm not hearing you. Let that God help you. So, as a child of God, you are not supposed to be what? Because that would be reproach. Instead of being a beggar, go on your knee. Two minutes prayer. God will send somebody to give you money. You don't agree with me? I said, two, less than two minutes prayer. God will send somebody say, go and give my son money. Because the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. The king's heart is the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turns it wherever he will. He can turn anybody hard to come and give you all his money. You don't believe it? If God compels somebody to help you, will the person say no? Therefore, don't beg. Rather, go on your knees and say, God Almighty, I need money. If you do this, God will be happy with you. God will be glorified. He will see you as somebody who has faith in him, who realizes that you have Father which art in heaven. So, don't beg. And what you need to do is call, in, call into manifestation what is already inside you. Do you, have, do you know you have all things? I don't know. Praise the Lord. Choosing people. The only way to explain this, Paul the apostle said, as Paul. I didn't hear you again. As Paul. <laughs> Pray, why is he making many rich? He has the grace of God upon his life. He has things in abundance. 
as having not the year possessing how many things? Who said it? If Paul said it, then that shows you that he knows what he's talking. I know why he said that my God shall supply all your needs. He calling those things inside him to come and be up and begin to be manifest in the life of the, his audience. Let those blessings come upon you and the blessing will come to pass. Praise the Lord. Let me ask you a question. If I bless you today, will the blessing come to pass? While I'm blessing you, will I exchange money to you? Will I just say, take money? It's just what is inside me. I call it into what? Manifestation. As my father did now, my father said, let there be light. What happened now? There was a light. Where was the light before? Inside him. God is the omnipotent God. Everything is inside him. And if you're a child, you have the nature of God. Praise the Lord. So, as covenant people of God, you have abundance of blessing. That's why we are singing this song. <clears throat> abundant life. Abundant life. Abundant life. Jesus gave to me. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus gave to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus has given me and you abundance of life. By extension, abundance of blessings. Are you hearing me? So, you don't need to beg. Rather, call those things to manifestation. Rather, desire those things. Ask for those things. God will bring them to pass. Whatever it may be. As long as it's not sinful. Praise the Lord. So, God has blessed those before us abundantly in all things. And likewise to me and to you. No wonder he said, Our master Jesus Christ, in his days, he went about doing good because he has life in what? Abundance. So he doesn't want us to bring shame to him, rather, with our blessings. What do we do? We provoke people to repentance. We provoke people to serve God. We provoke people to follow you to church. When people began to see that, out of nothing, look at that young lady. He said they had no child and they had no house of their own. And when he came here, a wise lady, an understanding lady, so when they came here, when they had me and I talk about you know, issue of conception. Immediately she believed. She believed it. And that settles it. That month did not pass her back. Two of us. As I'm saying that, I'm talking that some people here may be saying, looking at a roof. I said, What is he saying? He's saying, no, Do quickly, like, let us close. Those people don't have understanding. It's not like that lady. That lady, everything I said, she took notes. And she conceived that month after two years. And not only that, he had me saying there was a young man here that drew a picture of a story building, or two story building, and God gave it to him. He had that story, had it, and he went and he drew, called the husband, we're going to do something, though. oh yeah, let's draw our own. We drew their own, and as they finished it, somebody called them and said, I have a story building, I'm selling. They don't have the money. He said, 
other people were bidding, other people were coming. The, the man said, I will give it to you. Um, anyhow, you want to pay two times or pay. A man who does not have one, only throw in the paper. Because God is the God of faith. If you believe in him, act in faith. If you believe in what I'm saying now, you believe it and act accordingly. You will see them coming to pass. That is how they have their, their, their own child. They are living now in their story building just by act of what? I'm not hearing you again. Okay, by struggle. Eh? By labor. I'm, I'm not hearing you. Act of faith. Do you know you can do better than that? I mean, your own faith can take you so high. Understanding of this message will make you never to be a beggar in life. Understanding of this message will make you a blessing to humanity. Oh my God. Praise the Lord. Now, listen to me. Why God is blessing his people abundantly is that there will be a blessing to what? Imagine where I have nothing. I have nothing. And I gather all of you. Look at from beginning to the end. Look at it. That's one kilometer of people. I gather you and put you here and say, hey, come, come. And if I have nothing, I will, at the end, all of you, all of you will even come here and say, Pastor, what are you talking? We never, nobody has seen anything. But let me ask you a question. Did you see something today? Yeah. I, I'm asking you a question. Yeah. Did you see something? Yeah. If I'm going to charge money from these people that were here, how much will I charge them? Yeah. Death and not 31 years. Death and not 12 years. This one, how much? I, if I say, okay, um, are you speaking today? He say yes. After that one years, or you have one? In fact, 10 million. Praise the Lord. But freely I have received. Freely I give. No charge. Praise the Lord. So, if you listen to the testimonies, you'll understand there is something here. Why people are gathering? Please, true of us. There is something that makes this multitude to gather from morning to evening, and that thing that made them to gather is the same thing that will bring blessing to you. Yeah. Listen to me. The Bible says, Unto the Lord shall the gathering of his people be. As we are here today, we are the feet of the Lord. He told somebody, while well, we are going to Navy Town, Navy Barrack, he was telling somebody in the dream of another church, I'm going to that church. I'm going to that crusade ground. Jesus was telling somebody, I'm going to that crusade ground. That was last week. Now, if Jesus is going to crusade ground, what about here? Praise the Lord. Look at the three shares. God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. That share is kept for them every day, every night. That share is kept for them. It is not pastor's share. After all, do you see me coming to see the chair? If I manage to see there, I will see there with caution. I know that somebody carrying me. Praise the Lord. Amen. In fact, God blesses people with abundance of blessings so that you will be a blessing to your humanity, to our generation. Can I hear you say amen to that? Abundance of blessings shall be your portion. You will never go home empty-handed. Anybody that wished you that you will go, go and return the same, that person is wasting time. Today, the power of abundance will rest upon my life. And you will be a blessing to a generation in Jesus' name. Covenant of peace and mercy. Mm -hmm. 
of all my people. Listen to me, brethren. All the covenant people of old, God bless them abundantly. And here we are today. We shall be blessed in abundance in Jesus' name. And that blessing is to enable you to be a blessing to others. It's to enable you to bring glory to God. I will never be a reproach to the living God. That abundance of blessing will make you to serve God and provoke others to do what? To serve Him. Abundance of blessing will make you to win souls into the kingdom. If you don't have, you know, abundance of life, you can't be able to minister, you cannot be able to change life. It is only by the grace of God. So, God gives abundance so that you will be a blessing to others. Can I hear you say amen? amen? That is why the Bible said, Praise the Lord. In Psalm 40, verse 1, let's see something there. Psalm chapter 40, verse 1. And I read Psalm 40, verse 1. And it reads, I waited patiently for the Lord and he climbed unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a, an a horrible pit and out of a merry clay and set my feet upon a rock and established my going. You see many people here today honestly God has brought you out of a horrible pit of sin and of the world and of slavery and bondage at the hand of the enemy. He has brought you out and listening to me today he will establish you upon the rock of ages. Yeah. And as he establishes you today nobody can bring you down. Yeah. As he establishes you today you shall never be a beggar. As establishes you today, you will be a blessing to humanity. <laughs> Do you know many of you that are not born again today? You must be born again. <laughs> Once you are born again, established upon this rock of ages, my friend, religion without Christ is a fake religion. Are you hearing me? Christ is the foundation of Christianity. Once you give your life to him, you are standing upon a solid foundation. And as you are there, you have abundance of life. And you will be a blessing to people in Jesus' name. Now, listen to me. You look at that place you are reading. It says, verse 2, He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of a merry clear, and set my feet upon a rock. And the rock I'm talking about. And established my going. Our goings are established upon the rock of ages. That's why we go and tra trample under the sole of foot, serpent and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing can shake us. Solid rock. House that built in a solid on, a, on the rock of ages. No wave can bring it down. Are you hearing me? A child of God. The Lord said concerning you, I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. He see you. You will fulfill your years. You will fulfill your ministry. And you will make heaven at last in Jesus' name. And when the Lord has done this in your life, look at verse 3. Verse 3. He shall put a new song in my mouth. He see you today. A new song will be in your mouth. Can you sing it? 
covenant of peace and blessing. Covenant of peace. Over your life, over As we finish today, you will sing a new song. Some of you, as you are going home, you will be singing, Choosing is blessed by the most high God. Choosing is blessed, and we shall, we shall not be cursed by the most high God. Choosing is blessed, and we, we shall not be cursed. We shall not be cursed. Some of you will sing, You are worthy, O Lord. Daddy, you are worthy to sit on the throne. The God of choosing, you are worthy to sit on the throne. Alpha and Omega, you are what? Go sit on the floor. Oh, me, me, poor thing, you are what? Go sit on the floor. Our Messiah, you are what? Go sit on the floor. Choosing a say, Oh, you are worthy, Lord. Oh, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Oh, you are worthy, Lord. Worthy, worthy, Lord. Oh, worthy, worthy, Lord. I found a way up. Oh, the Lord of Jesus. Lord, I live in my heart. I find a way up. The mighty battle. Oh, worthy, worthy, Lord. Worthy, worthy. Oh, the God of choosing. Oh, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord.
Now listen to me and when you sing your new song and then look at what followed and go back to your seat praise the Lord Amen Amen I know that today is a day of celebration because of what the Lord did for us 2,000 years ago He paid the price he died for us. He was made poor than my British. He was so far that we might celebrate giving the glory. Praise the Lord. Now, look at chapter 40 and verse 3. Psalm 40, verse 3. And he has put a new song in, our, in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. What as the people after this service and you are going home and you get back to your places and you begin to sing the news and they see the changes and they begin to see what God has done for you. Honestly, they will be afraid. Some of them will call you and say, take me to the place where you went. Can I hear you say amen? And I'm being frank to you. Many people, have, many people have said it. Many people that monitor choosing people, they say, take me there. One followed them. One followed somebody. They said, that place you went, I can see that everything changed. You have too much. You have money. You have everything. And someone said, call the fellow kidney agent. They said, take me where you did this thing. And uh, they said, I'm a, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. He said, no, tell me, take me where you did this thing. And then, the young man said, okay, early in the morning, come, we're going to church. We're choosing on either Tuesday or Thursday. And then, when they came here, the young man was looking up and down, looking at everything to find, is it here you come? And God bless you mightily. That is how it comes on time before the person. Early morning, he said, I want to be blessed. Many other people follow people that are choosing people to find out where did they go and suddenly everything changed. That is choosing for you. As we are here now, there will be a different change. I am very, very certain. I was, but but, but if you look at around, you can see. You can, if you go to other churches, some church, please, church, forgive me. If you go to other churches, you hardly get a place where number of these sisters here, no earring, no jewelry, no bangle, no attachment, no weaver. No, no show up. No, no mini, mini, no nakedness. It's, look at it. That shows you that something changed them. Because a woman, you take that thing away from that woman, and and the worst thing you find here. This is the place where, if you are looking at it, look like light is shining. Everybody's everybody's wearing clothes. Everybody, eh? Upon upon all the glory, upon many of them are from Bilonia. So, you see, wearing their that shows you something is here. You can go to some places together and look like it. Look like it. Some will be naked. Some will be wearing a woman. So, run away from such places. 
some will it, some, if you look at them, you, you, don't, where, you don't know where to put your eye. Do I put my eye here? Like? <laughs> Praise the Lord. But here you can look around. Look around, look around. So you look around. Praise, praise the Lord. Is there no cause? Is there no reason for this? There is reason. So, there is the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the God that keepeth covenant is here. And today, as I pray for you, be ready to go home with him. Because he will go with you. He's the only good God. The loving Father. He will come inside you and live. And make your life better. Can I hear you say amen? So, I want to let you know that in this place, God does things that is unimaginable. And God is blessing us abundantly. So that our life will touch all dust. And they will repent and believe in corruption, which will soon take place. Praise the Lord. And uh, why he was here, the Bible says this in Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. Chapter 10 and verse 38. And I read chapter 10, verse 38. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. So he went about doing good because God was with him. The power of God and abundance was upon him, and he went about doing good. That's why when God has blessed you in a place like this, He expects you to go go out, out do it good, and be a blessing to others. No wonder in Second Corinthians chapter six verse ten. Second Corinthians again, chapter six, verse ten, and He says, verse ten, as sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. As poor, if you look at the people here. You see, they are always rejoicing. But people are looking at them as sorrowful people, but you see joy. And he said, As poor, yet making many rich. As having nothing, yet possessing all things. You see, for us here, there's no show up. In this place, you look at us, at us as nobody, but we have all things. And that's why we are going about making many rich. That's what Paul Apostle said. In his days, he was going about making many rich. Because he has things in abundance. He has the spirit of God. He has that power of abundance. And that's why he was going about making... People look at that and say, look at this man and look at how... But he was going about making many rich. So... God has blessed us abundantly and ready to bless you abundantly in order for us to go and win souls for him. He has blessed us abundantly for us to go and do great signs and wonders and miracles. Do you know that if you meet the choosing person in action, you will bow. If you meet a choosing person, and then there is a situation, somebody died, this one happened. He said, Father, in the name of Jesus, situation will change. Am I right? I'm talking about choosing people. Because they have life in what? Abundance. They heal, they cast out the devil, and, oh my God, and they preach, and many souls are being converted. So, that is why God gives them life in what? It shall be your portion today. Yeah. Even you will heal the sick. Yeah. You will do signs and wonders. Yeah. You will do miracle. Yeah. It's not only, you know, sometimes you go to some church. It's only pastor. 
Pastor, Pastor is the one doing signs and wonders. Can you imagine? Only Pastor. Hey, something is wrong. In the Lord Jesus, everybody, everybody is doing signs and wonders. <laughs> Brethren, true of us, according to his word, he said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. His spirit is not confined only on pastor. Uh, his anointing is not only up, it's upon believers. He said, what he said in Mark chapter 16. Let's read. And verse 15. Let's find out what he said. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. In the Lord choosing, is everybody doing signs and wonders? In the name of the Lord, and by the Spirit of God. In Mark chapter 16, and verse 15. And it reads, verse 15. And he said unto them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth shall be baptized. And he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. And this sign shall follow them that does what? Believe. Choosing people. Do you believe? Yeah. What will follow you? Yeah. Some places is only following prophets and pastors. It doesn't follow members. God forbid. That is against the word of God. The word of God to this side, follow them that do what? Believe. He see you as long as you give your life to Jesus and you go on to live right. As to mention the name of Jesus in any matter, expect a sign. Expect a miracle. Are you hearing me? Never you say, it's only my pastor. Only my pastor. My friend, it's not true. You, all of you, all of you, all of you that are here. I want to hear your testimonies. Yeah. After this kind of message, and then you go out, my friend, if you see somebody possessed, cast out the door. Yeah. Do, you, do you hear me? Yeah. Don't waste time. If you see a sick person, heal the person. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. Yeah. I hope you are following what I'm saying. Yeah. Let it not be that a I, I, I'm going to choose you know, my pastor, only my pastor. My pastor will cast out them. My pastor will heal you. My pastor will deliver you. No. The Bible didn't say so. Are you hearing me? This sign shall follow them that believe. Some people will do that. They say, ah, if, if, if these people are doing signs, I want them not come to church. My friend, it's not true. It's God that gave you to me. If I ask you to go and do signs and wonders, you will do signs and wonders. You still return to me to take more. Am I right? Those that Jesus commissioned, did they desert him? Because, no, they didn't leave him because of signs and wonders. They will do signs and wonders and miracles and still turn back to the feet of Jesus. He will teach them. Praise the Lord. Go and do what? Raise the dead. He the sick. Deliver the oppressed. Are you hearing me? Cast away the devil. Yeah. And come back with testimony. Come and tell me how you did it. Mr. I'll be happy. I'll be clapping my hand. Praise the Lord. Praise. You told me the other day you cast away 2,000 devils. Hi! We're going to celebrate it, too. Are you hearing me? We'll be very happy. You said you pray for a blind person. And he saw. Hey! All of us will begin to do what? Rejoice. So, God has given us abundance of blessings, spiritually and otherwise. Look at Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Chapter 1, verse 3. And blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. How many blessings? All spiritual blessings. So you have it. And today, 
Those who will enter the covenant will have it. Those who shall renew the covenant will have it. This blessing shall be your portion in Jesus' name. Look at what happened in time of the apostle in Acts chapter 8, verse 4. Acts chapter 8, verse 4. Let's read. There was an apostle. Let's see what happened in his days. Verse 4. Therefore, they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. Verse 6. Verse 6. Verse 5. Let's look at verse 5. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the people with one accord gave heed unto the aunt, to those things which Philip spake, hearing and seeing the miracle which he did. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed, and with them, possessed with them, and many taken with passes, and that were lain where he and there was great joy in that city. This was by an apostle, one of the apostles, fully. He went and cast away devil, he the sick, because of the abundant supply, grace upon his life. And that is what we are going to receive today. So we can go and do exploit. Win souls, win souls everywhere, and do export, cast away the devil, heal the sick, do miracle. Praise the Lord. So let us go as we are going to pray today. The Lord God might all call Almighty must bless you with abundance of blessings. Being the blessings of the covenant people of God from ages. It has been like that. So that we can be able to go around depopulate the kingdom of darkness with souls, be a blessing to humanity and our families. And the Lord will bless you more and more in Jesus' name. That takes to point number two. Point number two. Expected response and the benefit after this we need to round up. Our expected response and the benefit. So whoever wishes to have life in abundance should rush to our Lord Jesus Christ and receive him into your life as your Lord, as a personal Savior. As you acknowledge your sins, repent of your sins, and believe that Jesus died for you, shed his precious blood for you, and was buried. And on the third day, he rose again for your justification. As you do that, invite Jesus to come into your heart to be your Lord, your personal Savior. Once that happens, you shall receive abundance of life. John chapter 10 verse 10. I come that they might have life. I have it more abundantly. And that abundance of life will make for covenant of peace and blessings upon your life in Jesus' name. Remember, in John chapter 1 verse 12, it says, For as many as receive him, so they give you power to become the sons of God. Once you become a child of God, I want to let you, you have the power of abundance. You have the spirit of abundance inside you. And you can do exploit. And you can be a blessing to humanity. Such a person must endeavor to abandon self or struggle and follow our Lord Jesus Christ in righteousness and true holiness. And such a person must do well. In fact, if you have given your life to Jesus and you are following after him in righteousness and holiness, you shall do well in abundance of blessings. And eternal life shall be your portion. Can I hear you say amen? amen. Don't forget in Mark chapter 10 verse 28. Mark chapter 10 verse 28. Let's read chapter 10 verse 28. Then Peter began to say unto him, Look, we have left all and have followed thee. And Jesus answered and said, Very like son to you, there is no man that left my house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or life or, or wife or children or lands 
for my sake and the gospel. But he shall receive what? Hundred foot now in this time. Houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecution. And in the world to come, what? Eternal life. So, as you abandon struggle and self and follow the Lord, I'm assuring you, whatever you have forsaken, you are going to receive them hundredfold by the grace of God. And you shall, above all, have eternal life. Are you hearing me? So, no wonder the Bible said, Praise the Lord. That as many who has followed Christ and give your life to Christ, say, No glory in any man. In First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 20, where it says, Therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours. How many things? All things are yours. What's your abandon and follow? God will give you all things. That's why he says, Son, thou art ever with me. Luke chapter 15, verse 31. Son, thou art ever with me. And all I have is nine. And in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10, he said, Those things is by grace. Please open your Bible and read. Whatever you are, whatever you become after you are born again, is by grace. Whatever you are going to achieve is by grace. If you look at chapter 15, verse 10, I read. No, no need for struggle. It is by grace. 15 and verse 10. And I read it. But by grace, by the grace of God, I am what I am. By what? By my money, by my power, by my wisdom, by my struggle, by my might. No. By the grace of God, I am what I am. Now you are born again. No matter what you want to be, it's by the help of God, by the grace of God. It's no longer by struggle or selfishness that make it abandon church. Some people, they will stay at home a day of service. They say, we are watching online. And why they have opportunity to be in the church. They say, we are watching online. And then, while they are watching the message, um, a rat will fall from somewhere. They will go and pursue right and come back. We are watching online. While they are watching online, somebody will knock at the door and say, come, 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 come outside, come and see something. They will leave the uh, message and jump outside. While they are watching online, sometimes, you know, they will take light and then no more preaching. And then they're watching online. Why they're watching online? Before you know it, you know, they will see um, their child crying. I said, don't cry again. They'll follow the child and leave it. We're watching online. Let no choosing to wear in what? Online. If you want to watch online, it means that you, it means that something tie your leg at home. Are you hearing me? And you cannot remove your leg, so you are not watching online. But my friend, don't say I don't have money. Oh, you don't have money. You don't have money again. Because you are believed to, you are limited God. Are you hearing me? Don't say I have no money. I don't have chance. I watch online. Never you try that. Are you hearing me? Ask God to give you grace. Help me. I want to go and watch. I, I'm not talking about those who are um, outside the country. I'm not, saying, I'm not talking about those outside the country. If you're outside the country, you can't see me. They can't come here now. So watch online, no problem. But those in Nigeria, watch me here. here. Come in here. Are you hearing me? I'm not talking against our sister. Our sister watched online because there was something that, you know, was following after something. So I'm not talking about her. But I'm talking about those who said, eh, our sister watched online. Therefore, from today, I watch online. Don't try it. I hope you hear what I'm saying. Don't try it. So it's not a model. It's not a standard. Come to church. Unto the Lord. 
shall the gathering of his people be are you still talking of online forget about it praise the lord so i want to let you know that as long as you be a child of god you will be a blessing to humanity can i hear you say amen everywhere you go people will come to that light and they shall testify because of what the lord is doing through you go with this miracle and god almighty will use you mightily in jesus name remember it's not by struggle it is by the grace of god life is not by struggle please don't miss fellowship because of business Sometimes, like if we were here yesterday, I found that some men went to, if you look at their side, they went to business. How can you do business on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then living only Sunday? That, means, that is the old, really, old um, orthodox, uh, how do I call it? Orthodox. Um, but ba world religion god forbid we are making progress if it's possible let us have fellowship every day with god every day we come together that's what we're looking for if you are reborn again so let us and we have a program a three days program and you say i will come on sunday you are a backslider i will come i will not come tuesday uh, saturday i have something i'm doing you have a study many years ago you are no longer going to heaven and you need to renew the covenant today are you hearing me you, re you need to ask for mercy and then renew the covenant so that you will continue to enjoy the blessings of god so it is by grace by the grace of god i am what i am no wonder you say i can do all things philippians chapter 4 verse 13 through christ that straightened me no one should continue to hold to say a little word or do any limitation. Let us come to the Lord. I have abundance of all things. Like who? Abraham. Like who? God called him. He left father's house and kindred and country to serve the Lord. And the Lord blessed him abundantly. The Bible says he was old and sticking in age. And God had blessed him what? in all things and so let's follow god according to matthew chapter 6 verse 33 what does the bible say there well seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness what happened and all these things how many all these things shall be added on us if you serve god you will never regret if you follow god with all your heart with all your being you will never regret whatever you are looking for god will give it them to you in abundance and will make you a blessing to everyone to your people in jesus name so i want us to make sure that from today we will follow him without preservation we should know that our lord jesus christ our savior and his apostle had abundance of blessing as showed you before he said all things are delivered unto me of my father i have all and abound therefore we must not be afraid of having things in abundance and remember even the apostles our lord jesus christ did not have physical things like houses or cars or large businesses or large bank accounts but they made the need of all the people that came to them they met all their needs without having those things they were a blessing to humanity because their blessings are spiritual the spirit of god in a man there is this songwriter that said something more than go something more than sleep on. The spirit of God in the heart of man is something more than you. Something more than you. You need 
the spirit of God in our born lives. You need the spiritual blessings and stop struggling. Look at in the days of Jesus, Matthew chapter 12 verse 15 says something. Please open your Bible. Remember, I'm rushing this message to run up now. Matthew chapter 15 verse chapter 12 verse 15. Let's see. 12, 15. And he says, those that came to meet him, let us see what the Bible said. And when Je but when Jesus knew it, he withdrew himself from thence, and great multitude to follow him. What happened? He healed them all. He didn't give them money. He healed them all. Now look at chapter 4 and verse 23. Matthew chapter 4, verse 23. Chapter 4. Verse 23. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in the external gods and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And his fame went throughout all Syria and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse disease and torment and those which were possessed with devils and those which were lunatic and those that had the palsy and he healed them. All of them. Without giving them money, he healed them. So without money, Apostle Fully, Apostle Peter, Apostle James, Apostle Stephen, all of them did great work to humanity. Because they have life of Christ, life of the law of God in abundance. And so they were blessed, they were blessed into humanity. There are many scriptures, Acts chapter 5 verse 16, Peter's shadow was healing people, just shadow. And it asked chapter 8, verse 4 to, uh, 4 to 8. Stephen also did export. Many apostles went everywhere preaching. They had all things. They were not the lack of anything. So, what you should desire is to have the Spirit of God in you, in a large measure, and all the spiritual blessings, and to maintain purity. God will give you all things. So, because why they had other things and they drop from it they knew who is inside them and they live by faith and drop from him all, all things to confirm God's word remember Jesus said something he said if any man tests what happened John chapter 7 verse 37 let's read it John chapter 7, verse 37. Look at the Bible. Chapter 7, verse 37. And in the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man test, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth in me, as the preacher had said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters. You see, you have rivers of living waters inside you because of your faith in Christ and Spirit of God in you. And from there, you have the river flow freely to bless humanity and to bless you. Inside you, it flows. Can I hear you say amen to that? So, I do not know what you desire in this program. It shall be given to you. So today, as I pray for you, I deliver us of the living waters inside me by the Spirit of God that is in me. As I pray for you today, you shall enter the covenant of blessings. And you shall renew that covenant. The covenant of peace, blessing, long life, and abundance of all things. And you shall be totally free and make heaven at last. Can somebody say amen? amen. May I remind you, in Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 to 22, God gave us that covenant promise before this church was born, even in Revelation. 
And that is why, as many of us that come into that covenant, your life can never be the same. The glory of God will be upon you. Um, before I begin to uh, bring to conclusion, I want us to read that Isaiah chapter 60, maybe a little. Isaiah chapter 60. He says, verse 1, Arise, if you have the Spirit of God in you, if you are a member of the Lord chosen, if you are a child of God, arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the people. Take note. The darkness shall cover the earth and grow dark and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Joseph people, covenant people of God, the glory of God shall be seen upon you. From now on, you will shine. No matter the darkness of evil, iniquity in Nigeria, in Africa, all over the world, I'm assuring you, you will shine. No darkness of evil shall cover you in Jesus' name. This is the covenant promise. And this is the covenant scripture for the chosen people. Look at what followed. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light. And kings in the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thy eyes round about. And see all oh, day. Gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be lost at thy side. Then thou shalt see and follow together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come to thee. Riches of the Gentiles, choosing people. Don't struggle again. The promise of God covers every area of your need. Our covenant covers it. The riches of the Gentiles shall come to you. If you believe it, say amen. To see you from today, I command the riches of this nation and of the nations of the world. I commanded to come upon you, upon us in Jesus' name. Not only on you, upon us, not minus me. The riches of Nigeria, the riches of Africa, the riches of Europe, of Middle East, of Asia, of America. Of Australia, I command to come upon you. No, 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 no. Oh, I command to come upon us. Because it's uh, like I said, upon you. What do you mean, my friend? Let it come upon us. From today, you will not struggle. We are about the riches. They are dollars. They are pounds. I don't know their name. Whatever be their name, hero. Wherever is hiding, I command to locate the chosen ones in trillions. But if you come, will you be in the church? The way you people comes to service on Thursday and come late on Sunday. It's only on Sunday in Crusade. You want to take these riches? Let me minus those who are not serious. Those who are not regular. Those who are not committed. Those who want to do it by their own power. Is it not better to minus them? Are you saying they are going to be serious today? From today, the riches of the Gentiles, 
I command for locate the chosen. Worldwide in Jesus' name. Do you believe it? I have seen that. Let me finish reading the covenant and then I will round up with salvation message and then I'm going to stand now at the altar and declare things that will follow you. And it will follow you. 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 you. Look at verse 7. Praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 60. Isaiah chapter 60. From verse 6. The multitude of Carmel. Multitude of Carmel. Whether it be aircraft. Whether it be buses. As we have it there. Whether it be car. Kame is something that have four legs. Am I right? And in those days, there was no car. There was no aircraft. Therefore, any of you that is qualified for this thing, it must follow us. I didn't say it will follow you. Did I say it will follow you? What do I say? <laughs> Including who? Uh, uh, Including pastor. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Now, look at that place I read in verse 7. All the flocks of Keda. But if you look at that place, it says those things that follow us, they talk about all the from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense. And they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. All these things God is giving us is for the praises of who? Verse 7. All the flows of Kedah shall be gathered, on, gathered together unto thee. The rams of Naboth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on my altar. And I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these that fly as cloud as the doctrine of windows? Surely the eyes shall wait for me and the chiefs of touches first to bring thy son from far their sliver and their good with them unto the name of the Lord thy God and unto the Holy One of Israel because he has glorified thee. All this will come to you because God has glorified you. But then and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee and in my rod I smote thee but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore, therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be short day nor night that, they, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles and they are, that their kings may be brought. Your door shall never be shut. Your gates shall never be shut against blessings. It shall open night and day. And Blessing will locate you. Yeah. Look at verse 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yeah. Those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. The fig tree, the pine tree, and the box together to be find the place of my sanctuary. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow down, bow themselves now at the sole of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. It say, those that despise us, those that look down upon us, they must bow. All those that will not, you know, join themselves to us, he said they shall utterly, they shall perish and be utterly wasted. Now, let's go on. In that place we are reading, in verse, verse 15, whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy 
of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the meek of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breasts of the kings. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. For brass I'll bring gold, for iron I'll bring silver, and for wood, brass, and for stones, iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and the answer to us righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in the land, which still not destruction within thy gate borders. But thou shalt call thy words salvation, and thy gate praise. The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither shall the brightness, neither for the brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. But the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God thy glory. From now on, God shall be our glory. Thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon draw itself. For the Lord shall be thy everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever, the branch of my plant in the works of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. When, when is that time? I command it to come to pass. For the chosen ones in Jesus' name. So you can see everything about us is the covenant we have with God. It's not we, it's not our power, it's not by struggle. God has made the covenant with the chosen, and that covenant cannot be altered. I never beg for this scripture. I never say, God Almighty, show me Isaiah. It was a subconsciousness. It was in the dream. This place was given to me before this ministry was established. If I read it, I read it, I woke up and I printed it out and pasted it upon my door because I know that God will bring me to it. And today, what is happening? What is happening? All over the whole world, this promise is being fulfilled in the midst still of the chosen people worldwide. And I want to let you know, as long as I be your pastor, as God has been this covenant upon my life, it shall be extended to all of you. Do you believe it? As we covenant with the chosen, heaven rejoice. God has made a covenant with the choosing. The Father. Heaven rejoice. Heaven rejoice. Heaven rejoice. God has made a covenant with the choosing. Let me even ask you this question. That man that sang this song here. Did we teach him this song? No. Did we ask him to come and sing it? No. Was he our member then? No. And he came and sang that song to us without knowing the scripture. And he came and sang how God had made covenant with Jesus and heaven. God revealed to him. And they, they, they were singing it in heaven. And he said, let heaven rejoice because God has made covenant with the chosen ones. Covenant of peace and blame. Mm, over the chosen. Mm-hmm. 
Brother, listen to me. We are covenant people of God. And we shall do it in abundance. We shall not struggle. We shall not beg. Just draw from what you have. And God will bring it to pass. Desire it, you bring it to pass. If you read Isaiah, it's what God said, I will do this, I will do this, I will do this. He never said, you will do this. In Isaiah chapter 6. God never said, you will do this one. He said, this will happen, this will happen, this one. I will, I will even make your answer to what? Righteousness. Praise the Lord. Choosing people. Rejoice. No wonder that song came. But has made a covenant with the choosing. As I'm going to pray. I want you to just ask, draw from the covenant whatever you are looking for to lay in this program. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, it said, Ask, it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the Lord shall open unto you. For everyone that asketh, receive it. Today, whatever you are going to ask, God will do it for you. And in John chapter 14, and verse 13. John chapter 14. And verse 13. And I read. And he says. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name. Don't forget that word. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. According to the covenant. Whatsoever. You shall ask in my name. What happened? I will do it. And then look at what followed. And the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, what happened? Can God lie? As I'm going to pray, whatsoever. So far it's not sinful. So far it's not evil. God will do it. Are you hearing me? So as we enter the covenant afresh, please take your Lord. Take your inheritance. From that covenant, it belongs to you. I was talking to them yesterday, and I told them, understanding these things is the beginning of you possessing them. It's the beginning of you having them. Because if a a man, a man that has riches, wealth, root we and handed over to the legal practitioner and eventually died and then the son doesn't know what is written concerning him or what the will content the son will remain a beggar no matter no matter who the son may be as long as he doesn't know what belongs to him from the father, he will continue to be, even those that manage his father's estate, he may bring in them money. But the very day, the legal politician will say, come, oh, your man, come. Uh, there is something that your father has for you and is contained in the will. There is something that the father has for you and uh, your father wrote a wee and he's in my chamber. Come and bring your uh, somebody all around you. I want to read that wee. And the father said, I mean the legal person said, this estate is a, your father is the owner. And he said, it is you that he has given that estate. To mark it down. He said, there is one billion in Naira somewhere. Your father said, you are the one. It is your portion. And then he said, 
there is this so something somewhere. Your father said, is there, and it's written in the will. Now, you don't know it, but today, I hand the document to you. From that day, you will be, you know the way you behave. Even the lawyer will answer you, sir. Are you hearing me? Bank managers, and even those people in the bank, where you put one billion, will answer you what? You are a beggar before. From that day, you become what? Sir. He see you today. As many that have known this will in Isaiah chapter 6, and I've read it to you, and that's the covenant blessings of God upon us. From today, take it. All that are sitting upon our wet and ridges, they will answer you, sir. The Bible says you shall know the truth. And those that do know their God, those who know what belongs to them in the Bible, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. Your Father, our Lord Jesus, He has so many things for us and He's containing the will. And He has gone to heaven, but they are in the book of life. Now we are reading it. I'm, re I'm standing here as a legal practitioner. I am standing here as your solicitor. I am reading the will for you. But something also is written concerning me. It was given to me in revelation, in a dream. And now I'm reading it. I say, it belongs to us. Will you possess? Or you are saying, well, pastor, is your own. Okay, let me round up. Praise the Lord. I have delivered the will to you. You will enter the covenant today. You will renew the covenant today. Now, let me round up. Those who are not born again, those who have had sliders, repent, say, I'm sorry. I'm a sinner. I've done this, I've done that. I will do them no more. Show me mercy. I believe that you died for me at the cross of Calvary. You shed your blood for me and you are buried. And on the third day, you rose again for justification. And you say, I believe. From today, I reject the devil and renounce all his evil. I receive you into my heart as my Lord, as my personal Savior. Cancel my name in the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Give me grace to live the Christian life. From today, you enter the covenant. From today, those who are sleeping, the covenant shall be renewed. From today, this blessing will come alive. You will possess what is written concerning. Uh, I said, something written concerning you. He said, I call that they might have life. Have it more abundantly. Abundance of life shall be your portion. Somebody say, Amen. Once you are giving your life to Jesus Christ, go on to maintain righteousness. Listen to me. He says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added. Once you are born again, go on to maintain what? Righteousness. As you go on to do that, I'm assuring you, you will hear that, state, that word as a song. Thou art ever with me, and all I have is that. When ten what? Because a Christian is not a sinner, and a sinner is not a Christian. Look at the Bible in First John chapter three, verse eight. First John chapter three, verse eight. He he that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned it from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that they might destroy the works of the devil. Verse 9. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for he still remained him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. Verse 8 says, A Christian is not a sinner. Praise the Lord. Verse 8 says, a sinner is not a Christian. A sinner 
is not a Christian. Look at verse 9. Whosoever is born of God, the Lord commits sin, for he still remains him. I cannot sin because he is born of God. In this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, and he that loveth not his brother. So it's very certain. Verse 9 says, a Christian is not a sinner. And then what actually is sin? In 1 John chapter 5, verse 17, a, all unrighteousness is sin. Look at verse 18. Verse 18. We know that whosoever that is born of God sineth not. For he that begotten of God keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. So it is very clear a Christian is not a sinner. A sinner is not a Christian. And if you ask what is sin, everything that is not righteousness is what? Sin. And I want to let you know unbelief is sin. Unbelief is a terrible sin. If you are here, you do not believe what Jesus did for you. You did not accept Jesus as a Lord, as a personal Savior. You are the worst sinner. No matter your righteousness. Unbelief is what? Sin. Unforgiveness. Bitterness. Anger. Pride. Hatred. Envy. Contention. Keeping malice. Bearing grudge, lusting after everything, love of money, love of the world is sin. Confess them and say, Lord, I am sorry. Insincerity, unfaithfulness is sin. Hatred, backbiting, murmuring, causing people. Swearing with heaven and it, worshiping idol, making idol, having idol in your heart. Anything that takes the place of God in your life is an idol. Renounce them today. And all those that go to native doctors to make sure. And all those people that go for divination, for divination, or for pan reading. That is sin. All those that visit burial ground. To console the dead, that is sin. Those that belong to secret court, open court, marine court, local court, international court, campus court, any kind of courtism, whether secret or open, is sin. Renounce them, gather their property, bond them. They gave you staff, they gave you cross. They gave you uh, white clothes, which is a new model, or black clothes. They gave you images of a man and a woman, or small coffin. Born them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They gave you a staff. Also, or they gave you seven book of Moses and said, "This is it. You know, this is international." Uh, they call it international. I don't know what they call it. They, they will say this one is a you know higher level. Born that book. Are you hearing me? I don't know what they gives you in that court. The pictures you took there. All the pictures you took in that occult kingdom, occult society. Gather those pictures, born, born them to ashes. Are you hearing me? All the images of that, anything that belongs to that court, set them ablaze. And if you are dead, you are stealing, you are picking pockets, you steal from your husband, from your wife, from your parents. And you are into pickpocket or into a burglary, breaking home and packing the load of people. Or wherever you pass roads, something will miss. 
repent to them and say, Lord, I am sorry. Are you hearing me? Or it could be that you know, Yahoo, 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 Yahoo practice. Internet fraud. Repent and say, Lord, no more. You will never try it anymore. God show you mercy. 419. Repent. Or maybe you are among those that are into armed robbery. You use gun, you use weapon, and then wave it before people and collect their bag. Repent and I say, no more. God show me mercy. I will never try it anymore. I mean, you are waste. I don't know the evil. And in fact, if you are a robber, a thief, a froster, internet froster, don't give us your offering, your tithe, your money. We don't need it. I mean, you are ways. I don't know if we are into all the people are involved in the masturbation. You masturbate your body. That's why you are weak. That's why nothing is working. That's why you are suffering. Masturbation or fornication or adultery or lesbianism or homosexual these are gross wickedness against God against humanity or you enter prostitution or you personalize the prostitute these are evil repent and say Lord I'm sorry I will do them no more or maybe you, you aid abortion you commit abortion you help people to commit abortion you set the drug that's killing. Repent and say, Lord, I am sorry. Or maybe you are among those people that into a you know, ritual killing, hired assassin, kidnapping and killing, mandatory. That's how you are making your money. My friend, you are gathering firewood that will burn you in hellfire from eternity to eternity. Repent and say, Lord, I will never try it anymore. And don't give us such money. Or maybe you are into, you know, giving bribe and taking bribe and stopping money from people because of your uniform, because of your gun, because of your office. Nobody passes there without you forcing money out. That's sin. That's wickedness. Or maybe you are among those people that you marry and divorce or you are among the please listen to me before I come to that point let me explain this matter first you see all these people that are disobedient to their husband women disobedient to their husband and say I don't care now you, now you, are, now you are born again I can tell you what to do who told you that when you are born again your husband is born again you are not telling the, your husband to go and cook to go and wash pot who told you that no, for the fact your husband is born, it's something to celebrate and appreciate and be loyal to him and don't ever be able to determine what to do. A sin. Or maybe you say, and eh, now your wife is born again, it becomes a punch bag. Because obey you are regarding why? Every time, why? Every time you are beating your wife and you are, you are angry, don't do that anymore. That is sin. Are you hearing me? You see all these people that are working for people. You don't do the work. Somebody committed the work into your hand and said, take care of this business, take care of this work. And you, you don't do the work. You are never working for the profit or growth of that business. All what to do is help to destroy the business. And yet they are collecting salary. You are a wicked person. Or you don't pay those working for you. Repent. That is sin. All unrighteousness is sin. All those people that take snuff, smoke cigarettes in their hand, cocaine, heroin, and are buying it or they are selling it, buying it for people. Or that's their business. Repent, don't touch it, don't sell it, don't smoke it, don't even keep compete with those people. I mean, they are ways. Are you? Among those that take alcoholic drinks, white mimbo, brukutu, beer, hot drinks, one percent or half percent, 
and you are giving it people, you are drinking it, that is sin. Don't touch it anymore. Don't sell it. Close that shop and go give you a better business. I mean, you are with. Or you have a, a saloon where you do people hair, do spa, punish their body, make it bleach it overnight. That is sin. And fry their hair and give them hairs. Weave on. And that, my friend, close that business. Oh, will give you a better business. Amend your ways. And if you are among those people into these things, look at what the Bible says. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Please look at the Bible. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Look at this. And it says, Know ye not that the righteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers, for the sake of mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Unrighteous people. Anything that is not righteousness is unrighteous. And unrighteous people shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Repent and amend your ways. How long are you going to live upon the earth? Forever? No. I mean, your ways. As I begin to round up, all the people that marry and divorce, bring back your wife, return back the husband. So look, they are your first uh, partner. And if your second wife or third wife, Please pack your load and go. You have no husband. And if a man that married in two, three, four, they move the second and third and fourth one, you tell your first wife. Until they do us. In Matthew chapter 9, 19, verse 4. I know that some women will not like to hear this. But why? But if they listen to me, anything God is teaching you is for your good. Did you hear me? I say it is for your good. Are you hearing me? If you do the will of God, you will prosper. Somebody say amen. amen. Matthew chapter 19 verse 4. I read 19 and verse 4. And the Bible said, And he answered and said unto them, Have you not read? And he which made them at the beginning, made them male and female. And said, For this cause, shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they two shall be one flesh. Wherefore, there are no more twins, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. So, you can see the ordination of God. What God has joined together, let no man separate it. And listen to me. If you're among those that paint your hands and paint your leg, paint your mouth, paint your eyes, paint your body, that is sin. Or you put extra finger, extra eye, extra nose, attachment and weave on permanent, your rings and jewelry, make up, you make up your body. That's sin. My Bible tells me in Psalm 1 at 9, I was 14. God has fearfully and wonderfully made you and marvelous are the works of God. You don't need makeup. Maybe a young man that do Jericho, rough hair, scattered hair, you play the hair like a woman. That is sin. If you don't cross and chair, you don't need them. I want to remind you, in Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 30, the Bible says, when they are spoiled, what shall they do? When they are spoiled, so they go after paint, after ornament. Whenever a woman has spoiled, you begin to make up. Young man has spoiled, you begin to make up. You don't need it. Now, listen to me. If you are those that dress to expose their nakedness, your armpit, your tummy, your waist, your lap, expose your body. That is sin. Cover your body properly well. A Christian is not a seducer, and a seducer is not a Christian. All those people that expose their body or bleach their body, don't do them anymore. And if you're a woman wearing trousers, 
dressed like a man, that is an abomination. And if a man dresses like a woman with, you know, skirts and scarf and so on, repent, that is abomination. In Deuteronomy 22, verse 5, please open your Bible, let's read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man. Not until a man put on woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination of the Lord thy God. They are what? Abomination. And abominable people, abominable they cannot enter heaven. Revelation 21 verse 8. Revelation 21 verse 8. And I read. For the fear for unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and homongers and brimstone, which they set on death, such people shall be cast into hell fire. Now listen to me. It is never the will of God that any soul should perish. He loves you. You may be asking, why am I mentioning these things? The reason is this. If you don't know that what you are doing is evil, you can't stop doing that thing. So I do, by the grace of God, the much I can, to explain some of this unrighteousness. Because the Bible says, in Proverbs 28, verse 13, he that covereth his sin shall not prosper. Whosoever that confess them and forsake them shall have peace. So, you know them, you repent of them, you confess them. God will show you this. Don't forget, God has made provision for the sins that are past. In Exodus 12, verse 30, he said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Because in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 20, he said, without the shedding of blood, there shall be no remission of sin. So it is blood that make it atonement, atonement for soul. Blood. And it can be blood of animal, because they cannot. It is a symbol Exodus, Exodus chapter 12 that thing is a symbol of the blood of Jesus which is to come in the New Testament. As we can see in John chapter 1 verse 29. John chapter 1 verse 29. The next day John said, Jesus coming unto him. I said, Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. You see, Jesus is that Lamb. Whose blood washes away our sins? That's what the Bible said in John chapter three verse sixteen. For God so loved the world, I gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth He should not perish, but have everlasting life. And in John chapter nineteen verse thirty, no one. when Jesus shed the blood, He said, "It is finished." The end of all sacrifice for sin said, "It is all over." And no wonder. Why he said in John chapter 14 verse 6, I am the way, I'm not a way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. I am the only way. There is no option. Nothing like co Messiah, co Mediator, co Redeemer. Jesus, the only way. That's why he said in John chapter 10 verse 10, I come that they might have life. Have it more abundantly. And in John 8, verse 30, he said, If the Son therefore shall make us free, we shall be free indeed. And in Matthew chapter 11, 28, he said, Come to me, not to us, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And in John chapter 1, verse 12, he said, But as many that receive him to then give you power, they become the sons of God. As we receive Jesus today, Power of abundance. Power of sonship. That power shall be given to you. Amen. And your life will change. And you shall become a new creation. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away, and all things have become new. If any man be in who? Therefore, Come to Jesus. I'm assuring you, you shall become a new creature. You shall enter the covenant of peace and blessings, covenant of long life, abundance of 
blessings you shall be connected can i hear you say amen that you shall be a blessing to your generation in fact say you are the light of the world a city that certainly he cannot be hidden once we see jesus say the light shined in darkness but the darkness comprehended you know as we see jesus today he said let your life therefore so shine that may we see your good words and glorify your father which is in heaven as you go on to live righteous life god will bless you people shall be saved you shall be a blessing to others in jesus name as i round up seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things all these things shall be added unto you finally romans chapter 10 verse 13 whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved how many of you are ready to enter the covenant renew the covenant and be saved rise up now rise up let us pray rise up and pray everybody pray rise up search your life confess your sins repent of them ask for mercy everybody everybody call upon him acknowledge your sin and say god i'm sorry i have not it i have been a sinner a compromiser a backslider i am sorry forgive me everybody pray let everybody pray you will seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart a broken and a contract heart God will not despise when you hear this word harden not your heart as in the day of provocation when they harden their heart and 23 of thousand die will kill them harden not your heart as for mercy 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 oh lord mercy show us mercy show us mercy show us mercy show us mercy forgive me forgive us forgive me forgive us watch us the blood of jesus save me save everyone oh lord have your way pray I want to give you time to really search your life and make amendment and make this decision. Surrender. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. Everybody pray. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Father, I am sorry, Lord. Oh, Lord, I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Father. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. Sorry, Lord. Father. Oh, Lord. I want my time.
Amen. If you are ready to give your life to Jesus, keep your two hands up. If you are ready to enter the covenant, keep your two hands up. That person that is into stealing, the one into robbery, ask for mercy. The one that is into fraud, you do people. The one that is into internet fraud, ask for mercy. And you that commit abortion, you that is into prostitution, ask for mercy. You that commit fornication, ask for mercy. And that person involved with adultery, ask for mercy. You that is into secret court, renounce it, ask for mercy. You that is into unforgiving heart. And for me, see, bitterness, anger, pride, lying, as for me, see, smoking, taking Indian hair, as for me, see. A person to homosexual, as for me, see. The person that commit adultery, as for me, see. That person that killing people, as for me, say, God, no more. I will not kill again. As for me, the person that go to visit native doctors, the person that is into terrible making sharp for protection for prosperity, you attire yourself. As for me, throw those things away. Turn all their property, burn them. That person that is fighting, quarreling, that is evil spirit. Amen. your ways. If I keep your two hands up and say this word after me. Almighty God, I come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I confess that I am a sinner. I am very sorry for all my sins. Lord, I promise you, I will never continue in them anymore. From today, I confess and I believe that Jesus Christ died for me. He shed his precious blood for me, and he was buried. And on the third day, he rose again for my justification. Almighty God, use the blood of Jesus Christ. Wash my sins away from my heart. From today, I reject the devil. I renounce all the evil. I surrender my spirit, soul, and body to Jesus. Jesus Christ, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my personal Savior. Cancel my name in the book of death. Write my name in the book of life. Give me back of sin no more. In Jesus' name I pray. Keep your two hands up. Sing this song. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. All to Jesus. Let us see.
Father in heaven, I pray for each and every one of them as they raise their hands up as a matter of submission to you. Show them mercy. Every yoke of power that makes them to do evil, by your authority, I break that yoke. From today, I claim the spirit that so the body of Jesus. Cancel the name in the book of death. Write the name in the book of life. From today, I connect every one of them into the covenant of peace and blessings. And I command and decree. And the covenant abundant blessings will follow everyone home in Jesus' name. All that are renewing that covenant today sanctify all the believers, sanctify them by the blood of Jesus. Make them pure. Make them holy. Make them holy. Lord, I pray that from today, let them be restored. Let them be connected to that covenant of peace and blessing. Let them be renewed upon their lives, upon our lives, in Jesus' name. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' powerful name, we pray. Bring down your hands. Just keep your offering all. That type of pledges all. I'm praying for you. Keep it all. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this offering and tithe and pledges. That it, as we give to you, sanctify our hands, the offering by the blood of Jesus. And as we give, I pray, give us beyond our expectations in Jesus' name. Bless everyone. That I pray and decree from today, let the blessings of God overtake everyone. In Jesus' name we pray. Keep it all. All just are coming near you. All the newcomers are expected to come on Wednesday for their palliative. And also, with this prayer request, so that prayer will, can be, will be made for them on Wednesday, and that their problem will be all over. On Wednesday, 5 p.m., in that uh, first auditorium, we're going to give you a palliative, whether Bible, whether money, whether... Uh, food, all of that are available. Come when is the 5 p.m. If you don't have Bible, if you are a newcomer who has not been in that program on Wednesday, that day you are going to go with a new Bible. If there is anything that you lack, that the church can help you to have it. Come on Wednesday, 5 p.m. That is, I will give it to you. You will go home with a small bag of palliative. Just as you are coming, 
as we are coming down from aircraft, they will give you a small bag that contains some things. Sometimes it contains minara. Sometimes it contains a cake, um, that bag. Come that day, when is there? 5 p.m. But Tuesday, we're entering a month of fruitfulness and blessings. Tuesday morning, month of fruitfulness and blessings. It shall be fruitful and blessings shall be your portion. While we are giving the offering, help me to sing this song. Let Sister Fervor come and sing this song. God's covenant of peace and blessing. All by the chosen. Covenant of peace and blessings. God's covenant of peace. God's covenant of blessings. Covenant of peace and blessings. God's covenant of peace and blessings. Over the old world. All over the world, over the world, and blessings, God's covenant of peace and blessing. Over the world, all over the world, over the world. Over the world, God's covenant of peace and blessings over the nations, all over the nations, over the nations, over the nations. And blessings, God's covenant of peace and blessings over the continent, all over the continent, over the continent, over the continent, hallelujah. Covenant of peace is upon the chosen ones. Covenant of peace is upon the chosen ones. Of the chosen ones. Of the chosen ones. And blessings. God's covenant of peace and blessing is upon a geo covenant of peace. Is upon a geo, upon a geo, upon a geo. Is upon a mommy, I want to be love mommy, I want lovely mommy. Covenant of peace is upon the choosing ones, covenant of peace. It's about choosing ones. I want choosing ones. Of the royal priesthood. And blessings. God's covenant of peace and blessing. Amen. Now is the hour. Tell the 
those people making movement outside. That the God is not happy with such thing. That is wickedness. Your father cannot be talking to you and you are moving up and down. What a despisement. What a slap. What a slap to the face of God. Praise the Lord. Lay your hands upon your chest. All the women that are looking for children, I want to bless you first of all. Raise your hands up. Ten years barrenness, today is cancelled. Three years and a half, today is cancelled. Twenty-two years, today is cancelled. Fourteen years today is cancelled. Thirteen years is already cancelled. That person for seven years today is cancelled. That person, your wife is not here as a husband. You are representing your wife who has married for almost twelve years. No child today is cancelled. And I want to let you know. You will be having miscarriages, miscarriages. Today, you will never have miscarriage anymore. Today is cancelled. And that person, they say, five rods. I give you 24 hours to stew out the five rod. The one that something like a football block your womb. I cost nothing. <laughs> Let him vanish away in Jesus' name. <laughs> now, you have been having female, female children. The next pregnant, even the one you have now, I change it to baby boy. <laughs> now, all of them looking for children, keep your two hands up and pray for you. The God that I serve. The covenant keeping God. All these ones that are barren, I break the work. <laughs> and I declare conception this time in Jesus' name. <laughs> and I pray miscarriages be cancelled. Fiber be cancelled. Evil growth in that womb be cancelled. <laughs> Impotency be cancelled. Your span can be cancelled. Receive power to conceive in Jesus' name. <laughs> this month we are entering, you will not see your period. And to deliver your baby in Jesus' name. Somebody there received triplets. I'm waiting for that person. This is not by your power. It's not by struggle. This is not, this is not issue whether your husband or what. This one is a miracle. Receive your children now. Somebody see two bouncing baby boys. Quickly. A woman is saying, I need a baby boy and a baby girl. I receive him now. <laughs> it is wrong. <laughs> now, I want to pray for all the people. It's like nothing works for you. And some is limitation. You don't cross a particular level. If you are trying to cross it, something will happen. And you just go down. But now, I stand here by authority. 
In the name of Jesus, I cross you over. Holy Ghost, I need a sign. I need a sign. And some of these people, not just one, two, at big crossover now, wherever they are, in this convert, outside, inside. Yes. 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 I can see something happening. I cross you over. I cross you over. I cross you over. I break the yoke of limitation in Jesus' name. That calls upon your family that everybody is having story or woes. I break that yoke. All of you, all of you, and I say, I want to enter the covenant proper. I want to renew the covenant proper. In the name of Jesus, I commit you. From today, I declare the covenant of peace and blessings and long life upon you in Jesus' name. From today, I want to let you know life is not by struggle. Many of you that are struggling, I cancel struggle. I pray and command abundance of blessings, abundance of life, abundance of peace. May it come upon the children in Jesus' name. I want to pray specially for those who are having financial difficulties, financial challenges. Where are you? In the name of Jesus, I break the yoke. From this hour, I command, I command, and I connect every chosen worldwide to financial abundance in Jesus' name. not by struggle. It is a gift of God. Now all of you that desire big financial miracle after this whole program, I want to see your hands up. Big, fin big financial miracle. I want to ask somebody the question. If God blesses you, will you still be faithful in the church? I'm asking somebody this question. Because God is going to surprise you. Will you still be faithful? Will you still fear God? Come to service, pay your tithe. If you say so, can I see your hands up? Heavenly Father, the riches of Asia, the riches of Europe, the riches of America, oh, let Caruso in Denia. Shelovi, Kaluvi, Shelovi, the Zendeli, Kopelu, Zen, Jenny, Compre. Lord, I command to come upon them. I'm going to come upon them. Come on, come on. Financial miracle. 
in in trillions, in millions, in billions. Receive it. Receive it. Today, wherever you put your hands, everything there will be subject to you. All those money they sat upon and they're making sure for you. Now, the Spirit of God, whom I serve. Will you speak to them this night? And that money will be released. 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 Receive it. Financial miracle. Financial miracle. Financial miracle. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hand. It's not by strong, it's a gift. If the Lord did not give it to you, you are wasting your time. It is a gift. My daddy. <laughs> My daddy. Now, you see this once before the trumpet sounds. There shall be sound of abundant financial miracle in life. As you bless the Israelites in Egypt before their departure, I command financial miracle before the rapture. To Cassandra Lima, who is then the complete, who is then Jeremiah Capesu Katai, who is then in Jesus' name. Abundant life. Abundant. Hallelujah. Abundant life. Abundant life. Jesus to me, hallelujah. Where are those that fear God? Are there are people that fear God in the name of Jesus. Quicken their miracles. <laughs> My daddy. All these ones that I say, I want to be connected to the covenant of abundance, of blessings, of peace, and long life. Father, by your authority, let the spiritual blessings in heavenly place in Christ release in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? That I pray, shower them with all the fruit of the Spirit, with all the gift of the Spirit, with the power of the Most High, with faith, with peace, with love, with righteousness, with fear of God. Let it come upon us in Jesus' name. Place your hand on your chest. That cancer, I cancel it. Cancer of the breast, you are healed. Cancer of the lung, you are healed. 
Cancer of the blood, you are healed. Cancer, prostate cancer, you are healed. That kidney failure, receive brand new kidney now. The person having liver problem, receive brand new liver. The person that is having heart problem, receive brand new heart in Jesus' name. The person that is breathing abnormal, I cancel it that you are beating it onto normal. <laughs> the person that having high sugar level and full blown diabetes, I cancel it in Jesus' name. <laughs> All that urinating many times, this night you can never urinate more than once. You see that miracle in Jesus' name. I cause the lead poison. Let it dry up in Jesus' name. I command the mouth of sap be healed. The stomach of sap be healed. I command the hyena disappear in Jesus' name. You see that battle coming left, right, front, and back from the kingdom of darkness against you, against your family. Receive victory. Lord, give that person victory in the police, in the court, victory in that village, victory in the yard, victory in the business place, in Jesus' name. In that office, receive victory. The heaviness in the head, the high BP, be healed. That typhoid fever, be healed. That cough, terrible cough, dry cough, that refuse to go, I cause that cough. Be healed in Jesus' name. That malaria, I cause it, let the yoke break me in, in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you are mourning, somebody is sitting upon, I command that money to be released. In the name of Jesus, that abandoned project, I break the yoke. Let that project be finished by miracle in Jesus' name. All that property that is not being sold, I command them to be sold. That your property that don't, people don't want to rent, I command them to rent out in Jesus' name. I cancel the quick notice. And for you, that lack of strength. I pray for brand new immune system. Receive strength in Jesus' name. I cancel HIV for you. I cancel staphylococcus for you. I cancel that bleeding disease in Jesus' name. And you that doesn't see your period, I lose you. You don't see it in Jesus' name. All of you looking for employment. I decree as we enter this month, let that employment galore for the chosen ones in Jesus' name. So looking for citizenship, looking for visa, looking for permanent stay all over the world. Let it be granted in Jesus' name. I pray for promotion. I pray for promotion. Promotion for my people in Jesus' name. My daddy, whatever that gone wrong in that stomach, be healed. Whatever they gave you in that dream, let it be nullified by the blood of Jesus. That all the ratchets and scratches I want to vanish away in Jesus' name. The stomach also be healed. The hyena be healed. I pray it again in Jesus' name. My daddy, that person having difficult in sleeping, this night sleep like a baby. All those evil dreams be cancelled. All that person that eat in the night be cancelled. All the seeing dead, dead people be cancelled. Father, I pray for victory in Jesus' name. 
from today I cancel that operation they book you operation of five blood be cancelled operation delivery by operation be cancelled operation of hygiene be cancelled father deliver my people in Jesus name can I hear you say amen now before I round up the prayers let those for dedication come in the front Today, this day, there is a melody in my heart. There is a melody in my heart. Today, today, this very day. A melody in my soul. Today, today, this very day. A melody in my soul. Today, today, this very day. I'm gonna be in my soul. Today, today, today. I'm gonna be in my soul. Today, today, this very day. I'm gonna be in my life. Today, today, this very day. I'm melody in my soul. Today, today, today. I'm melody in my heart. Today, today, this very day. I'm melody in my soul. Now begin to pray for these children. Stretch your hand. Pray for them as a matter of dedication. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. In Jesus' name. We'll pray. We are handing over. We are handing over. Brethren, hand them over. We are handing over. Precious Daddy, I present these children before you. Father, today being the day of dedication, I dedicate them to you. Anywhere that be initiated, I cancel the inception by the blood of Jesus. And I pray their spirit, soul, and body be dedicated to Jesus. I soak them in the blood of Jesus. I pass a decree that no evil shall befall them. No bomo bomo. No kidnapping. No poison. No disease. Shall perish upon them in Jesus' name. That he preserve them from all evil. I pray and commit them into your hands. I pray they shall fulfill their years. I pray there shall be a blessing to their families and a blessing to humanity and ministers and servants of Christ in Jesus' name. I pray for their parents. Lord, give them something, spiritually and otherwise, to take care of these children. Bless them in Jesus' name. And those that follow them to this dedication, and looking for their own baby or anything, give it to them. Bless them in Jesus' name. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Say amen to the prayers. And it is done. Now, keep your transport pledges up.
as they are returning back, keep your transport places up. Sing this song. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. The God that chooses Father, there is no one like Amen. Oh, yes. Keep your offering up for transport pledges. Heavenly Father, I present these transport pledges to you as the pledge to sponsor others in this transportation. Give them their own vehicle. Bless them mightily. That they sponsor their transport for life. Let this money they raise up as they lift it up from today. Let sicknesses and diseases and accident and uncertain death be removed from everyone in Jesus' name. I pray that these transfer pledges as we give to you, give us billion food. In Jesus' powerful name we pray. Who believe my prayers? <laughs> it's done. Uh, it's done. Clap for Jesus. Give it up. 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 All chats are coming near you. Remember, the last prayer I'm making now, we are going to, after this, I'm going to pray for you, finally. And I'm going to tell you what we are going to do as I pray for you finally. Let's give the offering quickly. I want to take notes. From now on, I will hear your testimony. Somebody here will be giving testimony. People will be shouting. People will wish to be like you. Where is that person? I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm the one who. I'm the one. I give you from now to two weeks. You will be giving testimony, and in fact, visible is like you are checking. Because it appears that you never imagine it. You don't know that it will happen suddenly. But it must come to pass. But don't forget us. Okay, I'm the one. I will not forget you. I will not forget you. I'm the, I will not forget you. I will remember you. I will not forget you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Covenant of peace and blood. Covenant of peace. Covenant of blessings. Over everyone. Now mention seven things you want God to do for you seven definite requests. If you are reading anything, lift it up. You, somebody, 
You are asking God to bless you with your own husband. Count it down. Somebody looking for scholarship. Count it down. Somebody who wants to travel, but it appears there is difficulty. Count it down. And you, that somebody accuses you for what is not due, I cancel that evil. That missing person in your family, I give him 21 days to return back home in Jesus' name. And I want to let you know, you that your husband is in prison, I give that person three days to be released in prison at the hand of the, the government. Three days. Three days. That person is in Jesus' name. That person that is purging, let the purging cease. Say, Amen. Keep your request up this coming week, Saturday and Sunday. Kano, come and bless me, these people. That is the topic in Kano. Come and bless me, these people. And I want to let you know, people there shall be blessed. <laughs> I say they shall be blessed. My daddy, whatever they have mentioned in prayer, whatever they have lifted up, I decree that every one of them receive attention. Grant the answers in Jesus' name. Daddy, for somebody before you get home, let your miracle be waiting for you. I pray for financial miracle a lot. I pray for you long expectation. You are waiting for something and it's not forthcoming. I give you from now to next tomorrow. I command to come your way. Say amen. That you are parents that is sick be healed. That person in the hospital be healed. I command intervention that person that is applying to deport from outside the country. I cancel the deportation. Father bless my people in Jesus name. Daddy all these pictures all these prayer requests all these hands that are lifted up Touch them now. Touch them now. Touch them now. All in that handset. Grant their request in Jesus' name. I pray for anointing for favor, for protection, for healing, for blessings, for miracle. Let you come upon them in Jesus' name. Say amen seven times. be the first testifier. <laughs> me, me. I'm waiting for you on Tuesday. Newcomers, we are meeting on Wednesday, 5 p.m. Make haste. Come with three special requests. The Lord will bless you. All of you are covered with the blood of Jesus. As you go, I request the angel of God whom I serve to go before you. Take you home with joy and jubilation in Jesus' name. I'm the God of choosing us. Pray I said the God of choosing us. Pray home. Oh. Mm -hmm.